Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to the free-to-play through. Many days have passed. Um, mostly just we've been ranking up MR, and then we needed to build the weapon that we needed to get to the MR for in order to get to the next quests and such, and so on and so forth. And thankfully, that wait also coincided with the wait for Calervo, because we got done farming him and everything at about the same time that we needed to wait for a bunch of timers to happen. The good news is that in the future, no one's going to have to do that. They're removing all of the MR wait time stuff. We don't know exactly what that looks like yet, as that's obviously coming out with the next major update. Um, but waiting to get to MR5 and then having to build the MR5 weapon, which is our Atomos, um, and so on and so forth, that is apparently going to be gone alongside with the having to build specifically the Vectus. Uh, I will say probably still gonna suggest the Vectus to people because it's just really good uh but the Atomos is something people could build much much later if it wasn't required for this junction exactly because it's the best MR5 weapon and it's also supremely fucking easy to build so that's um <clears throat> that's what's up there other stuff we gotta do we just gotta go kill Vehek, which also required MR5 by the way but he's just right over here we got a couple missions and then we'll kill him no pretty no big deal no problem with that, the MR6 test is ready, so we should might as well do that. Uh, I don't remember what this one is. MR5 is just hacking. It's a nice shirt stream. It's true. Test your marksmanship. Track and shoot all targets. Oh, it's this one. All oh, right, I have to use the Vectus for this, which is actually good. I say as I miss. All right, this is I'm in, I'm in practice we're good we can just I can just get into the aim labs here you know it, it, it really is aim labs Nintendo can you aim or has this all been dumb luck so far it's really true though I mean that you have to make the MR tests completable for regular players so like I get it <clears throat> right Time to test your yeah, I understand track and shoot all targets Hello? Oh, right. There's like a fucking break in between. I was like, I'm ready to shoot ants. Or orbs, I guess, in this case. I'm here quick sipping like old school Call of Duty. It's all I know how to do. Kidding me? I'm an ancient gamer. That's all I know. As I'm the Quake player, it's very rude. How dare you? <laughs> a formidable performance. Oh, I would love a sniper in Garnon. Who's your first Prime frame? Um, was Frost Prime available while you could get Excal Prime? Because my my heart tells me I farmed Frost before buying Excal, but I'm not certain that the timeline actually supports that. It's whichever one of those was like, if Frost overlapped, then I got Frost first. I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, it was Excal. It's been 10 years. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to pretend I'm not a little foggy on exactly if that was available. Is Sander still available on Public Watch? Yeah, no, for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 
first one you farmed is your first, to be honest. Oh, yeah, then definitely Frost, then. Shit, it's Kalervo with the steel chair. Kalervo and Death Cube with an Atomos and an Azathane? Dear God. The Azathane, the Death Cube, the Kalervo, the Arokan Catalyst, and the Atomos. Isn't it crazy how, like, fast and responsive this UI is whenever you don't have every fucking blueprint in the entire game bogging it down? Sometimes Ordis likes to assume he knows nothing. Nobody can learn what they think they Wait, it's supposed know. to be that fast? Yeah. yeah. And just like that, we're ready for Steel Path. I mean, pretty much. Do, 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 do. I might as well level the Atomos. There's no real reason to not do that. Well, actually, the Lex is something I'll actually get rid of, so I should level that. As a thing. As a thing, what can you fit to start here? Uh, as a thing, you will be receiving one of these because you also deserve it. Uh, pressure point and killing blow, I think, are our starters here. Actually, is that not actually that's not right? Um, I get the wind up speed from Calervo's passive, so I think it's actually corrupt charge first. Yeah. It's weird that that's not right. Okay, uh, and then we have three more points, which you can't really spend any like efficient, like not really efficiently anywhere. Um, I need to get Wise Razor at some point, but I'm not in a hurry. Honest with you, uh, I've got the Vectus. I am Kulervo. We do need to do. We, we're gonna need to fashion you up a little bit here, bud. Go into your noble stance at the very least, here, bud. Just loves it. How does the green look? Okay, I've done this before. Hold on. Back up. Fucking being rude to me now. I kind of like this, actually. Bullfrog. Bullfrogs don't look like this. It feels right, though. Sam, you're doing a Megan color palette right now? Are you, Is that a joke? Are alerts not on? Alerts are not on. Alert, alerts are off for free-to-play streams. Mossy, a bit. That's crazy good for the default color palette, right? Like, we don't have a lot to work with here. Like, obviously, we'd rather look like this. But we don't even... We don't have 75 platinum. Come on, now. Green... He's a bell pepper. All right. I love that, and that means we did it right. We... We done everything correctly. I am a bell pepper. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Th that means this thing is, a. Uh... Wait, no. Why, why does my brain tell me... That bell peppers have a red, uh, vine. That's not, that's not true. That's not how that works. Your brain is evil? Hmm, apparently. But what does the noble look like if you don't have the knives enabled? You just out here holding nothing. If you don't have the baneful blades, you're just... You know what I mean? <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I couldn't help it. Is clear already? Day four? That's correct. Now, what can we fit? Well, these are both the wrong polarity, so it's going to be physique, I suppose. Um, yeah, probably the vitality just going in right away is going to be fine. Um, 
one of these slots will end up being intensify pretty quickly. So I might as well just throw it in here for now. And it's I mean twenty percent is twenty percent. One K base HP is already pretty good. Maybe more armor. No, we definitely want the HP because we uh, we have vitality leveled. Also, a reminder: this is a rank four vitality Lamau. Also, well, granted, we are using physique, so it's like a rank six vitality. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, this will be more than good enough for leveling, I imagine. If I'm honest. We should be fine. Yeah, it's regular path. How bad could it possibly be? Time for a sabotage. Oh, I forgot to equip Death Cube. Shit, you're right. Well, that's okay. We'll get to it. The Grenier are attempting to clear this forest by... I might do, I might do a leveling run. You are here to sabotage their efforts. Start with the Toxin Mixer. My intel suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area, but I am unable to pinpoint their exact location. How much damage Search do we think this weapon does with uh, one mod? Enough. Uh, Abros is a relatively new player myself. How long did the Calervo grind take to finish? Calervo grind took like roughly six hours if you count doing the initial quest. to halt the Grenier poison's creation. Take care when destroying the biocatalyst cartridge. It is highly explosive. Head to the poison injector now. <clears throat> Set the injector into overdrive to incinerate the toxin. <clears throat> okay, it should be back up now. It did randomly end. Okay, it should be back here now. It should be back. Y'all on the YouTube end, let me know. We're saved? All right. That's going in the actively monitored window now. Okay, we're good, we're good, saved. Excited to see builds for the Grimoires. Oh, yeah. yeah. Them having unique mods is going to be pretty interesting. Okay. Now we can just put this directly into the Calervo. Um. Stand by while I analyze the intelligence profiles of the Grenier. Error. Not a number. Did the operator enjoy this witticism? Intensify... I mean, I'll end up probably on continuity, I guess. It really doesn't super matter currently. I don't need this strength if I'm going to keep it real, though. I would probably rather just have this to start us off. Like, unironically, like, I think this is actually right as of the first mod. Like, Intensify is not really going to do much here. Like, we are already... So above the power curve with Calervo for regular path. Death Cube and his death machine rival. How early can you get rage? Oh, I can go get Hunter Adrenaline, which is what I am planning to do. <clears throat> um, do, 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 vacuum. Um, can we fit anything else? We can fit regen. Sure. It's an unranked regen, but it is regen. And assault mode costs nothing. This is fine. We are now leveling death cube. Wait, hold on. We are now leveling the frog. Frog cube.
Point of rage when hunter mods are five percent more. That's correct. You know she does, but I swear. Nora, why are you talking? Turn the night wave on. <laughs> Counter adrenaline is a thing. Speaking of which, are ghouls up? I know that's such a fucking heretical thing to say. Ghouls are up, but there's still tons of them, so we've got time. Uh. Hmm. Let's do the worst mission that's required of us. Ba -da 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 -da. Hey, what's up, Rachel? I must extract crucial surveillance data from nearby satellites. Protect them until I complete my task. You'd think they'd clone something a little less ugly. Do not let the enemy destroy the satellite before I have what we need. Come on. Mobile defense in space. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Isn't ghouls on a timer? Well, it's got like a percentage of like ghouls remaining. If we don't get Hunter Adrenaline, I'm gonna keep it real. It's not a huge deal. It's convenient, but not required. I have the data. Move on to the next We're moving the on. Data is heavily encrypted. It will take time to extract. <clears throat> this is it. Defend the satellite while I extract what we need. Okay. You insist. I don't think I've played this node since it came out. That's correct. At the very least, it's good that this is not, like, a hard node. Still working on it. Like, they don't make you like, oh, yeah, go out and get all the mods and level your Arcwing. It's like, no, this is a low-level mission. It's fine. We just, you just still have to do it. The little steel path arc wing interception is legitimately hard. Oh yeah, no, that, that mission is a huge pain. Like unless you actually are invested in arc wing, that mission is like a nightmare. Like if you haven't built one of the other arc wings, like just true misery. Like hopefully you farmed your necromech already and like have the mausoleum on built up at least. you're even thinking about doing that. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Glacial edge.
The death machine rifle leveled up. You know what? Okay. I'll take it. We've done it. Use my void rig to level the arc guns, as you should. <clears throat> Warframe, is strong. Warframe is so strong. Thank you, Hayden Christensen. Man, somebody said that. Now I can't get it out of my brain. We really did. It is just that guy. Anakin? Yeah. Our operator's just Anakin Skywalker. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Whoops, that's Anakin. As ready as you will ever be. Oh, really? Oh, right. I'm, I am MR5 now. Right. Well, MR6, actually. The ranks aren't real yet. <laughs> Don't let him near the operators. He is the operator. <laughs> no! This business. Rank 2, Calervo, are you ready for this? Probably. I might have to do a leveling mission. Probably. Need your second ability. I'll probably get it during the mission. Right? I'm sure it'll be okay. All right, so so big thing during this mission, uh, for those that don't know, the X is going to appear in front of you multiple times. Ooh, you know what I just realized? My Vectus is still mostly unmodded. I really might need to do a thing. So he appears, and you can just run right past him. You actually want to run the way he appears from, because that's the correct path through the mission. He's done his part. Right here, he appeared here, so we're just gonna head behind him. Just gonna go right over here. Probably this way. Here it is. And here's the pipe. How oh, hurt are you from that? Like, pretty hurt or not at all? I'm like a mostly unmodded Vectus, so like we're seeing where we're really at here. He's like half health. Yeah, we're, we're chill. We're being chilling. I might take a death because I'm ranked two because I don't have my de defensive ability, but I'm sure it'll be okay, actually. Like, I've got a mostly unmodded Vectus. I'm ranked two. My shoes are untied. And, like, it, it's fine. I'm clear about
Or I don't have any energy for my one. Well, I'll just hit you multiple times then. Alright, there he goes. We're fine. Mostly unranked, mostly unmodded. It's okay. Whatever. It should be a long time before we hear Vey Hex's ugly voice again. Now get to extraction. You've earned it. You are surrounded by Grenier Marines. <clears throat> so did you have Zenric? You're right. I can't walk, though. Do you know which way to go for skipping it? You go the way he comes from. Wow, a piece of hydroid. He's actually a good Warframe now. What mods are even in this? Yeah, we have we have, there are we have technically equipped mods. There are some mods in this, and that's the like that's fine. Like we're yeah, you know. It's fine. Um Oh okay, yeah, we need <laughs> we didn't actually just do the missions to get here, so let's go. Mobile defense time. Lotus limited us. It made us unable to walk. She underestimated our true power. Oh this man. This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. You need energy generator? No. Need? No. I, can't do this without I mean, I'm leveling Death Cube because he is a very Watch good Sentinel. Systems. But like the chances that I actually need energy generator is actually it's 100% chance it's zero. Can I get that second ability, please? This will take a moment. I know I'm asking for a lot here, but... He has a thing ranked up. Thank you, auto mantling. You have failed me once again. Oh, my second ability broken. I've doubled my health and healed the full, idiots. Also, I'm completely immune to status now. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Got robots inbound. I'll use the fact that companions are actually legit build assists. Yeah, right? Rhino just crying. Yeah, that's correct. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Okay, this is now the one life free to play through because what the fuck do enemies even do here? <laughs> They die. Oh no, have you done something? Ah, perish. Combustion beam? I just finished building the Atomos. Imagine what this is going to look like whenever I have mods in this sword. Can you fucking imagine? Imagine a world where, like, I have mods in my Azathane. Isn't that crazy? I got pressure point and corrupt charge. <laughs> That's it. It's not, I don't even think it's a fully leveled pressure point. <laughs> Thank you. 
ambushed here. Move on. Blair was using 0.5% of his power right now. It's really accurate and true, though. Imagine if the rest of my powers were unlocked, what kind of hell these enemies would be receiving. Calervo, but he gets to equip one crit mod. I'm going to be able to equip two crit mods whenever my weapon's leveled, if you can believe it. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Little robots, stop that. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. The odds are against us, Tenno. Where are they, though? Mission complete. Shit, I'm rank eight. This room is so dumb. I'm basically using your over investment build, but instead of fiber, I'm running equilibrium and using a health orb generator. Uh, I have to try to die. Yep, that's correct. Excellent armaments. Ooh, I get to Armager. equip a second Keep mod. Covered in <laughs> life. Safe and sound. Oh man. Imagine when the next night wave starts and I can get an on polarity aura. Ooh. That's gonna be crazy. Be super spicy. Um Do I wanna level and throw continuity in here? I'll just throw intensify in here for now. It's fine. As a thing, do you have room for a new mod? You do. Delicious. Should I just put reach in here? Nah, it's probably Killing Blow. Organ Shatter? I don't really need more damage yet. <clears throat> Organ Shatter will be next, though, actually. Yeah, you're probably right about that. We can put, we can put a, just a little reach as a treat to start, though. How do you not get hung up on the walls or lips of the doors? Oh, I do sometimes. Every time you see it happen, you'll go, ah! Oh! Pretty much a constant with me, actually, is me going, oh god, why? I don't need more damage plus 120% heavy attack damage. I don't know what you mean. Also here, one real quick. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Invert, tap, and hold abilities. Do, 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 inverted. Now I tap to instant teleport. Mission is to break into enemy data vaults and steal any intelligence files you find. Also, of note, for this mission in particular, Calervo has what's known as true teleportation, which means he does not actually move through the places that he is teleporting beyond. Uh, so because of that, he does not interact with security lasers whenever he's teleporting. He did not let me kick off that wall. It said no. Our 
that was plastids. I need those probably. Now, the one thing that's notable is I have a rank one version of this ability. Uh, so I don't know how far I teleport exactly. So it's because it's not what I'm used to. So I do have to be a little careful. I can't just like fully do whatever, but I can mostly do whatever. And that's just because I don't know the exact distance I can like maximally teleport yet. Excellent work. A clean extraction with no alarms. Doesn't scale with range mods. It scales with range mods and also rank. That was just unlucky. Alarms I thought I had enough distance, you but need to that data a little short. The data oh, whoops. Need to go up. 4K. Please, for the... Please. Please. There we go. Retrieval was successful. Your crowns are safe in my grasp, oh, fathers. Protect me. Oh, I haven't done that quest. You don't drop anything. Never mind. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. Uh huh? Wait, huh? What? May your desire blossom, thief, and with it, wisdom. Farewell! Looks like heavy activity ahead. Delicious, delicious Eximus. You know you could do that with Clearbo. Oh yeah, no yeah, he has a true teleport. It is really, really good. <laughs> Clearbo looking at an Eximus feed me. <laughs> Death cube getting very strong very fast. Uh, Glidsman's teleport is what Ash's teleport should have been like. Yeah. I mean, Ash's teleport should be a finisher version of it still, but it, he should be allowed to just free teleport, just like Calervo for sure. Time for a little bit of rescue. Where do you get more Ureli parts again? Uh, that's the Bash Lab. Got to build the Bash Lab. is a rescue mission. We need to find and liberate the hostage before any harm comes to them. We'll put an end to this corpus greed. As soon as you can, we don't have much time. You are approaching the holding area. Careful, 
If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Bypass complete. You may proceed. Find our prisoner in one of these cells. I thought it was there you are. Enjoy a Lex. Prisoner located. We need to get them back to command in one piece. Find your way to the exits and don't leave the subject behind. Any of you thought about that move before or no? <laughs> My Warframe is strong. You just teleport into thin air. Yeah, I teleported up and then did a fucking diagonal slam to where I actually needed to go. <laughs> you, I can't think of another situation besides that tile where you'd ever use that. Hello, Sedna Junction. He's starting to believe. <laughs> yeah, no sound alerts during free to play through. Hello, Mag. Let's see if I can beat you without modding more. The answer is yes, I can. I say Mag, Saren. He's unmodded. I have two mods in most of my stuff. I'm leveling. It's fine. We have the war within, the war that is inside. Does Clearer have a reactor? Yes. A new quest is available in your codex. They have access to Sabna. Okay, here's the, here's what's going to happen here. I'm going to hit public, and we're going to go to Helen, and I'm going to level Kalerbo. Also, if anyone's like, damn, that matched fast. Yeah, Helen is low level... Low level Hydron. What does low level version of this look like? What's oh, tiny? Look how little it is. Still deadly. It's so tiny. What are we looking at here for squad? We got a Nyx, we got an Octavia Prime, and a regular Necros. Was oh, this like a... Yeah, it's a pretty rev, like relatively new player squad. I'm going to guess here... Okay, I'm guessing here. I feel like Abaddon is here with one of these other players. That's what my guess is. Oh yeah, they could also be farming Eroken Cells, that's true. This mission is good for that. Leveling while also a chance of Eroken Cells. This Octavia do be kind of jamming. Is this the default Octavia Prime song? <laughs> no? Okay. It's a default for one of the instrument packs. Okay.
Oh hell yeah! That was delicious, delicious experience. Access to the Sanctuary Onslaught. I do, but I need materials. So that that's actually one of the big tricks, is you only start using Sanctuary Onslaught um, whenever you don't need stuff. But, like, Aroken Cells and things like that are probably going to be, like, relevant for me. So, like, realistically, you should level on Hydron and Helen um, and, like, Annie, potentially. Dep depending on, like, what materials you think you might need, you, you should actually use one of the slower leveling zones, because multi-farming is actually, like really efficient like would you would you rather do five minutes my stuff is leveled and then do 20 minutes i need this material or would you rather do 20 minutes i need this material and my stuff leveled right like you you end up it's like well it's an extra five minutes Used your mag build here, and a lot of people didn't like that I was wiping the map. Lamau. <laughs> Were you on console? Usually that happens on console. Console players usually are the ones that don't seem to understand that, like, you're leveling them. Yeah? Okay. There's a common misconception. Specifically with console. I don't know why that is. Only beneficial for somebody else to nuke if you're leveling weapons. It's worse if you're leveling frames. If your frame can't nuke, then it's better. And if your frame can nuke, then nuke. affinity for your own weapons when you nuke though yeah so let someone else <clears throat> this chat mostly a pc master race well it's not so much that as much as it is um pc is the primary uh like, like there, there's there's more pc players than there are console players Like, w with some math, the basic breakdown of how it works is that PC makes up about 60% of the player base of Warframe. Is ready. Uh, and then the other 40% is uh, different conjunctions of, uh, of the different consoles, with the hierarchy bravery. being there's more PlayStation players than Xbox players, and then there's more Xbox players than Switch players. It will be very interesting if we are able to do the backwards math on that for who plays on mobile. I'd be very interested in that in two years is when we'd have decent data on that, I guess. A Switch Warframe Lamau, you're not wrong. How are we hanging today, Slime? Good. Fantastic. We are going to make so much progress. <laughs> I think most probably we will be completing uh, 
at least War Within and Sacrifice today. At least. Angels? No, 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 no. I, I'm not going to get to new war today. That's not really... That's not actually very doable. Because, I, you know, I have to build the Necromech. It's actually a problem. I also need to do Heart of Deimos before I can even do that farm. Don't you have to wait for personal quarters? Oh, yeah. I do have to wait for personal quarters. Is that? I thought that was... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go do Heart of Deimos then, at least. Because I know we can do that. Remember how mech farming is going to be post-Whispers? Well, a lot of those changes seem to already be in. And the answer is, is so much better. Is that pre-chains? I don't think that the quarters are pre-chains, are they? Quarters are post the war within. Okay, good. Welcome to the Eximus Blender. Step right up. Eximus. Pasty Eximus. I know that the mech changes that slipped in aren't the actual change they wanted, so it could be somewhat worse in Whispers. Well, the way Pablo phrased it is that he's not sure if all of the changes got applied to them. So it could be even better than it is now. We just don't know. But at, at the very least, I think that it will be better than it was. I don't think it's going to be a downgrade. Or what's the reason behind his syndicate choices? I'll be honest, my syndicate choice doesn't really matter. I just chose the syndicates that I like. Like, you can choose syndicates based on, like, whatever you want. Like, but it, it super doesn't really matter at all. Broken cell, delicious. That was a close one. No. Wrong. Oh, I'm gonna freak out the MR14. Swapping syndicates easy. It seems really costly. I mean, it's kind of costly, but like it, it doesn't super matter. Like eventually, the idea would be that you would like swap sides entirely to get all the cosmetics. So like it, it takes time, but it, there's nothing that's like you know the most urgent thing in the world to go get in syndicates. Like there will be like you know you'll want augments for certain frames and whatnot, and it's like oh that is important for those frames, but like. 
that's only if you like specifically care about that frame. Like, I mean, I'm looking at a Warframe, like I'm, I'm playing as Calervo, like and I'm gonna be primarily playing as Calervo and he had, doesn't have any augments, first and foremost. Uh, and then like the other frames I would be considering for getting ready for Steel Path as like a new player would be Octavia, doesn't need any augments. Zephyr doesn't need any augments. And like, that's a, that's actually a big factor in like the way that I choose frames. All right, you're a summon. Uh, the way that I choose frames, like to suggest to new players, like if they need an augment, I'm probably not suggesting them. Like you can go that way and go down that road and be like, oh, I'm gonna get Gyre and get her augment and get the full build with the helmet and so on and so forth in order to do Seal Path because I like Gyre. Well then, great. Yes, a Treen also doesn't need any augments. Like, there's a ton of Warframes that need no augments in order to be extremely, extremely effective. <laughs> but, like, if, if you're choosing to go down a road of, like, well, this Warframe kind of needs their augment in order to do Seal Path, that's the road that you have chosen, and enjoy yourself. I hope you have fun. Later on, if you're a trader, it's a good passive flat income of, like, 15 per day when LR3. Yeah, but, I mean, we're talking about... A percent of a percent of a percent of the player base like we're talking about the percentage of the player base that wants to bother with trading like they're willing to bother with trading in order for, like to sell things regularly hyper rare like just gonna like be super honest with you right away crazy rare off the rip and then you're like oh the legendary three players in there can get at least one augment every day and it's like okay I'll sell what just anything in general do you choose to leave now Come on. Or Come on. Come on. All three of us are staying. That's fine. The host is staying, which is the important thing. Oh, also, Another hey, if you don't know who the host is, if you yourself. want to know if the host is staying because you don't want to be a host migrated, uh, the little crown that appears on that menu, the person who has the crown is the host. Is it number one the host? Yeah, but you can't look at that whenever you're in that menu. And also hover over the icons and it'll say host on one of them. Oh, does it? Okay. I didn't actually realize it said host specifically. But host migration is the best part. No. No, thank you. Disagree. <laughs> Maybe the crown tip? Not a problem. Why is migration still a problem? It can just mess things up. Migration is an incredibly difficult thing. Like, th like, think about what host migration is, and it will explain entirely to you why it's a problem. Someone is hosting the game. They are connected to all of the other players in that game. They are, like, the host of the instance. If that person leaves, someone else needs to be host, which means you have to disconnect those three players from the one player and then reestablish those connections and all of the important information those connections were giving each other with one of the other players. And that process is like a nightmare. Like the fact that it even works like most of the time, really, is a fucking miracle. <laughs> Have an older game, other older games figured out ways to make it more seamless and actually work. I mean, it, dep it depends on that. You have to consider, like, the complexity of the game as well. And also, like, older games, like what? 
like I think about think about like old games where you had like had a host where like host advantage was a thing and such like if you had like halo lobbies way way back in the day what are you keeping track of how many times you died and how many kills you have maybe like there's no actual like sinking data really like how many bullets you had left like there's a couple of points of data that like need to be seen like synced up and everything in this it's like your energy amount are your abilities unlocked what rank are you are all your like what are your mods what's your cooldowns you have a cooldown how much like like what's your energy per second is your focus equipped like what buffs did you have how much health was left how much shield is left do you even have either of those like were you dead when host migration occurred like it's yeah yeah also positional data is pretty massive as well like it, it's there's so many different factors that like it, it is like post migration is a nightmare yeah you know, what items were already picked up what items are on the ground what enemies are still alive how much health did each of them have how do we know who's the host uh, if you look on the right side of the player list whoever is number one is the host uh, and then in the like do you want to stay or go menu uh, the host will have a crown to denote that they are the host Yeah, it, it's just very easy for things to go wrong whenever you're like juggling that much stuff. Like the, the the real truth of the matter is that network engineers are wizards. What they do doesn't actually make sense. It works, but it doesn't like really make sense. You know what I mean? Like it's it's functionally magic. The network engineers and chemists are just mages. That's true. That's a fact. <laughs> Actually, chemists are alchemists. I'll take. I'll th thank you very much. They dropped the owl. Like, fucking chemists be out here, like, drink this, it'll make you hear the color red. Like, okay. game of choices you must have set it to play. I'm really curious about the vaults. The, the new vault stuff is super interesting to me. Still holding. Nose migration. Wouldn't it be best if what happens is that all items that have been collected to be sent to each account and reconnect to new hosts? I mean, you, you could retool the whole system. Seems like it'd be a little difficult to rip the guts out of a 10-year-old game and put them back in. sound like an expanded version of the Gath mission type? What? They sound like an expanded version of the vaults. Which is, which is what they are. It's not that it's that difficult the software-wise. The problem is if it brings enough value to make sense to spend it on improving the system. Well, no, that's... You've described difficulty.
if it was if it was really easy, you would just do it, forehead. That's the last of them. Objective is secure. Let's go home. Effort does not equal difficulty. Almost entirely it does. That's it's almost the entire axis of difficulty is effort. Like, the, the other axis is just, like, time. Like, extremely high effort, low time, is max difficulty. Like, that's, that's like, those are the, that is the X and the fucking Y. Uh, let's see here. Slap streamline in here because I don't have adrenaline yet. You can spend 500 hours doing something easy, but that's not difficult. Just high effort. That would be low effort. I've been thinking, operator. I thought you'd want difficult to can take an hour. Would be extremely rare to be able to do. Yes. That would be higher effort what e effort is not like being ascribed as the simple act of doing a thing it's how hard you have to do a thing Got to integrate effort with respect to time to get difficulty. Exactly. Yeah, low effort plus a lot of time equals not difficult. Yeah. Difficulty is effort times complexity over available time. That's correct. This point needs some range. That's true. We will have to slap the stretch on here at least. Um. Ba -do 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 -do. Continuity's not really going to help me right now. Like it'll eventually, it'll eventually be in here. I guess I could, I could just, I should just go get Hunter Adrenaline. Is really the, the over under here. <clears throat> Equilibrium. Well, the goal is to cut the, the whole thing out of that. Hello. Yeah, we're gonna go grab Adrenaline. Ideal. Well. Yeah, we're ideally going to go grab adrenaline from ghouls. Provides all, always. She gives to those who are willing to learn. It takes a lot of effort to do that since it takes many hours, but it is not definite by definition difficult. But it, it's the it, okay. So you're 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 totaling the effort differently. That this is the reason why, like. Your effort being, like, relatively low to, like, package sausages, but it just is over the course of a long time, is, like, your expended amount over time. If you were to expend 
all of the effort over like the two hours doing one thing, that would be much more difficult. Because you're expending as much effort as it would take to like fucking pack sausages for an hour as it would to do some other task in 10 minutes. Uh, hunter recovery. Hunter adrenaline. Common reward. That's what we need. It is right. You should take on this task. Success will follow. Fools are hideous things. Ready to kill the moment they take their first breath. Thing is, they're dumb as the dirt that birthed them. But now... Imagine you get munitions uh, too. That'd be cool. Does hunter adrenaline start. work with overguard? No, but it doesn't need to. Coordinating. There's nothing more dangerous than a ghoul with a brain. Crack it down and take it out. It will take some time to pump a lethal dose. Stop all grenades from trying to disable over here. the injector. Clever already, cool, yeah. Good timing for Ghoul Purge, huh? Yeah, well, Ghoul Purge happens really regularly. Like, the reason they stopped sending you the inbox messages about it is because it's on more often than it's not. What am I? Are you six? The processor is almost empty. I mean, getting Hunter Adrenaline first run would be pretty normal. It's a common drop. He's gotten everything else first go so far. It's true. We have been exceedingly lucky. There's the adrenaline. <laughs> As you guys didn't expect to see this, it's slower than me teleporting with Kalervo, but whatever. Show the streamer guy right now. Credit cash reward gives me an and that's for running tricks for laughs. Yeah, pretty much. That's how I didn't know you were chilling. <laughs> God damn it. Scans without Helios. Oh, they just drop now. Those are those are like fragments. Those aren't those aren't like scanning the enemies. 
shoutouts to people who suffered through the original ghoul farm. The original ghoul lore farm is one of the worst farms that has ever been in the game. I did 10 hours of it, and I left with, like, four fragments of the, like, 20. Or then it was not good. Yeah, luckily they fixed that. The ghoul what farm? Yeah, the ghoul lore farm. There's a whole lore series in uh, the Codex that you farm from ghouls. It's these things. You know, the things that I've gotten three of in the five minutes I've been here? Yeah, they made it so it actually drops. I'm sorry, did I say three? I meant four. Yeah, before before they changed it, uh, that the amount that I've gotten in this five minutes was the amount I got in ten hours. <clears throat> hey, hundred munitions. This is fucking. <laughs> uh, you know. You know, they say it's not easy being green, but I made an account named Critical Frog, and it's been pretty easy being green. Draw out this and destroy it. Those devices draw energy from bombardists. Make use of them. If you get an itane, I may turn this stream off. Fair enough. The luckiest drop you've ever gotten? Oh, I don't even know. I've never had a legendary core drop before, so I don't really know. Hey, they're slicing feathers. That's nice. Unlikely to be useful, but it's nice. Hey, Breath of the Eidolon. Sure. That alpha core's pushing up dragon lilies. The rest of them shouldn't be too difficult for one of your comrades <laughs> to clean up. You've never had a legendary core? I've had legendary cores. But I have never... Um... Had one drop from the sortie. With his teleport, how fast is Clairvo in the speed rankings? Oh, he's like... Probably top five. Konzu has identified an alpha ghoul wreaking havoc on the planes. Locate and eliminate them. A ghoul defector was captured in a botched assassination attempt. Rescue them. Rescue them? No. Did you invert his one so that it's tapped to teleport? Yeah. Hunter Adrenaline. And with that, our build is now different. Operator, but I wonder if there are more to be had. Right, that's why I was already in here. <clears throat> what do I want to put in here? There's no real point in adding more ranks to vitality. Like, there's no, there's no real reason to do that. I already have like 2,000 health. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's probably continuity is the easy one. And then realistically, I'm gonna add the umbral mods. So we have, we have six. We have, well, we have 17, and it'll be. Okay, so if I level continuity and intensify, so that's, that's going to... Well, no, leveling intensify doesn't matter, so I'm not going to bother. Leveling continuity does matter, so I'm going to bother. So these five come out. Um, 23... Uh, what's the base cost of the unleveled umbrals? They give them to you at rank 5. What's their base?
They cost six. They each cost 11. Okay. So once I have a matching aura, I can slap Everything all the umbrals in operator? with these. Is that a pun? <clears throat> and then that's like an insane build. This fault. Oh yeah, continuity would go here. And then I won't need... I'll, I'll probably opt for dropping Streamline and putting those in whenever I get them. Does an Intensify boost the crit chance boost from one? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm planning for the Umbrals, because it's Umbral Vitality Intensify Fiber. Gonna use Umbral mods on the free to play through? Yeah, they give them to me for free and they're really good, so I might as well, right? I don't wanna spend 720 endo on that. <clears throat> Do you really need fiber though? I don't need it, but it's hilarious and it gives me a ton of strength. Isn't that a frick ton of endo? They give them to me leveled. They come at level five. You guys know how good a set of level five Umbrals is? It's so good. Also, Triple Umbral Calervo can health tank very well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, physique, this will just be swapped out for whatever. I mean, obviously, I ideally, I would, like, use a form and switch that to steel charge, but, like, also, is that really necessary? Absolutely not. No shot. No way, no how. I just need anything with a dash to be real. Because this is, we already did, we, this, the one that we have now, we got out of circuit, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then reset will happen. Uh, in three and a half hours, so we can see if there's another aura we can get out of that potentially. <clears throat> Help protect the health that is definitely going down. Yeah, you know. Um, um, once we get to steel path, it'll go down, maybe. Excellent armament, Perhaps. Operator. Please return covered in blood. Unironically, this is probably correct for now. <clears throat> Technically, it's this, but whatever. Doesn't actually matter. Just because max efficiency is nice while the enemies pose absolutely no threat to me whatsoever. <laughs> he has the Thanes maxed, so we can actually just put the rest of the stuff in here now. Only 310 to max out this, so... I know we're going to swap that out with Sack Steel, but whatever. <clears throat> Damn, you don't even have a stance for it? It don't need one. I, I will end up with one. Real reach. Um, Yeah, and then Elementally... Unranked Cold? Yeah, that'll do. This is going to be hilarious. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much done. Like, we'll add the Stance mod... That gives us 10 points. That'll let us swap in Sack Steel at whatever fucking rank. Um, and that'll be more than fine, I'm sure. Can I slap anything else into this? I can. The mod that we just picked up for it. I'm not going to bother leveling cryo rounds. <clears throat> no cold damage for viral. On what? This? This didn't have enough points to add another mod last time I put mods in it. You'll notice Infected Clips only rank 3. <laughs> <clears throat> this thing doesn't even have any mods in it. I haven't even leveled the secondary mod yet. There's no need to. Death Cube's almost done leveling. We can throw stuff into him now. 
little repair kit, little vitality, a lot of regen. Little of this, little of that. That's good now. Otomo soon? I already have it built. But we don't need to use it. I remember, did you ever finish System Shock? I did not. I don't think I'm planning to either. That game's cool, but not much, not much needs to be done. Okay, yeah, we're done with Sudden Injunction. I think we're ready to go do the War Within and uh, teach the Queens a lesson in humility. Did you beat Remnant on Apocalypse? Yeah, we did the entire Apocalypse playthrough yesterday. It was sick. That game is really good. A ship not green. Why? I just haven't changed the ship at all. All right. It is time for the war within. We are Colervo. However, if you were Mag, it's probably not going to change this very much. It is time for the w the war that is inside and within. I'm afraid, sister. Your continuity grows in here. Hush, worm. Let the beasts do their work. But the dreamers have awakened. They will come for us. Yes, they will. Like the answer to a prayer. All right. Tenno, are you all right? Your somatics output seems high. I just nodded off. It's nothing. Good. Deploy a warframe to Lua. My sentries have gone silent. We may have an intrusion. On it. Heading to the reservoir. Investigate the reservoir on Lua. It was here Margulis put you into the dream. Tried to heal you. Tried to give you the strength to tame the void within you. In a way, this is where you, where all Tenno, were born. But we weren't born here. Were we? No. When the Zeremin was found adrift, the Orokin did everything they could to erase their mistakes. Transit recordings, personnel logs, everything was wiped out. The only thing they kept was you. I'm detecting an unknown signature further ahead. Find out who it is and what they're doing. I just saw the intruder moving fast. I think it's Teshin. Teshin? What is he doing here? Face that man. It looks like he's heading to a reservoir. Follow him. Leave now. This doesn't concern you, child. Don't call me that. What are you doing here? What was that? The Queen's. Queens? The Grenier Queens? Tell me what- I am warning you. You think you're safe behind this metal, but you're not. I've been stabbed not before. ways that matter here. Behind this, you're still just a child. Stop saying that. Follow me again, Tenno, and you will answer to my sword. Seen them in the flesh. I have a feeling Tyson has. Can you track him? 
<laughs> Not with Spectre's mask in him. But Tenno, you don't know anything about the Queens. Maybe Teshin alone should. No. There we go. Just hitting him with the bow will also work, but it'll be a little slower than that. He'll block a bunch of hits, just kind of automatically. You have, you have tons and tons of time to defeat him. Also, I am going to try and refrain from teleporting with Kalervo, which is what that was, so everyone can see the navigation normally. Also, have a host of new gear using the Vectus and the Lex. The Lex doesn't matter here; we're just leveling it. is trying to mask his location from us, but I have pinpointed a suspicious signal for you to investigate. Find him. We need answers. In we go. Found a track session down. How's the clairvo Azlan combo working for you so far? It's insanely good. As anticipated. My scans for Teshin have converged on this location. Find him. Why hasn't he reached out to us? If he's pursuing the Queens, we can help him. Pride or shame, he does seem to have some connection to them. Stay on the trail. Finding the Queens could give us a tactical advantage against the Grenier. Understood. It is weird that the Lotus doesn't know what the connection is. Why doesn't the Lotus just Google it? Is she stupid? <laughs> oh, God. I've been poisoned. I picked up the trail again. That's not Teshin. It's another one of his specters. He's trying to shake us off the trail. Capture that specter. There we go. We can use it to find the real Teshin. As the heavy attacks go burn. Well done. Return to your ship. I will alert you when I've encrypted this Spectre's control signature. The same deal as before, just hit the mans. Specter points to what should be an unpopulated asteroid field, but deep scans show the presence of a security matrix. Someone is trying to hide something. I need you to find out what. Prepare your Arcwing. We're good at finding out what. Uh, and worth noting for this quest, the Arcwing stuff, it, it don't matter. You don't need anything specific for this, which is fantastic. We love to see it. Will this read playthrough be continuing after the whispers update? Yes, this this read playthrough account uh, will end up doing whispers, not like on release or anything crazy like that. Uh, but definitely, we will do it. Into the tube. So this is going to be a series of scans that are going to be done on this ship, and you just need to not be seen by the lasers. So get on the opposite side. You always want to be on the big side of this just kind of float along it's pretty generous as long as you're in like the kind of right spot um like it, it turns off like you know the different the little space in the front of the ship like there's a there's a bit of 
there's a bit of wiggle room here. And this being the first part of the quest, there's also like, you know, it'll just restart you right from before this. No big deal. Just kind of tap forward slowly. Turning off sprint is recommended here. Now we fly over here. And we wait for the ship to come out of here. Also, no, you cannot blink past the lasers because you do not have blink in this section. And then after this, Arcwing will not matter for this entire quest. Yes. Might I say, that was smooth, Operator. Which we love to this see. This checkpoint is the central hub of the security matrix. Shut it down so orders can fly you in undetected. All right, now we got to do a little mobile defense here. They're coming for you. Don't let them the, the defense is mobile. If you have a good AoE move, it will be very helpful here, killing everyone. Uh, Mags 4 is really good at this. If you are one of the other starters, you'll just have to hit the guys regularly. Unless you're like a fully invested bolt build somehow. In which case, good job, I guess. Managed to get the stance mod for the Azathane. No, I don't really need it though. Until we get the steel path, the Azathane doesn't really need its stance mod. The heavy attacks don't change anyway. It's just for the extra mod points. We can go get it because it's not hard, but I just haven't bothered. Just do 333,000 damage to these enemies. It's easy. Hundred seventy-two thousand red crits. We love to see it. Arcwing, but we're gonna fly just a short distance here. Are those Fomorian engines mounted on an asteroid? No wonder we've never been able to find it. It's always moving. Negative. I'm heading in for a closer look. There was a lot of twins for us to see. to reach out. Supporting the Cool Fortress will restrict mission access. Commit. So, worth noting, you probably want to have one to two hours set aside whenever you click yes here. Just uh, as a note. If the base moves again, 
We'll lose this opportunity. I'm going in. In we go. Time for infiltration. Massively fortified. The queens have to be here. I'm going to infiltrate the base. Wow, uh, Lotus is roaming. Lotus, are you receiving me? Hit the button. Open the door. A very cool new tile set you will almost certainly get very familiar with over time. <clears throat> Alright, puzzle room, kind of. These are terminals. They need elevator keys. There are three elevator keys. They are marked. First one's in here. You can do these in any order, though. And where you enter this room will kind of, like, change things. I guess the first one's technically here. This is a little tutorial one. The other one's over here. You just go into this real quick. Pop that in there. And that opens the elevator. Transference stream. I'm going to locate the source. Down over here. Being seen by the cameras doesn't do anything, so don't worry about it. It just like alerts the enemies. Nothing negative happens. Time for cutscene room. I know this place. You shouldn't have come here. You have ruined us both. <laughs> the Queens. Them? I have come as you commanded, my queens. And this is your offering? My sister needs the orphan child, not its infested puppet. The child? For what purpose? <laughs> to eat it, of course. Hashwam! Do not question your lords, Teshin Dax. Bring me the orphan. Bring me my Yuvan. We'll talk more about what all this means no. soon. <gasps> How rude. Oh, it's not their fault, worm. Mummy and Daddy weren't around long enough to teach them any manners. <laughs> we will have to. Ordis? What is this? Uh, transference surge, operator. You're losing your warframe connection. You have 
some idea that you're invincible, don't you? Nestled away in that mad Cephalon's crib. But you belong to me now. For you see, child, we can see of these ugly metal cysts. Operator, cut the leg. I... I can't. We gave you your precious gifts. And now, just as easily, we take them all away. Cut the link. Transfer it over. Now this is pod racing. Great job, Aldous. Ship Cephalon? More like Ship Failbot. When the Operator needed you most, Ordis, you- Ordus, enough. Operator? My stars! Don't do that to me! Uh, don't I worry about why Carrier Prime's floating around. That's fine. He's Please okay. Command me to self-destruct. Let me start it for you. Commencing self-destruct in five, four, three, Stop. two... Stop. Uh, what's... What's with the music? Isn't it great? I can lead you through some breathing exercises. Just turn it off. Get the transference power back on, okay? I lost my Warframe. I've been trying. You may need to do your, uh, Tenno thing again. Re-energize it. You know, with your void stuff. I'm sure this will be easy and simple. I... I can't. It's to suggest gone. walking over here. What? Gone? Are you sure? How will you command the Warframes if your Conditions satisfied. Engaging Purge preset. Purge? Purge what? Ordis, what the hell? A death cube? Why you are you no being so ominous, buddy? Transference. You no longer command the Warframes. You no longer are the operator. You must be purged from this vessel. Ordis, I've lost my mojo. Non-operator, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but I'm going to decompress the ship. Non-operator, Ordis cannot keep missing like this. Get out of here before I purge you. This will this will push you a bunch. Are not the operator, you will be purged. Exterminate, exterminate the non-operator. I think one side kind of like is permanent. Here we go. It, it'll like kind of lock one side more than the other. This one you kind of just got a brute force. The Mountain Pass. Up the mountain we go. It's worth noting there is kind of wind in this, so you will have to not try and... If you walk off a cliff, you will die.
You see how I'm like drifting left. Just like hold right and forward. And you can you can counteract it. These missions make so much more sense in hindsight. It's true. Yeah, for, for any of you where if you've played through all these quests and you're like, what happened in those quests? What even occurred in this story? I have a timeline video for you. It's about an hour. goes over what happened in Warframe. Would highly suggest. Finally, shelter. Ugh, what happened to you? They gave up. You, you betrayed me, you infested piece of... Yes, do it. Do it. As I thought, the hard way then. So, the great Teshin is just a dog fetching the queen's stick wherever she throws it i warned you now you're trapped inside this place with the queens burrowing in now i am forced to undo what margulis did to open the gate session refuses to give us the rank of master suffer. Inside you, buried within your mind. The power and the misery of the void. The Ayatan sculptures are perpetually in motion, monuments of Oregon continuity, immortality. But this one is halted and aging, needing you as the queens do. Will you give in to them? Or will you face the coil? You don't want to walk to about here. You gotta shoot the glowy icicles. There we go. I gotta shoot the eye. Game over. Now for the hard part. I remember. Mother takes your hand and says there's been an accident. But don't worry, Angel, you're safe with me. Her eyes are distant, unfocused. She's lying. And was our legs not doing so hot here? Well, 
Welcome to the Limperator. Beware the ravenous golden maw. Why does it have to be ravenous? Yeehaw time. So yeah, this is the ravenous golden maw. Uh, it'll eat you. Uh, it is a Tremors style creature. If you step on the stuff it's burrowing in, it'll know where you are and it'll come get you. Uh, notable tips for this section. Jump when heading into its territory. That'll give you a delay before it knows you're there on some initial distance. It's going to be the main one. Also enable sprint. You should be kind of sort of galloping. Yeah, you can jump and get onto these safe places much more easily. It also gets you between safe places as well. I would suggest. But yeah, just keep in mind like where it is because if it's coming around right in front of you, if you jump on top of it, it will eat you. Yeah, there is also a tunnel to the left that gets you through here, but I would say that is, generally speaking, the harder way to go. Into your mind, just as the creature worms beneath your feet. With each step, you will discover what Margulis took from you. With each step, pain awaits you. <clears throat> I may get eaten once. This is like the long section. I want to wait for him to go back a little bit. Should be good. <clears throat> That's the one where most people will get eaten uh, the second time. Most people immediately get eaten the moment you step foot forward. Now we have attained mobility. So not only can we sprint normally now, we're all better. We have our avoid sling. Destroy this barrier and go deeper into your past. So this is effectively your operator's double jump. So you can jump and then hold it and do a dash. You can also hold left alt to crouch and then click it. You can also left click and hold to do it. Generally speaking, I find the easiest way to do this is a double jump. Feel free to use the crouch one if you like it better. The air was acrid and still. My hopes have been sabotaged. The food stocks dwindled. Paranoia gripped your fault. Also, that's whatever you have bound to crouch what? by default. I have left alt. As you stared out into the starless black. Something's out there, kiddo. Watching us. Something's out there, kiddo. Watching us. The whole ship went insane. All right, dash cross. So here, this is going to make this much easier because we don't even have to touch that anymore. We can just go to where we need to go by a teleporting, which is turns out is much better. Incredible. And I was kicking myself for not bringing a rope. And here, just need to dash across through this. My family now. My family now. now, now. Uh, 
They tore her apart. All right, this gives us a void mode. Now, this will immediately replace the crash that we've had for exactly two and a half seconds with invisibility. Now, you must master the fold. Walk upon its edge, concealing your movement within the shadows you create. So you are intangible and invincible during this, which is important in the future. Another metaphor, right? Uh, however, for this section, yeah, you should just you should just use the sling to get across this. It's going to be way more energy efficient and also hilariously faster. So I just I just suggest that. I can hear them. The grown ups are howling at the door, drowning mad in the void ocean. You are at ease swimming within the depths. You remember then how the howling stopped. They had broken through. All right, so now. We, we have this thing. This thing here is a little, like, chooser for ostensibly light side, dark side, neutral, right? Here's the deal. Right now, this has no effect on anything notable. Just choose whatever dialogue you think is cool and don't worry about it. You'll note that like the light side which you would usually ostensibly say is the good side is entirely on fire and this side is like tsunami and horrific things are occurring so you know they might both be bad and neutrals just both of them together so do what you want dialogue wise we're gonna be evil because lamau we accidentally made anakin skywalker they were nothing but animals by then so I hunted. So I hunted. Your repressed power has returned. Transference with your tenor abilities, amplifying them. You've outgrown the cradle. Now your transference is innate. So we can dash Control into stuff to stun it. So we can press five on it to get in. Control them. Like a warfare. This is our new car. So the mall has its own stuff going on. Crouch is burrow. Left click is to do a little chomp. And we're done with that section now. Know this, Tenno, that I am a Dax, a soldier of a lost era, the last of my kind. By Orokin hands, we Dax were given great power, great strength, but an even greater weakness. To obey their command, to never defy the Kuba, the scepter, the symbols of their dominion. No Dax can ever raise steel against an Oregon. Only you can do that. Alright, so from here you can go through this way, or I believe you can still go this way. Yeah, so you can just skip doing all that ice stuff. past, I would have stood guard as the young and exotic were paraded through the mountain pass and marched by the viewing pain. They barter here, the Oregon, withering and coughing as they prepared for their continuity. She doesn't want me dead. No. The queen doesn't want to kill you. She wants to become you. 
to burrow through your mind, corrupting it with despair until only she remains. Okay. So to quickly explain, because a lot of people do not understand this, both of the queens are old Orokin that have had to take Grenier shitty bodies, and they need new bodies to keep living. Our body's really good because we're the big void energy really good body, so they want to be us. And this place, this Yuvan Theater, is where the Orokin would literally have people bring good bodies in so that they could go people shopping for the person that they could be. That's, that is what this place is. Uh, the Orokin are very evil. Welcome back to the real world. Cut the link! Transference overload in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, sploosh. Later, Clairvo. flatlined for a moment there. Can you speak? By stars, the operator's mind is destroyed. I... I'm fine. Just... just don't play any music. I need to think. Music? Operator, you are not making sense. The transference surge must have affected... Yeah, you could say it was perhaps a war within. I begin repairs. Hmm... This is odd. The circuits are dead. But I'm detecting transference energy. Coming from... Coming from you? Oh, we've mastered the dark side. Amazing! How are you doing this? It is slightly terrifying, if I'm honest. Operator, my sensors have gone dark. Where are Sneaky you? Sneaky beaky like. Oh, there you are. Impressive. Very useful. Ordis is a little afraid right now. Operator, you'll breach the hull. Please restrain yourself. Have you lost your mind? No. But I've lost my warframe. And Teshin. What if the Queens know that he helped me escape? I have to go back. Impossible. Just as you thought, the base has moved again. We don't know where it is. There's no way back. My warframe. It's still there. Haven't you been listening? The transference system is fried. I don't need it anymore. Operator, where are you going? Don't be... You really do be looking like Anakin. <laughs>
Uh, the Azathane's gonna do a little bit of a thing here. Not a, we're fine. Sister, the dreamers come for us. Tenno, no. After everything you've endured to escape, why did you come back? I came back for you. Stupid child, you don't give up, do you? Kalerva's about to commit fish. seven more crimes. Uh, that was a big mistake. Gods, kill this war frame and bring me my new skin. <laughs> a time to add operator combat into the mix. So you can do Void Sling to disarm these guys. And then you can just switch to your actual frame in order to kill them. They're not actually very tough once you take their weapon away from them. And these are the braids, which we can just beam down. And they will become invincible after that. We'll have to fight some more guys. Despite perhaps being a strong word, considering we're Kalerva with Yazabane. <clears throat> oh, wait. Oop. It's three on the second one, I forgot. Teshin believes himself to be very strong, uh, especially if you have, have farmed uh, this. What I have, he is not, but just the bow is going to be plenty for this also. You're not going to have to worry about it. Yes, from the moment I began training you, I have anticipated this moment. You must not stop. Defeat me. We are Orokin. We created you. We are your golden lords. Come out. Come All right. Out. So now we we need the staff from her. Without her scepter, she is powerless. So what you want to what you want to do here is whenever she does the beam there, her little shield goes down. And you want to go void mode whenever she's winding up, or whenever she's like about to do it. Come on. And then dash at her. What are you waiting for, Dex? And now we have the staff. We control the Teshin. A chance to kill you. Kill her. Do it. The worm has rallied the troops. Get to your ship. I'll divert them. Go. All right. Tenno. Tenno. I've been trying to get through. Are you all right? Your transference stream seems different, stronger. We have neutralized the Queens. Teshin. Teshin helped me. 
I'm heading to extraction now. The queens, they cut me. They have to walk away from this door and walk back near it. Been there for you. I'll send your orders to pick you up right away. Oh, I broke that. Okay. Now we just need to exit. This will be a short arc wing section. It's just too much for an old cephalon like me. Don't worry about what that tube's doing. It's intangible. And now we're back. Frame. What a relief. But Odis wonders, are you still able to walk the ship as yourself? And now we have we have legs. We can Impressive. move. Just think of the possibilities. You can help me clean up that infested door. A mother wants to shield her child from the evils of the world. Margulis didn't lie to you. She protected you. But isn't it better I know the truth? Wouldn't you want to know? Teshin said... Teshin thinks he knows better. Maybe he does. Maybe you needed to know to survive the Queens. But you are changed now. That's what you have to say? That I'm changed? What you did, you didn't have a choice. Tenno, you were only just a... Don't. Don't do that. Don't make excuses for me. What's this? An old war beacon? How exciting, Operator. You would want to investigate this. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt? In we go, or away we go. I killed them. I killed them all. <laughs> now this time up the mountaintop, but much easier. Big ol' Ayatan. Even if you know where this is going, you do have to follow along, I believe. Try and aim for the back wall here. Easier to hit the platforms. would be for me to catch up if I have not played in five years. Uh, I'm going to catch up in about a week, so you should be fine. Oh, by the way, when I say catch up, I mean start a brand new account. This account is five or six days old at this point. 
You don't know what to do with it. Tell me. Hmm. Some believe the Day four of me actually playing the blood of Orican ancestors, an elixir of power, of immortality. Others believe it to be a poison, a corrupting oil that brings madness and evil. What do you believe? I believe them both. But for you, Tenno, perhaps this Kuva is It's just not a, a story the, the Tenno would tell you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You more than anything. Okay, so in, in this case, we are going to choose destroy because it's the only one I've never chosen before. So we will we will be destroying. is over. All right. And with that, the War Within is completed, and we can walk around. Or, well, I think it's like trying to wrap up. Give me the, give me the, give me the thing. Do, do the thing. Do the thing where the, the quest is complete. Do the, give me a little. Come on now. I believe in you. I'm just going to go down to the relay and then come right back. Usually that clears up any problems like this. I have three unread map. There, there they are. Okay, so we have multiple things to talk about here. Real quick, here's our War Within stuff. You get a Capture scene, which is neat to glyph. You can build the Orvius, which is a thing that exists. The Broken Scepter is a weapon that you just get. It is very bad, but level it. Make sure you level it before selling it. Uh, then you get access to Riven Mods, which I'm not going to go into. Operator, you also are able to build the personal quarters now. Now that you are here in the flesh, we should make the Orbiter more comfortable. Ordis has identified an old storage space you could use. Stand by while I... Torch this junk. Dispose of my own belongings. Out with the old and in with the new, right, Operator? Construct this domestic habitation segment to extend life support to your new room. Guess we can build this. It's not very hard to build. I need to grab a Tellurium and an Argon, uh, which is pretty easy. Uh, and then this is going to be very important. Uh, so this is... Uh, a call for us on Cetus, essentially. So we will go and do that as well in a moment. We can head back now. There's our quest completed. Need to do a little reset. However, I am going to just go quickly do, and this will probably just be a part of this recording, heading back to Cetus, because you will have to do this immediately afterward, and you should do this immediately after this quest. So here, 
fast travel to Kanzu. You remember Kanzu's quest? Maybe. Head over here. To a familiar looking door. This will now open for you. And this is where Anko hangs out. From memories of a past that is yet to be, the Uno knows you as a terror to the Eidolons. This has been waiting for you to deliver upon them a terrible ruin. We have had and shall have a long association, Demo. I know our conversations well, Shola. Okay, and that's a big upgrade for our Void Beam that's going to be important for future quests. You're going to want to make sure you have that. Um, There are more upgrades that you can do if you do more Anko stuff. He has his own syndicate and all this other, other business, but you don't actually need more than this, but you definitely should at least have this. Now make the one one so you don't suffer in chains and sacrifice. No, I'm definitely not going to do that. The other day, Konzu was vexing lyrical about what a life we've had. I told him it wasn't over yet. Now, why is the network not responding? What's up with that? Hello? I'm intangible. I'm in. We did it. We're back. Everything's fine. Do you have Zenerik yet? I do have Zenerik, yeah. I haven't gotten, like, much, uh... Oh, speaking of which, I have Kalervo now. Is he rank 30 yet? No. And unfortunately, I can't put my, um... My lens in him until he's rank 30. But once, I, once he is... And we'll have the lens. That will be very good. Okay. As for questing stuff, uh, I need to get the personal quarters started. Uh, so we need one Tellurium and one Argon. We should grab the Tellurium first, though it doesn't really matter. Uh, Tellurium drops. Does Tellurium drop in Railjack? I don't remember. There was a really easy way to get Tellurium. Is it just Uranus Survival? I think it's just Uranus Survival. Yeah, this will be easy enough. I'll just hit Ophelia up. This will level my Calervo too. Hi, right, what should I do if I, after I've completed all the planets? Uh, you should do all of your quests if you have not. Still in public, by the way? Whatever. I'm Calervo. A lone Tenno operative is raiding this ship for supplies. You are here to distract the enemy. Trigger the alarm. They have just shut down all systems. I'm sending life support capsules your way. Who is this Chad Lone Tenno operative? Us doing a spy mission. <clears throat> polymer farm too, so it's not bad. True. I need the polymer. Or the plastids for that matter. 
Tenno. Prepare for life support. Buckler bro seems quite strong. Still building it myself. A, a little. A, life capsule to the a little bit. Activating it will buy you more time. <laughs> just, uh, just some, perhaps. This, this is the new player Calervo build, so. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Do players are spoiled nowadays only if they know. Only if they know. Reforming Tellurium. Yeah, I need one. <clears throat> if anybody sees one, let me know. I'm just walking up this ramp for no reason. Oh, come on. I want to do the fun finisher. Another life support capsule is now available. I'll make sure, just in case anyone doesn't have heavy trauma. It's a rare mod. 90% <clears throat> of new players still just beeline straight to Rhino, which is a great option. I think that is a fit. Like, I, I consider it, like, it's two, it's two, two schools of thought. If you go for Calerbo, it takes longer. It takes longer to go for Calerbo than it does to go for Rhino. Just objectively, that's just the truth. But... If you go the Calervo route, you get the Azathane, an incredible melee weapon. You get Calervo, an incredible Warframe. And there's no way for you to farm Calervo without also getting about 30,000 MR from doing Duviri. And as a new player, that's going to easily, alongside Railjack, bump you up to like MR7. Like, just right away, with no grinding of, like, any, like, weapon grinding and stuff or anything like that. You just become, like, MR7. Like, I'm already ready for my next MR test. <clears throat> Why not both? I mean, you can do both. Though, like, there's not going to be much need for Rhino if you're Calervo. Did you get the Azathane? You get it from farming Calervo. <laughs> if you farm Calervo, you will also, as a consolation gift be able to get the azathane because you will get excess clamps uh so you will just get this from doing it any reason for mr7 is the extra real stuff you did too though to be completely fair The Railjack and, like, the Drifter Intrinsics numbers ain't looking too different there, and Calervo's worth 9,000 with his weapon. The raid is off to a successful start. When you need it, extraction is ready. Yes, but you'd be the be the 34k short, which is the difference between MR6 and 7. Sure. It's like it's kind of irrelevant though. Like it's still a huge chunk of MR. They learned you get mastery from intrinsics. I feel like that was explained somewhere. Oh uh, no. I don't think that's explained basically anywhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
These boys do not want to drop Delirium. <laughs> In the patch notes for that update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was explained in the patch notes. Yeah, I ain't mean, sure. You're extremely good at making fun systems, but terrible at explaining them. Yeah, that's fair. Brandon turn didn't have that. I'm not going to use that. Didn't have it. Funny enough, I learned that from Brozyme and I'm MR22. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Ain't that just the way of it? Another copy of Mobilize. Doesn't the viewer explain the intrinsics of MR or no? I don't think so. It might be in a pop-up, but I don't think it is. play day four and you already seem to have way more gear than me the complexity of this game makes me wonder if i'm doing something wrong or missing out on things i should have unlocked i'm 150 hours into the game and mr6 i mean like there's a bunch of things you can do but there's not necessarily like things that you like need to do like uh i've done railjack and duviri on this account which are both super worth it for new players like railjack gave me all the credits in endo i needed um and Duviri gave me Kalervo and the melee weapon you see me using here, the Azathane. And also, a, like, both of those things also gave me a ton of MR. So it's, it's really like, if you haven't done Railjack or Duviri, it's worth doing. It's also worth noting, I have not done the Railjack quest yet. Uh, I have just joined others on Railjack, which you can do once you have an Arcwing. comes into in from Fortuna standing. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's really true too. Also keep in mind a big part of the first 100 hours or so is learning how to play the game well. Bros isn't exactly moving around and like like a new player. Yeah. yeah. I don't even I don't even know how I would do that. It also would be like, you know, making guides where it's like I will not bullet jump. Not exactly useful. Oh. I was hoping I could just do a finisher, not well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Give me a Tellurium. One of you fucking guys give me a Tellurium. I need a single Tellurium. As being dicks about it. you not share resource drop chance boosters? No, those are shared. There's a single Tellurium. You're right on time. Also 400 endo, which is actually not bad. That's the longest I've ever seen a Tellurium take it. Sometimes it just doesn't want to. Invent a memory wipe to just <laughs> remove knowledge of Warframe every free to play through. Man, what if I wrote the guide? I wrote the free to play through and I'm like, and there's only one way to test it. I memory wipe myself and use my own guide. <laughs> Be a 
just fucking use the neuralizer on myself. Couple of ranks in Calerva. Vectus is almost fully leveled. Ooh. You'll get your you'll get your memory back when you're MR30. Good luck. I would never set such a restriction on myself. That sounds like misery. MR30 is a grind that should be done over such a long period of time. Uh, if you guys want to go on me going to get some. I'm going to go get some of the, um... Oh, God. The Argon. I'm just going to grab a drop from one of the places here. Why Death Cube instead of Helios? De Death Cube is more of, like, a gameplay benefit if you go get his energy generator. Why'd it be Helios? For the scanning? That's, like, a pretty niche thing. You are here on a capture mission. Like, I, I would Plus wager that most players do not care about scanning all their guys. My warframe is the hand, and I am the wheel. Target located. Bring them in. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. Ooh, an orange star. That'll be very useful in an hour and a half. This is not a door. Push <laughs> three and have maybe 20% or less of the enemies in game scanned. Sounds about right. Control modules, that's fine. We prefer to one Argon, but uh, you know the control modules will be useful eventually. All right, I have two slow firing weapons. Oh, this button's already been hit anyway. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Oh, whoops! I went backwards. But no, no, I was supposed to go backwards. Hey, there's a single Argon. Oh, somebody found a treasure room. After war within, right? Yeah. Let's go to Roken Cell Farm. Uh, Helen on Saturn is pretty good. Other than that, doing bosses fast, uh, the Sarah's boss is pretty solid. Because it's two bosses, therefore. You know, you understand. Oh shit. I actually need Iotan stars, so. 
Where'd the marker go? It's gone. Hate that. If you want to farm stuff, let me know. Oh, sure, we can do that. <clears throat> what are you looking to farm, babe? Oh, it was in the... Right. for saying this, but I just want to play with you. Everyone shut up. <laughs> Do you make Death Cube for the Augment or just leveling him? Uh, yes. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Aw, oh, equals flaming to me. has Galerva before my MR27 account, Lamal. <laughs> Doesn't the Railjack need Argon as well? It might here and there. Personal quarter segment is now building, so that will be ready for us tomorrow. Why don't we? It's complete. Ordis will renovate your new space. Ordis loves nesting. So what quest can we actually do? Part of Deimos. Bed luck protocol is not required. And we need... Uh, Chains of Harrow. Oh, I, right. I have to get some Mott for that. I totally forgot about that. Okay. So, yeah. We almost have the prerequisites for Chains of Harrow. I'm in your chat. Hell yeah. Hey, babe. Hello. Oh my god, I've been in Warframe since yesterday. You've been in Warframe? You just had it open? Me too. Yeah. Alright, strike 48 hours from your playtime. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> you said at some point you needed ghouls. Did you get to that? Oh yeah, we did that. We only need to do one run for it. That stuff's really common. Okay, I'm gonna restart this. Mm-hmm. That's probably smart to do. Well, because we were watching the dev stream, or we were talking about the dev stream, and I was fashioning the heirloom mag, and then we got up to do something, and I never came back to my PC. That's fair enough. It's 
Sarah's not in her Gara fashion. She must be in drifter mode. Yeah. That's correct. No, I'm not in drifter. This is my operator. Come on. <laughs> Well, Finn has received pets. He's on his way back to you. Not even yesterday. It was Friday, Sarah. I do not get on my PC on the weekends. <laughs> it's all the proof you ever need, everybody. As ready as you will. How much playtime do I have in Warframe? In mission, I think it's like 30 hours now. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Where are you at? Oh, I have horrible news, babe. Is Sarah Elgin sorry? Yeah. What? The, the package is here, apparently. No. Yeah. One second, I'll be right back. No. Hmm. Now you're all stuck with me. Um, I have 155 hours, but you have to subtract 48 from that. If you're just talking like steam hours. Is it actually here? No fuck, no fucking shot. Holy shit. It is here. This is the first time same day shipping has ever worked. Great. Well, that wasn't shipping. That was somebody driving their car here from yeah. the store. It's shipping. Well, it's not shipping. Well, shipping is driving a thing. No, 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 no. There's logistics involved with shipping. There's this is- logistics involved. No, mm -mm. No, this is just delivery. This is, we got a printer in the equivalent of fast food. You wouldn't say that my pizza got shipped here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, that's more of a pizza than a shipping. Okay. All right. Is going to play some games for a little while? Yeah. Uh, anyways, context. Um, I had a shitty HP printer, and by had I mean have. And every time that garbage. Gav, every time that Gav has like a bullshit, like project he has to do, we have Some to use the printer. You got to fucking print and shit inevitably, out. And inevitably, the ink has dried up, or it just doesn't work, or it's not aligned. <sighs> yeah, printer right. is garbage. Yep. I used to have a brother printer mm -hmm. and I loved it. Mm -hmm. I, had a, I had a brother, um, the one that uses the toner. Laser? Is that a laser printer? Uh, yeah, Anyways, I think so. Whatever. I loved my brother printer. Also, can, can you can you message Critical Frog? Then I'll add you to this account's friends list. <laughs> critical Frog. Yeah, Critical, uh, critical <laughs> underscore no, Frog. No, I get it. <laughs> um, And, oh God, I'm still in my mag fashion. That's not complete. Um, <laughs> What do I need to do? Uh, just message me. I'll tell you what. I'll actually take care of this. Hey, hey, I got you. Okay, cool. Sent you an invitation. Close enough. <laughs> Anyways, the thing is so shitty. You can't even control the printer from the printer itself. You have to download what I essentially consider malware. Yeah. Uh, to run it. And then it still runs like shit. And... It's really just, I had to get rid of, anyways, I had to get rid of my old one because it was black and white only, because it was a black and white laser printer, because mm -hmm. I use it for college. And so I was in tears today, and so I was like, I'm going to buy you a printer yep. and have it delivered in a couple hours, Yep. which is adorable. Be like, I'm tired of this being the most stressful, shitty situation possible. And then she was like, well, there's this $80 brother printer that does color. And I'm like, no. You do not want the cheapest, shittiest printer available. You want exactly the tier directly above that, because that one is the one that works. Do not buy the shitty printer, chat. What, what brother? brother did you get? Uh, I don't know its name exactly. It's, it's a, a brother. It's a brother. The brother color jet. printer. Yeah. You want a working printer? Why? <laughs> yeah, also don't buy a printer unless you're required to have one. If yeah. you have a kid, though, you don't really get a choice. Yeah, you don't really get clear. a choice. For, 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 what, for whatever reason, schools are still under the assumption that everyone has a fucking printer. Yeah. 
You want to know something hilarious? Sure. Wait. Maybe not. Hold on. God, take what's the kid it like to the library. Frost? Oh, that's really good whenever we live in the mountains. That'll only oh, yeah, take we a... live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> that'll it only, doesn't work. That'll mm -hmm. take him... Well, how long do you think that'll take him? I give him the upshot on a week. If he if he can get to the library. Oh, no, it's not that bad. It would take him probably about four hours to walk to the library. No. Yeah, it's you that close. So? Yeah. Mm. It's not as far as you think it is. I don't think you know where the library is. I know where the library is. Well. The biggest pro yeah, yeah. There's also no sidewalks, so... Yeah, there, yeah there's absolutely Can no sidewalks. Can he not drive? I mean, no. he could try. Not allowed to. Does he not have a bike? He does not, actually. He does not know how to ride a bike. He knows how to ride a bike. What? Yeah. Why does he say he doesn't, doesn't then? Uh, I, I guess maybe he's forgotten, but I taught that child how to ride a bike uh, when he was in, It's five. like riding a bike you never forget. Hmm. God, really, equipping Frost heirloom skin is like, what if he didn't look like shit? Sorry, <laughs> that's a hot take, and no, I apologize it isn't, to anyone though. who You're loves You're right. It, but I just equipped his skin, and I was like, God, what a great Warframe. Yeah, that's correct. Is there another printer at his school? Um, here, one second. Uh, honey, I'm just going to yell to you real quick to ask you a question. Is that okay? Okay. It'll probably come up on my mic. That won't matter. I'm going to mute you too. I'm not allowed to discuss um, <clears throat> some things. You just made it sound so like ominous. It's not. It's not ominous. Anyone reading lips? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Lip readers get to work. Yeah, from the side, it'll be real easy. <laughs> what do you want to run? Uh, well, I need to get to Mott, ideally. Let's do it. Um, I should probably bring a frame that I'm actually should level. Hmm. That's probably valid. I can't just you play Gara to, forever. I feel like I shouldn't play Gara forever. Why you know not? what I mean? I'll never, I'll never get to mastery. Are you above? We're the same. Oh my God, you're ahead of me. You're about to hit seven. <laughs> I'm and at, I, I'm actually and... at seven. I just have to wait for the <gasps> cooldown. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally I, in in 21 hours. I will be seven. I have more oh, than the needed mastery. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's entirely intrinsics for sure. Here, I can check. Yeah, oh, you, you, ju you just haven't played any Duviri or any Railjack. It's really the, the over-under here. Holy so shit. You, so you're missing the 60,000, or sorry, 65,000 MR I got from that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're at 100,000. What's 165,000 um, MR? What rank does that put you at? Is that like eight and a half? Feels like that's like well, eight I'm and a half or nine. I need you to know I was with you when you started talking and my brain shut down. What was that? Don't worry about it. Okay, no, I was just asking. I just, no, I really, I just, it's not even that I don't understand. My brain literally shut down as I was listening. Please, please. What, at, at what part? At what part though? What part? I don't know. Never mind. Now it's all gone. It, okay. <laughs> all right. If, 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 okay. TLDR. If you did Duviri and Railjack a little, you'd be MR8. I've done Duviri. You, you didn't had. You didn't do any more. No, I didn't do. Like, any. You did. Well, the, you I'm... did the quest, and also I'm here to tell you, you did not unlock any of the things that give you MR from it while you were there. <laughs> Which also Ow. means you did Duviri on hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I hate me. <laughs> All my homies hate me. <laughs> Actually, wait, what the fuck? How is that possible that you have what? How do you have zero drifter intrinsics? It forces you to unlock the horse. <laughs> horse. What? I have the horse. Can you summon the horse anywhere? Oh, uh, I don't think so. How? How did you do this? How did you skip that? I don't, you I, you I sequence broke to just... your disadvantage. <laughs> no, but I have the horse because I got special gear for the horse. 
<laughs> okay, I know Thanks. that you 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 own the horse, but yeah. you do not have the ability to summon the horse. It's a haunt, actually. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Any other response? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how you've managed that. That's impressive. <laughs> summon is any summon anywhere is level nine or ten. I mean summon in Duviri. That's the first rank. Um, Rachel, I have a bug to report. I don't know. <laughs> I think this Wait. one's on you. You can go get that at any time. <laughs> We should not bring Frost. Frost is unmodded. Hey, can you tell me what mods to put in this unleveled Frost Vitality. Prime? You got it. You got it, bud. <laughs> he's, he's, he's unleveled, so I know you have absolute maximum 12 mod points. I got eight more after I put Vitality in. What yeah, else? Well, how about should I your, put Umbral? You got an aura in there? That. What's his default aura polarity? Those words make sense um... or no? Yeah, hey, rude. <laughs> <laughs> well, most, okay, I it's hard to know. A little bit. I know, I know that you have learned, but it's hard to know because sometimes I just say jargon to you and you totally get it, and sometimes I say jargon to you and you go, "I don't remember what the fuck that is." Babe, I'm just, babe, I'm just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can put Stand United in there. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Probably, Great, probably rejuvenation if you have it. Oh, yeah. I could spell that. Nine got that. Yeah, there you go. What else? Um, lead, and You don't have fleeting expertise. I got um, that. Sarah really should have been the test case for the guides. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't done yet. You're getting real close to insulting me like my boss did yes, that one yeah, time. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a max streamline in there for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. What yeah. else? I got 17 more points. Stretch. 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 Also, I need you to know that supporting you has really impacted my YouTube experience for <laughs> context. I now get fucking random Warframe videos. Yeah, that's correct. It's cursed. <laughs> I don't want that. I just, I watch your videos, but I don't want that, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, that gets, I mean, that's fair. Yeah, this is my little Garia. I got, it was very, someone very nicely made it for me. And then I harassed them till they let me. <laughs> <laughs> Until you were allowed to pay them. Yeah, it's very good. <clears throat> it's my Gara. That's how I fashion her. Yeah, that's um, good. I have eight more points. Eight more points. Um, I'll show you here. Uh, Corrosive projection. That is an aura mod that will reduce your points. Fuck. Count. You know what? I didn't say that. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Let's say Augur Reach. You got it, boss. Yeah. God, I'm a moron. Thank you. No, you're totally fine. I did it. Sarah hunted them down to pay them. I did. I put. I sent Chad on a mission to find their coffee. <laughs> Um, I find this person. Nimki, Nimki Arts, by the way, if anyone's interested. Yeah, who was who was also made a very nice chart for the site. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, completely unfashioned frost, 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 frost. Okay. All right, I don't know what frost does, but uh. Does she know about the night wave armor? Yes, she does. I do, and I will. Also, I'm here to tell you, frost does not do anything until you have all of his abilities unlocked cool which is why you have Sounds vitality and rejuvenation in there because that's going to keep you alive i have my nataru i have my nataruk right that's yeah correct. is that modded probably okay. yeah i love this bow hold on yeah it's fantastic i i got i love this bow and so it probably is fuck i have 21 points Okay. I think I have everything I need. I have serration, infected clip, split chamber, and point strike in here. Okay. We're going to also need vital sense in there. <laughs> Sometimes you talk to me and it just feels like an insult, just so you know, and I got that. <laughs> you don't have that? Um, anything else? No. Uh, how about a cold mod? Just type cold in there. It'll pop up. I got cryo rounds. That'll do. Sure, you got it, boss. 
Fuck, I tried to right click to fucking upgrade it. Anyone else tried to ever do that? Yeah, absolutely. Anything else? <clears throat> uh, not that you have. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I, I think mean, I, gonna... oh, you know what? I actually am going to say this. Hunter munitions. <laughs> okay, don't say it like a question. Like, <laughs> this poor sweet child owns nothing. Well... Could she pass? I don't got that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 now you know why I say it like a question. I want you all to know that he likes me for my brain, legitimately. But I just, when in Warframe specifically, I sound like a three-year-old. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone shut the fuck up. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So who are you trying to fool? What, you can call me dumb? Do it. I dare you. Because you know what I do have? I do have a ban button. And I can't <laughs> ban you because you're a mod, but I will <laughs> fight Zyme for his computer to ban you. I'll do it. Okay. Um... Oh, Sarah, he just like knows him. it's from content that you did not do much. That's true. You two should do a podcast. It would be great. I've been told that before. Urban you? Okay. I can urban you, but I don't think you come back for that. Look at my Lizette Prime. Look at I have my a random. Look at my regular also, Lizette. Regular for those Lizette you goes burr. <laughs> who have not been around for the mystery <clears throat> of Saria's collection of Warframe things, I have a collection of things that I shouldn't have. Uh, she has myriad prime accesses. <laughs> By the way, two weeks ago, she completed Angels of the Zaramon. <laughs> I'm still mad you have that ship. Stay mad. <laughs> Suggests that our person of interest oh god, I haven't played Warframe in a week. Oh god, home. how to jump. Oh no shit. <laughs> nah, damn it. Claire, but why did you do? do this to me? Oh, the teleport just didn't go the way I wanted. It's fine now. I got all the energy back. We have an assassin. Find the captive as soon as you can. We don't have much time. <clears throat> Is someone after All you? The pro I don't know. Maybe. All right. All the progress I've made in how to move in this game has gone away. That's okay. I didn't. I didn't play for two weeks, and I'm jumping into walls. You're fine. You also got to get used to Frost being slower. Oh, is that what it is? No. Okay, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was so hard. <laughs> well, I have to be honest with you. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. You're right, but damn. Let's chat. You lied. That's not an amber star. That's just a terminal. I'm Detection, they will surely initiate the, the slight pause before the no. Consider what I've learned. Yeah, he Was thinks it he's slick. Back? It's fine. I love this bow. What a good oh, bow. Well, this sword. There's a heavy unit approaching. That's fair. I can't. How do I get through this? Right, look at the map, moron. If I were a door. If I were a... So you're here, I want to take a minute to check out the story recap page D put out. Besides recapping, it's also got some new info. Uh, I will probably look at that later. It's telling me to go this way, and there's definitely a door here, but uh, the door doesn't open, so I'm assuming it's not a real point. door. Yeah, I was following the waypoint. No, 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 the new one that I just put down. Oh. Uh, it's a white one. Yeah, but okay, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, if I see it, it's telling me to go the same direction. Okay, that's probably but right. But also, then. I can't go that direction. I got you. No, 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 don't help me. <laughs> Do you need me? Is that why you're... Hello. I got it. I found I found the door. Don't... You got back here that fast? I'm going to jump from a bridge. <laughs> In the words of the great Taylor Swift, <laughs> I'm going to jump off a great tall something. Oh, yeah, you did need me for something. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> me making Zymes free to play through just a little bit harder. Not making anything harder. A little bit. No. As a treat. I need time to get the fuck out. Holy shit, you're so speedy. <laughs> That's correct. I am oh my using God. my teleports a little bit, though. Cross fucking wearing ankle weights. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am using my teleport some, so keep that in mind. Blairvo can, can literally blink dash teleport. She doesn't have limbo, I think. Don't speak too soon. I don't I think, think I she do does that. have limbo as a joke. <laughs> I think you were as gifted a, a limbo as a joke, for real. Oh, man. Hey, I freed that hostage. I didn't even do it. You did. You got him. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I like how Calerva with a basic Azathine build just casually hits red crits on demand and deals those big numbers. Hell yeah. I do not have a limbo. Okay. I think limbo is a joke, really. I mean, he's the worst Warframe in the game as of now. Oh, hold on. I have mail. Willing to bet Zyme would still be faster with a hobbled dragon key? Well, that's not fair because hobbled dragon keys don't actually slow me down at all. <clears throat> So, yeah, he would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, like, man. almost never use that method of movement. No, oh, man, that's actually so funny. It's so funny, though. <laughs> the thing next next to Zyme. This is Sarah's little, uh, little pop. It's her little Gara. For those of you don't know, this is how I fashion my Gara. Yeah. I'll learn how to run again, I swear. I'm sure we're good. Fine. I love the kill all the things mission. That's absolutely valid and fair. It is a good one. I actually love the one, the, the, the stationary defense one better. Do you like the I think that one's my favorite. Hmm. The one that's like endless rounds? Yeah. I'm, yeah, a, okay. I'm aware of it. I'm just making sure that I have mission. it right. When I say, when I define it to you, I'm making sure that I have it right. No, just I so know. You know. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I'm aware. I just needed clarification because I fucking hate those missions. Really? <laughs> the worst missions in the game. I like them a lot. And this is why they're still around. Right? Ever walk in a room with a fucking. Ever walk in a room and Calerbo's there? Is that where we're at? Oh, yeah, pretty much. I just shot a dead body. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the irony that I made fun of Stalker for like pinning a guy to a dead guy to a wall and then it turns out to be my favorite weapon is kind of ironic. Yeah, that's true. That's what I've learned about myself. I 
Miss Raider was lagging behind here. I got him though. Just one small lab? Yep. Just one particular guy. I'm gonna have to fucking use my goddamn Zorus to keep up. Or oh, some shit. Oh, Damn it. Always the bridesmaid, never the killer. God damn it. <laughs> Frost is slow though, right? Yes, correct. It's not me. Yeah, no, he has like a 0.8 like movement speed. Cool. Usually whenever you have a build with him though, he doesn't actually need to get particularly close to everyone before freezing them solid and making them explode. Oh yeah, cool, 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 cool. Damn it! My bow is so slow. We can fix that. Oh no, it's fine. It's just comparatively. Oh, sure. I, yeah. I wind up and they're dead. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean... It's fine for solo stuff, right? Oh, it's but... no, it's a great weapon just in general. That weapon's fantastic. You, it's just that your build doesn't have like the speed mods you'd normally run. What was it? Because I don't have them? Yes. Yes, correct. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As you do. Oh, fucking jeez, guys. I've broken your rank. Stop shooting me. Mission complete. Excellent. Um, on. Also, Sarah Calero is a nuke frame, so everything go dead in this area. That's also very true. Well, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Clairvo gets to do the really good math to enemies. I remember how Zyim stole Sarah's Gara fashion for his Gara video thumbnail. Yeah, didn't even credit me in the video. <laughs> yes, I do. No, Literally, you don't. <laughs> you, what do you I mean? I have watched that video twice and I haven't seen it, so do I'm going to need you to zone out during the survival. Point. Okay. <laughs> probably. Why do you ask me things that are probably true? <laughs> I saw that. I held your stream up, dick. <laughs> Man. I'm going to unwrap this gift that Mod got me. I got a limbo. <laughs> I'm limbo now, everybody. That's really funny. Thanks, Mod. God damn it, I just spit my water out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Pa Pablo was right. Your feedback's hard to hear. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. I feel personally attacked. Do you already have any focus lenses installed during this free to play through? I can't until Calervo is finally level 30. But I'm close. He's 29 now. <laughs> Bruh, someone actually got her limbo. Mod did. Mod complex. Mm. Uh, Zyme, as a limbo main, I am warning you. If you Sarah, as a limbo main, I'm warning you. <laughs> Warframes. Wait, if you think Zyme's Warframe is confusing. I can't warm frameies. Oh, it's confusing. Limbo is even weirder and harder to comprehend. Cool. Cool. I, I want you to know that I won't try to understand Limbo. I will just do the thing that I'm told. That's good. I mean, the thing that you're going to be told is you don't need to use Limbo. <laughs> do you like Jojo, Sarah? Man, I want to. I like I love the I love JoJo's aesthetic. Can I say that? Yeah, that's fair. That's how I feel about JoJo.
here to love how Limbo looks at least. That's correct. Got him. Holy shit, you got him. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. You love how I walked out of that room like and they all died? fucking reunion reunited in the stars. Holy shit. I walked in and I went ching, 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 ching from collecting all the things. <laughs> Support. Wasn't Limbo, used Limbo for is um just luck is poor in two and everything else is ignorable. It's like Gara. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you, Gara really is only ignore three. I don't know. I ignore pretty much everything except for the combo I use. That's okay. Good, 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 Except good. Except for the fact here. that the combo uses your one, your two, and your four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does use all three of those, huh? <laughs> well. Whatever. It has been two weeks. I've forgotten everything I ever learned about this game, just oh, so you you're know. Oh, totally fine. I'll have you know. I was not apologizing. I was just stating that. <laughs> Oh my god, freeze level one, I did it. Oh yes. My ultimate is fully leveled now. Stalker's here, you fucking idiot. <laughs> to apologize, one must be sorry. No, that's not true. I've seen people apologize when they don't mean it. <laughs> Come on true. now. You know what Warframe does to me sometimes that I hate? What's that? I'll have like six guys lined up ready to just absolutely die and yeah. then the door will shut. Oh yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh hey, uh, Stalker dropped Dread, so you should come get that. Uh, he also dropped Blind Justice, you should come get that too. And he dropped okay. his sigil for you. I think I had the sigil already. Uh, it does not drop if everyone has it and I got it last time he showed up for me. <laughs> Well, great. <laughs> Poor stalker, he got one tapped. <laughs> Blind Justice is a nice pickup for me, though. It's probably not going to be used, but it is nice. Is it really an apology if it isn't sincere? I don't know. It's too metaphorical for me today. Ask me tomorrow. That's valid. Brain no worky on weekends. Hey, Riven Slivers over here. Oh, sure. I'll grab that. I fell off the world because I was packing up. You're fine. I wasn't apologizing. I know. <laughs> you are fine, jump though. Jump to your fine. You are. I am not. <laughs> it's just so funny. I don't know why you do that. I do not feel bad. There is no I'm... punishment for me falling <laughs> off the world. Well, exactly. A lot of people don't know that. They're like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, there's, just, there's nothing. No, I'm not sorry. All right, fair enough. I figure if I'm doing something real, that's what's really fucky wucky, you'll say something. That's Otherwise, right. I'm just going. I'm just audio booking my experience for holy shit for chat since they can't. You know what I mean? That's since valid. they can't. Ah. There was a time back in the day where you could break windows in the old Corpus ship tile <laughs> and lock them in a room to suffocate. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> I'm glad that's gone. Because the worst thing about that is that we would use AoE weapons, and every time you would enter one of those fucking rooms, every window would break, and you'd be like, Jesus Christ. Dumb ways to die. There's a million ways to die. God, I hate when it tells me to go a direction, but it's like, where, where is that way? You know what I mean? 
Yeah, that's valid. The waypoints could use a little work. It was only that one that really got me that one time. <laughs> yeah, there like, will there will be more of that. Jump into the great abyss, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Job well executed. Galervo is max rank. Nice, 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 nice. Frost is rank 11. Hell yeah. 11. Yeah, Dread is, um. Well, you have the Natarug. The Dread is a, a cool bow. Mm, Sarah will be our newish player slash game industry vet perspective. Damn, game industry vet. Damn. Sounds so nice when you say it like that. Sorry. Um, on Whispers of the Walls, and that'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Always got time. It'll, it'll be super interesting to see how you uh, interact with that. I'm not. I'm not ready. Right. What do you mean? I'm not ready for Whispers. Don't I have to do something before? You played New War, and I think that's. I think you need to. I don't even think you need to do Angels actually. So I think okay. you're good. You did Heart of Damos. I know you did that. I, th I think you're good. Well, I just wasn't if I would do. Like, am I geared for it? I guess is really the question. Uh, you mean should you're, be. Well, you should probably get corrupted mods for Gara. There I it can, is. I can also See? just give you those. No. Are you sure? <laughs> well, now I'm a now <laughs> second guessing. I mean, it's not hard. Mm. It's just like there's a farm there. Angels would be nice. I did the angels, didn't I? Yeah, you did the angels quest, but like getting stuff yeah. from that would be amazing. Oh for you. yeah, I haven't leveled angels. Yeah, doing doing more stuff there would be so good for you. I'm gonna be doing I a good really... chunk of that on this playthrough. If you would like to join me for that. Yeah, I actually would really like to. I like in I like the angels area. <gasps> Why am I not running, Ordis? I I will note that if you want to do a lot of the insane gear from angels, you do need to be MR14 for that. Animals do not eat so much as reload. Never gonna play it. There's a bunch of other stuff. Like you can, it's, it's if you want like the top end weaponry. There's still a bunch of really good stuff there. I've, ma'am. So she's notorious for doing quests and then doing touching uh, no content. That sounds about right. Okay. Wrong. Worried. I'm not even known for that. I'm known for having a six year old account that didn't do shit, nothing for anything. And then all of a sudden I got a wild hair up my ass because I downloaded Alan Wake 2 and did all of it. All of it in like two weeks. Yeah. All the story content. About, That's yeah, what so, I'm famous yeah, for. Her account is about six years <laughs> old, but a month ago she did Second Dream. So we can't really say that she doesn't do the content she unlocked. Because her content hadn't been unlocked until less than a month ago. I've been proven wrong, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The content was not yet here. I guess Flo is probably the answer to this. Although, do I really need So that? she's the average Warframe player? It's me. No, I'm not the average, because you should see the collection of Warframes I have for not playing this game. Just from a mixture of like Twitch Prime and I bought a Prime Access, don't ask. And um, I bought the heirloom skins, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I buy fashion things. Yep. So. Yep. And people gift me random things. So that's that why I have true. a limbo now. These what are, are we, what are we doing? Oh, are oh, you I was just putting mods in? Thing real quick, yeah. Well, no, please take your time. I have wisp. I do have a wisp. Wait, here, I'll tell you. Uh, for those of you who have not been around for the Sarah Shows Her Warframe collection, um, I'll just tell you real quick. Are you fine with that, dear? Oh, yeah, please do. <laughs> uh, Excalibur Umbra, Frost Prime, Gara, Gara Prime, Garuda, Hydroid Prime, Limbo, Loki, Mag, Necros Prime, Nidus, Octavia, Protea, Saren Prime, Steinax, Titania Prime, Valkyr Prime, Volt, Wisp, Wukong Prime, Ureli. Jesus, is that all? Damn, what a flex. Is that a flex? You guys aren't going... That's a mysterious collection. You need to... Everyone, please examine what the primes are. It's a mysterious doing. Odd choices, but okay. Mm -hmm. 
There's a group of frames. Well, a lot of it's from like Tenocon and, um, which I didn't, uh, I'm so mad. I didn't buy Tenocon. Well, there was, well, were there in-game rewards for Tenocon this year? Uh, you could have bought the Tenocon like pack that came with the armor and everything. Yeah, I didn't get that this year, which makes me a little upset because uh, I have it for the last two years. That is unfortunate. Yeah, this year's been really good as well. Oh, shut up. It's too late for me. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Sounds like that prime looks great combined with a lot of freebies. That, you know what? You've nailed it, quite That's honestly. Valid. You did it. Someone understands. Oh, I got my first bow to rank 30, and I got a little achievement for it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I got my Steam achievement before I got the notice in game that I got to level 30, which is oh, yeah. hilarious. But... Yeah, that's that's usually how that one goes. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Did she not go to Tenocon with you? It, no. Un unfortunately, I'm a parent. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love being a parent. Um, unfortunately, uh, that they is what caused you not to, to go. <laughs> yeah, they moved it to August this year. And it was my kid's first year of high school, so like, it was his first so, week of high school. Sorry. Yeah. yeah not even first so, year. It was literally the starting week. So you know. Yeah. So I just I couldn't justify it. It felt it was too it was too not cool. Yeah. Something something I care. Ow. How dare you care about your son? I know. Get to a I'll do dare. better. <laughs> it's not very gamer of me. <laughs> <laughs> Insert crying baby in the background of the Call of Duty match. Here is a terminal. <clears throat> get me in and get ready to defend. Hey, this is go out into the into the great unknown. Hmm. Are you going out into the great unknown right now? No, but it's telling me that's where I should go. Ah, yes. Your waypoints are having a day. I think it's just that I need to go up. I believe it. I was right. I, when a waypoint freaks out, I just assume I got to go up or down. You know what I mean? You know, that's generally a pretty good assumption, actually. I've been wrong yet. Up or down or Still weird alive. door is Continue usually the culprit. How me actually getting hurt? What the hell? Where's my Gara? <laughs> Ow. Zork and Clear, you accept that sometimes the waypoints just don't work. Yeah. Zorus is so good. Hey, when they take you around and stuff instead of just going straight. Yeah. This is, this is actually the first free to play through since it's been available that I have not gone and grabbed the Zorus. It's really good. It is extremely good. Would you, would you just feel like you don't need it? Well, so I went with the, the Azathane instead, and Kalervo turns the Azathane into, like, a giant AoE. So it's a, it's a similar effect to having Azorus. Oh, that's fair. Plus, I get, like, all the MR I need for the entire playthrough, which in the future won't be a consideration, actually. Because they are, they are disjointing the MR requirements from uh, the doing story stuff. Which likely means uh, that we will be able to proceed quite quickly through the story. I wonder if they're going to remove the personal quarters building thing. Because that does have to build. I wonder if they'll lower that. Because that's a 12-hour build that I'm waiting on right now. Mm. Granted, I have like multiple quests to do before then, but if you don't make sure before you do those that you build the thing you need then they, they won't be ready. they did mention that like some they they, re, they reclassified some things as like main quests and side quests so maybe wait what do you mean 
in the dev stream, Meg, I think it was Megan mentioned that like they re they relooked at like what things are considered like main quest and what things are considered story quest or like a um, side quest. The odds were against mm. us, Dotto, Maybe. I, I swear, I, I swear she like it was like a real quick mention. Hmm. She did, it wasn't like a major point. Yeah, I might, I might, I have, I might have missed that then. She did. Yeah, she did. That was said. Okay. What was that yeah. Twitter? No, no, no. She said no. it on, it on, on the dev stream. Okay. Yeah. It was like very briefly mentioned. It was like a, like a side note. Oh, okay. I must have missed that. Um, which I, yeah. I think they're just labeling what side versus main. Oh, that would be good. Oh, cool. Yeah. It was a hot half a second on the dev stream. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> it was like not even a point on a slide. It was like. Okay. They're uh, labeling MSQ versus side quest. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah, it was a part of the pay to skip like solution thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Already a filter for main and side quests though. All right, I should. I need to grab another weapon because oh, yeah. I got to grind MR. Okay. In in the defense of there being this, until you just mentioned it, I forgot this was here. What's that? The ability to oh, filter no. by what quests were like the story quests or not. I totally <laughs> forgot this was here until you um, mentioned it. Should I level my Cernos Prime? Cernos Prime? Cernos? You'll, have, you'll have to unequip your Nataruk to do that. I know, well, it's max, so if I'm grinding freaking... So usually the method that you want to go with and for leveling things is you want to have one good weapon, and then you want your other slots to be weapons you're not really using that are just going to passively level. That's fine. I'll carry my Zorus with me. Okay. Then, yeah, then you can swap up to the Cernos for sure. What mod should I put in it? Um, serration. What? What mod? Serration. Got it. What should I do with my other seven points? Um, is there a polarity? Um. Ordnus keeps a tidy sheep, and is uh, I forget what polarity is. The little symbols on the mod slots. Oh yeah, I have one of the the Madurai. Is I put serration. I had two of them, line? but I put. It's the little Y. Oh, the, oh, it's the V. Um, go ahead and put point strike in there then. Also, the the polarities are named by appearance, for the only ones that ever matter, which is V dash and D. V dash. Okay, I get the V and I get the dash. What's the other one? A D. It's the one that looks like a V, except for it's got the top filled in, so it's a D, because it can't be the V. It really looks like a V on the side. Like, like a V turn on the side and then a line down. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like the V is turned to its side, because it has like the straight line where the on top where the straight line is on the side. Sure, okay. Let's see, it fell sure. over. Yeah, fair enough. But we call that the D polarity, though. Okay, well, okay. Mostly because it's for dick all. Okay. I mean, I just go with a name that's listed on on it. Oh yeah, I... that's that's fair. It's 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 because that usually in conversation it's very inefficient to be like Bazarin, Adarai. Mmm. <laughs> dick all, and for some reason, cold damage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being stalked by Finny. Are you? That time. He's right with me. He thinks it's time he over was here as just well. Stalking me. Yeah, I think oh, I think he's just ran. bouncing. Wow. Are you just bouncing between us because mm. you think it's time? It isn't. One of them. One of them will pay attention to me. Tano, I need you to get inside enemy data vaults and retrieve. Oh, I'm gonna fuck one of these up. Which one are you taking? Uh, I'll go for <laughs> B. Okay. I love this vault. If you the oh god, I forgot. I forgot I'm using a shitty weapon that's shitty. 
Fuck. That's pretty funny. Stay focused. There's I, I did forget, though. For realsies. We I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Unfortunate. But it didn't count, though? Question mark. All right, everything about that situation was confusing. My teleport didn't work properly, and then I was not penalized in the right way. But, well, you know, those two negatives equal a positive. Watch yourself. Grenier are on the way. I fucked it up. Well, you, you got one of them, so it's fine. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't make it back there in time, unfortunately. Who needs it? That's true. The honest answer is both of us. Oh, fucking... <laughs> You're fine, though. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> womp womp. That's fine. Did I almost make it? Probably. No. How do I get in here? I died. Told you I was going to fuck one of these up. Oh, no, you're fine. I know. What is FTP playthrough? It's free to playthrough. Mm. It's totally free. I'll let you do see, so I don't mess up another one. Oh, I'm already in here. Cool, cool. Like I said, I will let you do see. You know what I mean? Okay. Giving you permission. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, mom's disappointed. Get to oh, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I know it is. Just letting you know. Sorry, red like exclamation thing. point crit? Yeah. What do you mean? I've got regular point strike installed. I fell. Was that 43 million, sir? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Anything's possible, if you believe. Vinny, it is not time yet. You can just mosey on back over to your father. <laughs> you can tell this is baby Calervo because there's only one exclamation point. <laughs> Anything beyond red crits labeled with additional exclamation points? Yeah, it's that you get additional exclamation points up to a maximum of three. Crits go beyond that, but you can only have up to three exclamation points. Uh, and beyond that, it's like, man, shut up. Mission complete. Excellent work, oh, we got power. Through. I earned a million credits. Hell yeah. Look at us. <laughs> I have 183% accuracy. How do you already have Calervo? I went and farmed him. Help Calervo get some cool Tenogens. Same. Thankfully, his secondary, like, or his, his, um, his alternate helmet that he already has is really good. When did they add the exclamation points? Um, patch before last, I believe. I'll get this next one right. It's not even a... Yeah, that was Calerbo patch. Yeah, yeah. Is Protea after Gauss? Uh, yes, should be, I believe. Is that right? I think that's right. Am I forgetting a Warframe? I don't think I am. Yeah, it'll be Protea and Zaku in some order in all likelihood. Is a mobile defense mission. You must mobile defense. Oh, also, on you this mission, if you would like to. Um, never mind. Do this you. No, no, tell me. All right. Um, this is. Okay, the thing that I was going to tell you is really esoteric, and you haven't watched the guide I made for it. Here is a terminal. Get me in and it's get ready it's defend. void right. crate farming. 
Yeah, go on. Tell me more. So there's there's certain secret rooms that spawn a special version of the crates that look identical but drop mods, and one of them can be Vital Sense, which you need. Yeah, I've not watched your guide on this. That's okay. That guide is actually from before we were dating. Holy shit. Yeah, that's We've an been dating guide. forever. <laughs> Holy shit. For, for context, everybody, if you've been in Jerusalem stream for a long time, Simon and I started dating four years ago mm -hmm. in like two weeks. That's correct. Holy shit, we've been together forever. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing every time. Do you know that? Mm, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, it's just that time flies when you're having fun. God, and we were friends for for two years before that. God, I've known you forever. One you say that like it's a bad thing every time. Do you know that? <laughs> I don't know. I just say it like it's a thing. Hmm. Location reached. Someone's got to make your ego deflate a little bit. Oh, yeah, of course. My job. Uh, why? I don't know. Same reason you stonewall me for fun? What do you mean? No. Mm -mm. Nope. Take your gaslighting somewhere else. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you accuse me of that? Oh, man. Still working on it. Sarah, gaslighting isn't even real. Holy shit. Chat, I'm hour. trying to beat Ballas in gaslighting. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Luckily, that's not possible. Oh man, for the first time, I need you all to know I had a moment of like, holy shit, I like kind of play Warframe, and I do mean kind of. Um, a Rev what held up a, like a Ballas body pillow and said, "I can fix him," and I just, girl, no. Girl, no, stop it. I'm mm. dead. Oh, it is worth noting that enemies do four times damage on this node. Yeah, oh, I'm just, I was. Yeah. <laughs> Rev, can, Rev can fix us all. I'm sorry. I don't even think she's powerful enough. Not for Ballas. Ballas also doesn't deserve it. Both true. No, Rep didn't say Warframes can get pregnant. It, it was implied in the dev stream gonna, that they can get pregnant. I'm going to put that one on Steve. It was implied that they could. It was implied that they that they do be fucking is the implication. Which is hilarious. Yeah. Still working on it. Continue to defend. <laughs> Don't say it's cannon. <laughs> Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. She's the CEO. CEO said it's possible. Yeah, I mean. I actually just said it hasn't happened yet, which is. <laughs> Which is what somehow a way to word yeah, that. so cursed. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, for those of you who missed the dev stream, the exact quote was: some, someone asked in chat, "Can Warframes get pregnant?" And the response from the team on the couch was, "Well, they haven't yet, or it hasn't happened yet." I think was the exact wording. Yep. Which means the implication. <laughs> oh, hey, they also man. said no jiggle physics, and then Grendel happened. 
So hold on, I'll be right there. I need this actually. I think it was actually Reb who answered it hasn't happened yet. Yes, yes. Can somebody correct. Okay, so we can't blame Steve. He took that the, was a he, rev response. He, he took the question. That doesn't matter. He yoinked it right out of chat. It's not his fault. <clears throat> he was just, he was, look, he wasn't allowed. You know what I mean? He wasn't allowed to say anything. Remember? No spoilers. Yeah. So he had to do something to fill his time. I get it. But I am here. I've watched. Okay. I haven't played Warframe a lot, but I've watched a lot of dev streams and seeing very subtly Steve become a gremlin now that he is kind of like the weight is lifted yeah, he can't I'm be held for responsible this. for anything and now he's like, <laughs> like the, and, and i think it's changed a little bit because he like oh, i got the eye tutorial because how many times also did this man say i can't believe i said that last week which was so funny it was so good oh yeah well wait do you remember the context for that right yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. It was a Halloween episode. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. <clears throat> Steve has always been goofy. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, feel it, it may have just been it may just have been end of year like thing, but yeah. it felt a little like he was like I can have a little more fun. Yeah. It felt that's how oh, it felt yeah. to me. Absolutely. Eventually, De will catch up to uh, Wizards of the Coast, and I'll have the Mpreg elephant. No. <laughs> No, that's all right. <laughs> also, I'm oh, so sorry for anyone that doesn't know exactly what I'm talking about because you're going, I'm sorry. What do you mean by that? No, don't, don't look it up. Don't wonder. Don't think. Head empty. It's the weekend, everybody. <laughs> oh, Just poor exist. Quintorius, don't... his first meme. Oh, man. I must know. No, you don't. You mustn't. This is only a relevant joke if you are into competitive Magic the Gathering. <laughs> or you have a partner who can explain this to you. <laughs> you ended up on a little bit of Magic Twitter. Yeah, so that's why, that's why you're in there. I also found out that Brandon Sanderson has cards in MTG. I'm sorry, huh? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Um, I'll tell you. He's done things in MTG. And like I'm art? No, no. Well, he's like, he's always oh, written for them before. Is that what you mean? Um, I'm not sure the full context. I have to look, but like he did, um, he wrote a book for, he wrote, was it a book for MTG? Which book? Uh, starts, was some, it one of the fat pack books a million years ago? Children of the Nameless. I don't know which, which when when it's got a there's a black card related to it uh it starts with a d draven or something uh, mm. that's a league of legends thing no <laughs> okay uh i saw the card i oh, forget which one it is the dresden files yep 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 yep, yep, yep. Files? i don't remember no I don't it's know not this. it's not that's not actually what it is. that's something different oh that's something different okay i was gonna say i don't know what this is <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> it's very rare that I get a reference. You know, that's pretty funny. War of the Spark novel with Davriel. Wait, it's not Davriel. the shitty War of the Spark novel where they like ungay Chandra, is it? That doesn't seem like a Brando. Yeah, thing I, yeah that seems like a very not Brando and Sandra Unless thing he was to informed to do it. The bad one is Forsaken. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the good one then. There's the torsion beam device. But they've taken the void key. Find it. I'm in the snow zone. Target spotted. Stay sharp. This one is a handful. Work, 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 work. The Lotus says work, 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 work. It's dead. Holy shit. So fast. So speedy. Holy shit. Just looked at him and he died. Perhaps. Imagine spending your whole life becoming evil only to just fucking get one shot like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Mods, ungay this planeswalker. Go through the portal now. It's about to collapse. 
I didn't even see you put the thing in the po I didn't even s holy fuck <laughs> how do you think these like the actual new players I've been I've been running with are feeling god this is why I do god I can't believe this is on an account that is so new so fresh yeah so clean it really is just this teaches me that it really is with everyone who can't do that it's just a fucking skill issue <laughs> holy <laughs> shit this eye moves myself. faster than the eye can see i want to be clear including myself <laughs> do you want to go get the supply caches in the area uh on exterminate it's really not worth it all right I overshot it? The fuck? Oh, I really did overshoot it. Holy shit, I went right into the other hallway. This was sabotage? Oh, right. I just killed everyone so fast. Don't worry, Sarah. You'll get That's there fine. one No, shut up. <laughs> and I don't mean that disrespectfully. I just mean, no, I won't. Come on. And that's all right. <laughs> Call the police. They can't reverge in your olive oil. Oh, man. You gotta believe. I don't wanna. <clears throat> what? Gotta believe. Oh, that is a new stance for Sarah Zorus. That's true. I think she has the good one, though. I love my new Gara because new Gara, because Gara Bara is the best. Gara is the best Warframe. He is very good. Oh man. Radio towers carry top secret interplanetary which which towers would you, you like? You may you may pick any two. Oh, I don't know. B. All right. And C. All right. Shit, I walked to C. She's also the breast warframe. That is correct. I don't know if y'all may have missed this, but in my playthrough, I just it reminded me that if these if warframes were people good for her right is like ah. just the general that's correct the vibe of gara don't worry about it it's fine why are you at a oh i went the wrong way Something, I don't know. I was gonna make a joke about dyslexia, but I didn't, so it's fine. Hold on one second. Chad is horny. What else is now? <laughs> this guy is also blue. That no, is you're research. Fine. You're totally fine. The enemy has captured a tower. You have captured a radio. Do you tower. need help? Oh no, I'm chill. God, Gar is so good. 
that's correct. It made, it really, she really is a Warframe that made me not want to play any other Warframes. You know mm, what I mean? Yep. Yeah, she is She's so highly versatile. She's so good. She made versatile. me monogamous. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. Sometimes you just know when you found the one. I'm on B. Sorry. <laughs> Gara domesticated Sarah. Yeah. Any other questions? Win your night wave the 29th. I wish Vor would show up in one of these missions. I need every single one of his mods. We are in total control. Keep the God, it's brutal out here. What do you mean? Nothing, it's fine. Okay, this mission is one that is notoriously harder for new players to clear. Mostly because it's interception and most people have to do it solo. But. The enemy have deployed fierce reinforcements. Are you willing to stay and decode more messages? Are we staying or are we leaving? Oh, we should just peace. I have detected a oh, yeah, because you're just unlocking code. things. Yeah. Capture and decode the signal. The data you have collected. Looking forward to the fire and ice. Night wave that armor looks sick. It really does. It does. I'm so excited. Yeah, I want to put that ice cool. on my Gara. Mm -hmm. As long as I can paint it. But, God, I really. I so need the. um. Finally, sorry. Sarah has a higher MR than Zyme. No. No, I fucking don't, my dude. <laughs> We're the same. Oh, never mind. <laughs> God. <laughs> Rip both <of> them. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you like the new Warframe? Oh, I was going to tell you that. The mm. new Warframe has grown on me the more I've seen him. Fair. Because he's he a great. big tonkin' dude. It's just yeah. the breathing that got... It caught me so far, and then Steve didn't help. Oh, yeah. Well. Steve really... You know when someone says something and you can't stop focusing on it? Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to me when Steve said that. And I was like, what is he talking... Oh, oh, yeah. no. No, that's... You're fair for it. Who made Sarah's Gara avatar? Nimki Arts. Was very talented. E, very skilled. Uh, N I M K E That's underscore correct. Arts, I think, is the Twitter handle. I believe that is right. What did Steve say? Steve just got distracted by him breathing through his whole body. Yeah. <laughs> Nimki underscore Yes, I think that's correct. Also, I'm doing treasure rooms. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. I found something interesting. He's a concrete accordion. Yeah. yeah well. Also, Chad, interesting factoid for you. Um... These the mod drops are the only ones in the game that are still randomized per player. So the new frame is Shy from Model Grey, Metal Gear Solid S5. Is that MGS5? Wait, what's up? What's, okay. what's happening? Five? I was reading a different thing. New frame is Shy. I've delivered a life oh, to the area. no. Activating it will buy you <laughs> yes, yes, and no. 
Well, yes, but actually, no. Uh, what is it? You mean quiet, not shy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I know those things are very confusable, especially for Warframe players. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Oh, uh, yes, you've consumed Warframe content. <laughs> yeah. Ow, holy shit, these boys. They just shoot hard. Oh, yeah, yep, that, that four times damage will get you. Mother, get me out of here. Holy shit. Life support incoming. Already checked that direction. Here's one. Special mod in this room. Argon crystal in this room. I think I will need. Oh, should I be coming to these waypoints that you're putting down, I'm assuming? Uh, yes, that was the idea. Oh, yes, it is. Looks like waypoints have a universal meaning that I should pay attention to, huh? Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> Just some like minor treasure rooms. Shai's in dev now, yeah. Shai's a Shai, Shai does dev now. At least for the last I heard. Yeah, that is still correct. I'm assuming that's still the same. Yeah, I believe that is still occurring. There he is. The Come to scavenge and desecrate this sacred realm. Oh, um, never mind. You okay. Can, you can go to this well, one when first. you say, oh, um. My brothers, did I not tell of this day? Did I not yeah, these rooms prophesy? have the special, um canisters in each of these little cubbies there's one so blowing those up can get you mods got it um is there something i should have gotten from here oh uh, there's one there's it. one mod oh, that was in. okay yeah that's yeah also you should pick up this uh from this dead guy we cannot blame these creatures they are being led by a force perfect an imposter who knows not the secrets of Why I'm living Frost and not Mag is actually a mystery to me. I'm a moron. I mean, it's reasonable enough. Nope. I love Mag. I love playing Mag when I did. Oh, that's um, true. Maybe one more mod up here. Eventually got to do both. True. Remember when there was a rumor Shy was Rev? Oh, yeah. I mean, that was never serious. It was always a joke. I don't think... I think it was serious for some. The operative has just made the I really I, do. Yeah, I mean, depending on how much tin foils in your diet, yeah. When you are ready, go to extraction. <laughs> I'm just saying that I think. That's fair. Mmm, <laughs> tinfoil, delicious. <laughs> and we are ready to leave now. I'm Even not, I didn't pick up everything. Oh, did you not? You grabbed both of the yeah. things, I believe. Okay. There was only the two. There wasn't any big treasure rooms on this one. Oh, okay. Well, if you'd like to do treasure farming, I'm into it. That farm is very fun for me. farm is literally just me going did you know this was here is ready. you still do Thursday commander around. nights those are usually on Sunday now but obviously that will not be happening today because we're doing free to play through stuff what time is it it is 6 12 okay yeah bud yeah you can if you want to Another job well you can probably turn the light on too Help your eyes. Unfortunately. But Zan, if I don't need tinfoil, how will I keep my 5G from giving me the. <laughs> <laughs>
What do you think about Arcane Dissolution? Arcane Dissolution? It's, it is called Dissolution. Uh, also, I think it is very interesting products. and good for the game. Look in the other bag. All right, now oh, no, I that one, throw this one away. Yeah. There's a little icon for you have a focus upgrade. Hello, Hi, Freezer. What's up, Freezer? Hello. I love the this. Just... This is good. This is Freezer, good. at what point do you just make that your, like, into Discord sound? I can't in this channel because that's disabled. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Paradise, Paradise ruined it for everyone. Yep, that is that is correct. I, you said I should just take, um, I, mm, never mind. Hello, you go on, what's up? Oh, nothing, don't worry about it. What do you, take what? Don't worry about it. Okay. Did Paradise do, uh, with no warning, base boosted Final Fantasy VII f fanfare. Yep, that's correct. Hera. That was added with the focus rework? Dope. Yeah, that's really good, actually. But who did Freezer's avatar? Didn't you do this on? Didn't you get this from like Fiverr? Oh uh, yes, yeah, I, I got that from. Well, not it wasn't Fiverr, it was Etsy, yes, but yeah. But it also creates rubble. Yeah, they're called pops. I have to inhale all those Freddies before I have to go into work. Oh, fair enough. Here, you can run some without me. I gotta help Gav. Oh. I'll also make you some dinner. I would love. Thank you. I much appreciated. Thank you. Fair enough. All right, um, I'll go ask Sarah how much time I have. See if we can't do a Chains of Harrow, perhaps. Sarah, back. Chains of Chero. May I have a cold one? No. Mine. Freezer, who's your favorite frame? Uh, right now? In terms of gameplay, probably Ember. In terms of design, Mirage Deluxe. Can I get a lukewarm one? That's mostly what I got. What about the new concrete frame? I don't know. That looks like cement. That looks like concrete, baby. That's the conk of the creep. I don't know, he looks like a big guy. I didn't look at his abilities at all, but I've seen like his, his art. I return. What's what up do here? I do for a living? I drive a forklift. What? Freezer is forklift certified, I'll have you know. We have Shy's old Vivergate video back on this fan archive channel for all her old videos. Oh, that's dope. Thank you, mortal. Did they show the? Did they show Cement Boy's abilities at all? Is he just the conk of the Crete? Or uh, he he is concrete baby. Um, yes, yeah. he yeah. They did show all of his abilities. He is concrete. Yeah, he can he like puts down pillars and they cause radiation. He slams big concrete walls together. Um, his three is like a buff that makes concrete float around, and then his four, he has a big chest laser that makes things explode if they're more radioactive. Chest laser? Yeah. He, he, he basically is like a chest beam that like he swipes across enemies and then they explode a bunch of times based on how much radiation they are. Okay, I was about to say, like, how do they differentiate this from Wisps 4? <laughs> yeah, it, it's like a short laser that primes the enemies is the thing. Hmm. It looked pretty so decent, like, actually. 
So he's a concrete dot 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 microwave. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he, he's he's pretty much Chernobyl Chernobyl frame. Many concrete, many radiation. Ah, uh, so he was created with government neglect, I see. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> so you should consider calling the new frames I mean, people together, giving them the clap. Mm, I don't know about that one. He's Cherno Alpha from Pacific Rim. Any other show videos we wanted to have? I will search if they have been uploaded yet. Uh, that was really the main one. I'm glad somebody had a copy of that video, because that was a good sum up of those events. Oh yeah, then of course we're gonna get the corn dogs, which is what those are definitely called. They're the, they're the necromech dog type enemies. So because the necromechs are corn cobs, that makes these the corn dogs. I'm pretty sure it's in like the same group of like this is probably the same take to have, but like I'm happy shy found the thing. Oh yeah. But I'm also sad we lost a lot of funny videos. That's true. Yeah, for for me, it's like those videos like going away is fine, but uh, the Vivergate one in particular, I think is was like a good sum up of that like point in Warframe's history, which was why I was very sad it was gone. There's just a lot of footage from old Warframe. This is kind of gone now. Yeah, that's definitely true. Like back when the Dex Separus was something to like gush about. Yeah. <sighs> way back in the day. The Telos Brawl Tour video, also a classic. Yeah. Bro, who, put down that mac and cheese. Remember the Merlock. Bro, put down that mac and cheese, bro. We just got another Brawl Tour, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think Zyme's the only archive of old Warframe we have left. Is that? That can't be true. Is there still some old Mogamu videos floating around? Because oh. that's another go to for like ancient Warframe I go yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twin Vipers Mogamu. No, they got taken down. I'm sad. Wait, really? Yeah, the intro to his Twin Vipers video is him just buying ammo packs. Ah, I see. <laughs> but now they're gone. Yeah, Tater should still have all his old stuff, naturally. What about Headshot? Is he still around? Uh, Headshot now works with Sarah. Ah, I don't know if his neat. videos are still around. Headshot Warframe. Let's see. His, his was like Let's Max. That's what that's what his titles were. I Let's Max. So. There it is. Okay, yeah. He's still he rarely posts sometimes. I haven't thought about Mogamu in years. Oh my lord. Yeah, last I heard about anything Mogamu related, he was doing Apex Legends. I think. Yeah, I still have, uh, it's your sigil and headshot sigils are the only, like, content creator ones that I have, like, the glyphs. Nice. Frozen has some old shit on his YouTube, but he's not focusing on YouTube for now. Fair. Flynn all yeah, disappeared. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know what happened with Flynn. Flynn was doing it for, like, a while there, and then just fucking... Uh, yeah, Headshot's got some old videos up. He's got some stuff from, like, eight years ago. Hell yeah. And got into esports, I guess. All right. Banjo Kazooie character. It's not the first time I've got that. <laughs> it's so good. Flynn kept rage quitting, then coming back. What would you rage quit about? I mean, wait. Did wait? Did Flynn just quit with Railjack? Because that would be the thing to quit over. Actually, is Railjack coinciding with like a bunch of the like? Content creators just fucking absolutely piecing out. I think it's not just content creators, to be fair. Well, it's kind of when I started piecing out. <laughs> yeah. Nothlin was around for New War. Okay. Understandable, to be honest, that's kind of where I fell off. You know, I mean, like, let's let's be clear. Railjack was the optimal time to stop playing Warframe. 
Like, if you had an optimal time to be like, mm, I should play something else for two to three years. Like, that was, you know, that was the time. The Railjack to Path of Exile type of pipeline is powerful. Mm. <laughs> Think any content creators came back for cross save? Or come back for cross save? No. Well, I mean, maybe. <laughs> Zorsner sent me packing for a couple of years. Oh, yeah, that one was pretty outrageous. I was very mad about that. <clears throat> I just, yeah, I just jumped between D2 and Warframe. Well, welcome back for the foreseeable future. D2 having a, a tough time right now. Man, thanks, th thanks, Destiny, for making the heirloom packs look really generous, by the way. Like we can just we really can just like really that. like fucking point and laugh at Destiny at any point in time. I really like that tweet where they're like, "Look at all these sad moments we had," and it's like, "Bro, we can't play any of these." <laughs> yeah, none of these are in the game. <laughs> Is there a new thing with Destiny that I missed? Oh yeah, um, they released single skins that are sixty dollars a piece, and it's like just. It's just an armor set, and it's like a Witcher-themed armor set. It's like not even also a shader or anything, I think. Bro, when they're on sale, you can buy the Witcher trilogy for less than 60. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's 60 for each character. Are they 20 apiece? Oh, okay. Witcher 2 regularly goes on sale for like $3. Yeah. And that's about probably what it's about worth. Most a few smaller Destiny 2 creators recently started Warframe. We're back in it, boys and girls. Anytime Destiny royally fucks up, or, um, no, pretty much just royally fucks up, it's time for those players to all get into Warframe. Because they couldn't be convinced before, but now that Destiny is shitting in its bed once again, it's time. So, you know what you're feeling right now? Hmm. Like, like this vibe, this conversation you're having? Mm. Bro, when Diablo 4 came out, yep. <laughs> the POE community was lit. Yeah, oh yeah. This D4 before. bad oh. base. I need to be so clear. This has been happening for Warframe since Destiny 1. Like, th the conversation around Warframe and Destiny, Destiny has been so good. Or Warframe. People are always like, Destiny's gonna kill Warframe. No. Destiny's gonna release, all the normies are gonna play it, and then we're gonna tell a bunch of those people that are playing Destiny, hey, do you wanna do the cool third person thing, but all the time? And that's been happening for like six or fucking seven years. Like, you just dump fucking people out of Destiny directly into Warframe. <clears throat> Would you like to play yeah. the game you're actually looking for, sir? <laughs> like... Destiny 2 releases an update and pumps Warframe, and then Diablo 4 just pumped PoE, like, super hard. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> wild how mid that game turned out to be. So Holy shit. Immediately in chat. Yep, that's how I got here. <laughs> I was a Destiny refugee. Yeah, it's super, like, like, like it's a, a straight line. Because, like, it, and it, 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 there's, like, straight lines to different places, depending on what thing you are doing in Destiny, that they fucked up. If they fucked up anything in, like, the regular game, you go to Warframe. If they fucked up something PvP-related, then you usu usually, I think those people end up in Rainbow Six Siege, weirdly. At least that was the case for a while there, whenever Siege was good. Man, if only they had Titanfall 2 as a proper shelter, but that just... Yeah. 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 Funnily enough, my friend group went from Mass Effect 3 multiplayer to Warframe. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware of the conversion ratio on that one. There were, there were many early years of Warframe's life where I was like, this game isn't Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Stop trying to balance it into being that. It's not the same game. Titanfall 3 is my Copium. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you not heard about the Apex up to? <laughs> you were inside Copium. You were living in a bunker of Copium. 
they turned the Titanfall 3 into an Apex Legends DLC. I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me be, bro. Why? An entire cast giant planet filled entirely with copium. I live in the copium jar. Oh, man. The question, why is there hate for Railjack? Is it just personal preference? Is it for a legitimate reason? Oh, Railjack was terrible on launch for like the entire first year that it existed. Like it came out. So here, here's like the breakdown of Railjack. Right before it, liches happened. Liches, not great. Um, hyper, hyper grindy before it also received a bunch of changes. But it was that mega grindy update that was not super well received. It was fine. Uh, into Railjack, which was released right before the entire studio went on break. So everybody got to play it in their free time where it was just broken, didn't work, and sucked uh, on release. And then it took ages before Railjack was worthwhile at all. Like the grind was mega long. The quest like was not like a lot. Like there was it was just there was just nothing worthwhile. There were bad rewards. Like it was just just terrible on launch. It was awful. Uh it is now actually very good. Um, uh, but it was it was so bad. It was so bad on launch. <clears throat> I still hate Railjack, and it's mostly just leftover hate from the release. Yep, that that's how a lot of people feel. Yeah, mega amounts of resources, just hours of waiting. Yeah, it's yeah, it was very bad. Also, uh, whenever it launched Intrinsics, the slowest leveling you've ever experienced in your whole fucking life. You had to do a quit farm just to get some Intrinsics to level that shit. Uh, it was horrible. Horrifically bad. There was some bad blood when they moved Liches and Sisters to Railjack 2. Yeah. I remember release Railjack coming out, getting the Railjack and just stopping after that, because, like, no. Yep. Not gonna lie, the whiplash of coming back to, hey, folks, a Railjack actually good now after leaving shortly after its release is unreal. Yeah, no, 100%. 100% understand. Like, I mean, I am, I'm very upfront with, like, if you quit Warframe during Railjack, you picked the optimal time to quit playing Warframe for a while. Like, just objectively... Uh, Warframe was, like, not in a great place from Railjack release up until New War release. Which New War release happens to coincide with the New War, which is an excellent quest they released, and then also the new team being in charge. Which has gone nothing but great, pretty much. A few hiccups here and there at worst. You think they're becoming self-aware about the mobile defense thing? Maybe. Deimos was decent, though. Yeah, I I agree that Deimos was decent for sure. What happened since New War? Oh, we got Angels of the Zarmon, which was just like an insanely good update, which brought a bunch of actually good new game modes. Uh, there was just, I mean, it's it's just been like. A bunch of good new Warframes. You got, like, the Calervo stuff, Duviri launching. Uh, uh, yeah, the Gun Arcanes rebalancing, like, the whole game to make it so guns are actually worth using now. Like, there's there's so much stuff. Yeah, no, actually, arguably, Hopla, you make a good point. The Conclave event that we're getting next month is probably going to be the worst thing the new dev team has ever done. Hell yeah, I love Conclave. I love PvP and Warframe. I hate that shit. Can't stand it. Warframe PvP PvP. You guys want a boomer take? Both me and Bros have different eras of Conclave boomer takes. Wait, what do you mean? He he remembers the fond times of like pulling people with mag and shooting them in the head. With the oh, legs. I want to I want to be clear. Those are fun times only because I abused this the shit out of how fucked up and yeah, no, bad I did the Conclave same thing. was. Okay, okay. I did a different flavor of it. <clears throat> uh, back in Conclave, you guys don't know it was broken. You'll never guess. It was a uh, Froma's one if you were ice form. Oh because yeah, it was just a <laughs> yeah. That slowed people. <laughs> yeah, the the you can't move beam. I remember. Yeah, you would use it to augment, mm -hmm. and then you would tick them for two ticks with the cold one, and then you would tap your one again to shoot a cold projectile that killed them. Yep. Yeah, the ye, ye old five hundred damage ice ball. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one time Chroma's one has ever been useful. Yeah, it was just for being toxic as shit. <laughs> yeah. 
Don't remember the old Solar Rail PvEVP? Oh yeah, whenever they were like, we should do League of Legends, that'll be fun. The Mesa incident. From a still a mostly no button frame that looks cool. That's correct. Uh, quick, go to your arsenal and show default chroma. Yeah, I, I can, I can link it in chat. Yeah, just, just, just default ass bacon looking ass chroma. Oh yeah, no, I can't look at that. I can only look at his little parameter thing. Yeah, look at that guy. Yeah, Ugh. he. This is him without his like pelt on. To be fair, but still. Need I remind you what Chroma looks like without $60 worth of accessories and yeah. Spy Forma worth of Forma. That's correct. Good grief, he's naked! You look at it in the arsenal, though. Oh, yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah, I forgot I can actually preview that from there. I'm not used yeah, to not preview. having every single Warframe. Yeah, you can preview what he looks he like. Is. His, na his naked mole rat looking Bacon ass. Bacon lizard. Look at that. To be fair, for when he came out, he looked pretty cool. What is that, eight years ago? I mean, there's some default frames that look pretty good. Like, default Nova looks pretty good to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Default Equinox, not bad. Yeah, default Equinox is... Well, her... I, I, I don't like her mixed form, but each form individually is nice. You know, I'll say, favorite default frame, Avara. Oh yeah, no, you're just that's the objective truth. Well, it's because Ivara is the only Warframe that's a downgrade going to her prime. Like she's just an adorable tree frog. Yeah, she is a good tree frog. It's, this aesthetic is immaculate. She's the only Warframe where she becomes her prime and it's like this is worse. Like if you, if somebody never fashioned Ivara, I could be like that's justified. She looks good. Yeah, you just keep her default for full on. I prefer prime. No, oh, that, uh, mm, that mm, I don't know about that. Her her prime is not bad looking. It's just that her default is good tree frog, and they turned her into a jellyfish princess. And it's like, why? Why? Navara has good tino gen. Yeah, I use her mm -hmm. like Kuva, uh, her Kuva skin. Same. That's the one that I go for as well. Yeah, if, if Ureli Prime's not a frog, that's unfortunate. Uh, worst frame by default, in my opinion, is Lavos, because I don't know what the fuck they were doing there. I think he look, what do you mean? What's wrong with him? I think he looks fine. He's just kind of bulky and weird. I guess so. I think he looks neat. He's kind of chonky. Worst looking by default... Hate default Remedent. Hate it. Um. Is, is Zephyr still shiny? Is she like weirdly glossy still? Uh, I don't think so. She's pretty matte. Okay, yeah, they 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 unpolished her good. Oh, you she mean was you, oh, weirdly you, glossy? You, you mean before she got PBR? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre PBR, Zephyr was a weird there for a minute. Yeah, she, she had that weird. glaze on her. Yeah. Is it Revenant? I hate. I hate default Revenant. Is there anything worse than default Revenant? I think the only thing that comes close to default Revenant is base Trinity. And base Trinity is mostly a factor That's of her just being fucking old. Base Trinity really just suffers because her helmet's just kind of weird. I think it's it's like it's the 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 lo weird lobster tail looking like it's a, it's iconic for her, but it's just all, all over. I think the whole thing is just kind of eh. I mean, it's iconic for Trinity Prime because with Trinity Prime, they turn the lobster tail into she has a massive caboose. But like, yeah, with regular Trinity, it's like she got these uh, oh, she got these sentient arms before we knew what sentience were. Yeah, these weird spindlies. Base Mesa, I don't like. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? This design is fucking fire. This design is right up there with Avara. I would put this at number two. Uh, 
Dog Teeth? What? Who? What are you talking about? <laughs> Ever been a fan of base hydroid? I could see that. Base hydroid's not amazing. Base hydroid also got PBR, right? Because he was yeah. also glossy yeah, as yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, he was. He, he's still a low glossman, <laughs> um, but he's not. He's not nearly as like a full body wax. <laughs> base banshee but she's also pretty old i think base banshee's fine i i am kind of accounting for age on that though of the warframes that have no excuse though i fucking hate revenant i hate this design so much the weird energy beard the whole one arm thing just his general like dilapidated looking ass which is funny because his prime is amazing like his prime is maybe one of the best primes visually And his deluxe is cool. Wow, uh, that is Freezer Clutch. He is the Freezer. Okay, I'll be on, I'll be on it in like two minutes. <laughs> Fair. The night shift, it calls to me, <laughs> sadly. Like the newer the frame, the better they got at designing them. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the case of like, well, you learn a lot whenever you've done it 50 plus times, right? Like you look at like the newer Warframes where it's like Calervo. I think just looks fantastic. More of a fan of his alternate helmet than his base, but whatever. Uh, the Gath, newest Warframe. She looks fantastic. She looks absolutely great. We love to see it. Citrine, super like interesting, weird design. That's cool. I don't like her base helmet either, but her alternate is good. Uh, and then like Geyer, whose design is fantastic. Like really nice. Uh, Garuda still feels kind of new, although it's been a while, actually. But she, her design is very good. Base Protea, I'm not actually super hot on, but it's mostly the helmet that gives me that. The rest, I think, is actually pretty good. I don't, I don't like Protea's base helmet, like, at all. I like the veil. I don't like the eyeballs. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not I'm not a fan of either and I don't like her like weird oblong like dangly bits thing in the back either. Yeah, Goss is great. Goss Prime looks great. Steinax pretty new. Steinax another one where I don't really like his base helmet, but <laughs> other than that I think he looks very good. Base helmets have been real weak for a while. Luckily we got the new Cinder Block boy and he looks good. He has, his design actually just looks out of the box, going to be really nice. Protea has the best deluxe, and it's not close. You're correct, and you should say it. Wisp base helmet is also bad. Yeah, yeah. The base, the base helmet thing. We are sometimes, sometimes we are just out here suffering. Like I don't think this is like the worst, but it's not good. I don't like this base helmet, but the rest of Wisp looks great. Pain looking ass wisp. Bald. You get that bald head. <laughs> well, they do want us to buy the helmet. I mean, sure, but I don't think that they would like intentionally, because like I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't feel intentional. Because like sometimes it's just like this Warframe has no good helmets. Like you know, you like you did this is this this helmets are just bad. And right, like for Calervo, both helmets are good. The alternate I think is just better, which is subjective. Are you headed out, Freezer? Yeah, goodbye. Have an enjoyable time. Later. And I am popped out of chat now. Goodbye, Fridge. <laughs> Does Sephiroth Deluxe uh, come out with Whispers, by the way? I believe that is the case, yeah. Nova Prime is okay. Yeah, Nova Prime has the neck rings thing, which I'm not huge on, but the helmet and everything else I think looks great. If Liger did a Calervo skin, what do you think he'd make of it? <sighs> That's really tough. It always depends on theme. Liger has like a pretty like broad, 
like what would we get out of that the thing that i do know though is that he would have just a fucking absolutely chiseled perfect ass because if there's if there's anything that we can always guarantee that we're going to get from liger it's that every time very consistent And that's why Liger is the GOAT. <laughs> that's why he's the best. <laughs> Our solar rail's built by clan, still in the game and shit. No idea how that works, never even seen it. Um... <laughs> the system is still on pause, let's say. <laughs> Nesha Empyrean's pretty goaded, to be honest. That, Yeah, that is a good deluxe. Yeah, the armistice lives on. Paused for eight years. Shelved indefinitely, yeah. Yeah, the dark sectors themselves are still around, which is great. Please elaborate. I don't know how that shit did work. Ah, we're gonna get, we're gonna get into some quests. I need to do chains of hero pretty bad. Luckily, the personal quarters is building. Um. Oh, here's a good question. Should I do chains of hero, or should I do heart of Deimos? Because I need to go do heart of Deimos in order to get the. Uh, Necromech started building. Yeah, Deimos is pretty fast and easy, that's true. <clears throat> it also won't matter if I do Harrow. Well, I guess doing Harrow gets me closer to the... Well, no, because I don't have personal quarters. Wait, no, no, no. I can do Harrow directly into Sacrifice and not have to do the personal quarters at any point during that. Because personal quarters is after sacrifice. So I should go that route to get my umbral mods, because that's funny. Sacrifice needs the quarters. Does it? Oh, no, wait. Yeah, you're right. Apostasy needs that room. Never mind. Okay, so there's no, no real point in doing that today, then. Okay, so yeah, that's buildings. So there's no real point in doing that. So yeah, we can do um, we can do Deimos, which is one that I, I need to write the guide on this one. But we're not gonna do it live, obviously. I'm just gonna we're going to record for Deimos. <clears throat> is it the Cambian Drift? Oh, I still need to do this mobile defense before I can get there. an infestation. Extermination is the only option. Oh, right. Oh, right. This is the X term. It's, it's a mobile defense because it was showing me the, uh, the red veil thing. I was like, X term? This is fortuitous, but why? And then I was like, oh, yes. Now all has been laid bare now. I'm still detecting a lot of infestation activity. Let's clean it up. Morning, Mord.
this down. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Survive. You have broken their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. Find extraction. We got a sense danger. New mod. More importantly, that gave us seven thousand. God. Just the, just the pickups giving you 5k now is, matters so much for the focus gain. It's so good. Only negative rep? Oh, yeah, I need to do both my rank ups. But that's, you know, whatever. Hey, are you gonna help Cost a forma, sure, whatever. All right, what can we help you with? Uh, as a new player, we don't want any of that. We should just grab one of these. Sacrifice. What do I need for before anyway? I can just build more anyway. Actually, it actually flow. doesn't matter. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Grab a bunch of relics. Okay. Um, tell you what. Before we start this, I'm gonna grab water, because I probably should.
Okay, I returned. Also, we figured out what we're doing for dinner. What's wrong with the idea? What's wrong with what idea? Um, what's wrong with reducing missions on each planet from 20 to like 10? Yeah, I mean, consolidating missions into ones that are more popular. I don't know. Things are already fairly curated. You want to give people, like, the game modes at different difficulty levels? Because, like, is interception important um, before you get to, like, Eris or maybe Mithra? No. Because those are, like, the only ones that have, like, kind of worthwhile rewards for the time in that you could do. Um, but you don't just want to, like, slap somebody with, like, here's Interception. It's a new game mode. Get fucked, idiot. Like, the biggest thing is, like, you got to remove stuff that doesn't matter. Like, this mission. Like, there's no reason to have the regular Arcwing missions. Like, the one that, the single one that you might keep is Celestia because it's used for leveling Arcwings sometimes. Then other than that, non-Railjack Arcwing missions could just be entirely removed. <clears throat> like maybe you would keep like Certus or something like one low level one one high level one and remove every single other one honestly don't need to be 241 nodes across like 16 planets oh yeah no it's definitely not that you can't cut in certain places but there are reasons why you have like the density of missions that you do have like this over here for example like this cluster of what is this four or five this this cluster of six kind of seven with Dionia here this this cluster of seven here you could probably make this four you cut three out of this probably pretty easily over here you could cut Pandora we don't need that mission and then it's like okay yeah you've, you've cut down on like what's important on Saturn Jupiter you could do like a similar thing probably cut three like, you, you could probably go into most planets, cut three, and not lose anything. Pursuit is a bad game mode. It's really the CLDR. It's actually it would actually be kind of interesting if like Arcwing was a thing anyone ever wanted to do. <clears throat> yeah, like a, a thing like Kuva Fortress, though you cut nothing here. Like, there's a lot of places where I like honestly probably wouldn't change anything other than like removing Arcwing missions. Like on this one. I think that Venus is pretty good. You just cut Monty. Because we don't need this Arcwing Exterminate. <clears throat> Definitely a good reason to have each type available at varying levels, but some planets have like three sabotage nodes, multiple exterms, etc. Uh, I don't think that's super common. Unless you count like Egate and Monty. Like a lot of a lot of planets have an extra survival and defense, but that's because we have the dark sectors. Like Kadesh. Which those are like good adds to each planet. Like I would probably never cut the dark sectors really. <clears throat> Just because that would like usually gives you a good place to farm. So much sneezing. I 
Extra hard would be to just eliminate arc wings entirely from the game. Use a slingshot and a rail checks to replace the fu their function there. That would be very hard. <clears throat> that would be very bad. You would not want to do that. Arc wings serve a good function in in the game, in the places where we actually use them. But the thing that we don't do is like missions where they're the thing. They are a good supplementary system that has an added value on open worlds and in railjack. And other than that, like, eh. and like they also, you know, they're part they're the submersible part, which is like not great. But it's like you know, they are a vehicle. They are like. They are the personal vehicle of Warframe. They are not good for like their own solo missions, um, but whenever they're like combined into stuff, I think they have a place. Like realistically, the only changes I think you need to do for Arc Wings is you cut all of like the solo Arc Wing missions, maybe except Salacia, maybe, uh, and then. Uh, in Railjack, you should just always be getting experience for your Arcwing as well as the Plexus. Like if you if you do that, then like great. I think you're good. I think you could if you if you do that as well, fuck Salacia. You can just cut that too. Like cutting all those missions off of the Star Chart, I think, is like an objective improvement. Do mod chance drop boosters affect sabotage cash rewards? Don't think so. Orphix needs adjustment. Orphix doesn't need any adjustment outside of actually giving you rewards. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Sorry about that, there was some confusion. Kershaw probably killed any possibility of any future Arcwing content, to be honest. What do you mean, where you use an Arcwing? I don't think that's true. Like like I said, the, the Arcwing is essentially like our our personal transport so like anytime they need that it's what it's going to be i think you say you're the best weapons on steel path circuit this week go to brozyme.com type in in karnan have a whole tier list 
There's also a video associated with that. Wish we got more Railjack content. Yeah, it's tough because Railjack suffers from a very specific thing. Which is, they made it, and it was really poorly received. Right? Because it was bad. And then they were fixing it, and while they were fixing it, they decided that Corpus Railjack still did need to be made, because they did promise it. And they made Corpus Railjack, which was essentially glorified, well, people hate the Railjack, so just fly it to a regular mission, I guess, and then that'll, that, that'll be what Corpus Railjack is, because shit might be fucked and maybe we can fix it but you never know right we don't know if people will actually latch onto this thing or they'll just hate it when we release more stuff uh so because of that like caution which was probably appropriate um corpus railjack sucks it sucks sucks it's bad uh whereas the original railjack railjack they released is good and the problem with corpus railjack is that you're not playing any railjack in it Orphix sucks the most out of all of them. I mean, Orphix mostly sucks because it's like, it's a very active and interesting game mode that requires a lot from you, and it's the least rewarding thing imaginable. If if the or if the permanent Orphix thing was a permanent fixture, the way the event was, I think people would really like it and they would run it a lot because it would be a better farm than Eidolons or the Eidolon Arcanes. But as it stands now, it is a super high effort. A game mode that has no fucking rewards at all. Because that event was stellar. It was a really good event. <clears throat> this one's skirmish to be in Corpus Railjack. Just let me blow up some ships and go to a place of interest. Done. Yeah. Orphix was so good in the game mode, it's just not worth it. Why? Yeah, yes, exactly. Also kills Railjack progression, though. They're through the planets because it's near impossible without a well-modded mech. I don't think you ever have to do that mission, do you? I think you never have to do that mission. You do? I don't think that's true. Oh, for completion. But completion's not even necessary in rail check. You can't move through the planets until you clear every node. I thought you just needed to be at the right um, intrinsics level for it. No? Well, we'll find out after I do the rail check stuff. <clears throat> Right. Anyway, it is time for doing Deimos. Deimos time! We are going to the Cambian Drift for the Heart of Deimos quest. Technically, you can do this quest before you get the Arcwing. If you did that, don't worry about it. Tenno. You received our distress signal. Mother will be pleased. What? Visitors? Look at you now, a real chip off the old monolith, huh? Just the right sort to save us from the coming cataclysm. Come on! We agreed. I was handling orientation protocol. Sorry, Lloyd. It's just too exciting. I love Lloyd Notak so much. We are in crisis, Tenno. 
Our defense against the great strain has failed. The Necrolisk is in lockdown, but it doesn't matter. The infestation has compromised the very heart itself. We have been forced to rephase into Martian. But how are you, anyway? Things good. <clears throat> As I was saying, our defense situation is dire. Our remaining Necromex have reverted to their autonomous kill precepts. They will not distinguish you from those things. I call that one Fighty Scratchikins. It is imperative you meet Mother, receive her instructions, and prevent the imminent intradimensional catastrophe. Pretty important. Demonstrate your combat readiness, and I will grant you the requisite security clearance. Good luck. Intradimensional? What? Oh, Tech, I've already explained it. Sounds like it bears. Now here we are on Deimos. Amos is our infested open world, as you can see. If we were unclear, demonstrate your readiness by destroying infestation. Only then will I grant entry clearance. Act accordingly. Time to head over here. If you built the arc wing segment to fly around, awesome. I don't have it yet. What I do have is the ability to teleport as Glerva, though. Also, if you see these little pustules, you're going to want to hit those. That will become important later. Hive located. Destroy it with weapon fire. Gotta just kill the enemies, kill these hive guys. Keys will open up after we just killed enough guys. Oh, pop this. Down. Move on and destroy the next Once again, you're going to want to pop those because they have good resources in them that you will very much need, especially if you're doing this pretty early uh, in order to get some of the materials for Rhino. You will want to pop those. Just in general, any containers you see are pretty worth opening up on the open world here. Like these ones as well. Of these guys with Lerva. <clears throat> Just some pretty usual stuff. That means we won. This should be pretty easy as any of the starters, although it can be a little General. problematic um, if you get a lot of toxin enemies. To the Necrolisk. Mother awaits. But I should warn you, she is not entirely herself. <laughs> Breaking a bunch of those will also get you potential access to one of the strongest guns you can get early on. So just in general, collecting stuff in this open world is very worthwhile. Welcome to the Necrolisk. The Necrolisk is our open world hub here. Functions like Cetus does. Need your help. Oh, don't worry about this. Uh, 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 yeah. Don't worry about that. The infestation wormed into everything. After the Great Purge, there were no Dax, no Tenno to defend the place. Just us. It's not your fault, Ship. Technically, it is. 
And now you face an existential threat. If the heart stops beating, the wellspring of your power dies with it. Have we tried turning it off and on again? Tenno, meet the head of the Entrati family. What's left of her anyway? Mother, wake up. Ooh, we'll, you, we will be dealing with the Entrati family pretty exclusively on this open world. Dream. Here we go again. The wall of Loke was before us. I, I had my, my proofs. My father's. I could hear him. I could hear him tapping, tapping at the untimed door. Mother? We went in, but again, he wasn't there. My husband congratulated me. Sarcastic halfwit. All the while, Hiveweed was sprouting all around us. But it was just a dream. No, Mother. You did all of that. You're as wormed as the rest of this place. The heart is about to fail, remember? Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Functional? We are. And we've summoned Ship here to help us. It'll take more than an old Orokin thug to keep the heart beating. As a note, this is Albrecht's daughter. I don't blame you. You're just the product. If you don't know who that is yet, no that's okay. Work. Though I suppose you proved him right in the end. Same as Deimos. The infestation got in. Got to me and my family. Stole our names, our ideas. I can hear its high voice scratching in my mind. Let the heart stop beating. Let the door close forever. Only my dreams seem real now. So, <sighs> I sleep. It's what makes you special. You know that, right? All thanks to my father. It pumps the arteries of the here and the void. The Entrati family has maintained it for an age, but it's breaking down, and only that idiot knows how to fix it. The man I used to call my husband. I think he's left for good this time. Hmm, maybe you can find him. Probably sulking somewhere outside. Let's go find father. Detecting active necromech signals nearby. It could be father. He loves a good fight. Whatever you do, don't mention mother. Nothing. He hates more. Bunch of items here. This must be one of the last of Father's necromancy. Oh, Volatox with turn. A good mod. We got everybody. Anyone left? Guidance signal was coming from over there. Oh. 
two of these. Good. These give good amounts of plastids and a bunch of other materials. Anything else here? Hello there. Interested in something a little more old war sized. Wait, wait. She didn't send you looking for me, did she? Uh, I'm not going back. Mm, look, you were the second wave kid. The Necromex were void shielded, sentient pulse immune. As bright as a bag of hammers, and just as dependable. Not like you. <laughs> when I met her, mother, she was as brilliant as she was broken. Chasing her father's ghost, convinced he was still out there. You might be I right. Thought, huh, I thought I could fix things. I thought I could fix her. Like she was a loose light board or leaky hydraulic. So yes, she's right about me. I am an idiot, but I'm a reformed idiot. I'm done with her. This heart is breaking down is just another tactic of hers. Don't you see? Everything has to be about her. That went well. <laughs> we must prove to father that the heart is deteriorating. This will be more dangerous than any gray strain monster we faced. We have to talk to daughter. All right, time to return to the Necrolisk, but now before I check up on this thing, because this usually has a good chunk of uh, crates. All right, with that, don't forget you can teleport. Hold M to open that map. This mod is also a good pickup, though not necessary. Daughter over here. This would be where I showed you my birthright of ancestral fish, but, well, you've already met my charming brother. We have not. Some remnants of the original genetic matrix appear to have survived in the exocrine, though the infestation is steadily claiming them. If you can catch any and bring them to me, I'd appreciate it. We can salvage anything useful. I can't undo what he did, but... I won't let him have the last word. This is, yeah. This is a... Uh... Oh, aren't you there we go. a fascinating specimen? Pretend she didn't say all that other stuff. There's exoflesh, hybridized internals, and time trace. You're a Tenno, aren't you? You need me to tell you where it is, which I wouldn't have to bother with if not for my parents, whose collective heads are so far up their collective lower sigmoids, the only air they breathe is what they secrete. Ah, oh, that's kind of sweet, but look at us. We are beyond help. The disease vectors are too complex, changing faster than I can study them. We can only prolong the inevitable. Look, if you help me get back some of what my brother shredded, I'd be happy to return the favor. Deal? Alright. Now, we must learn about fishing. Only briefly, though. We 
we oh yeah, also. Fast. Don't worry about him though. He's got bigger problems than you. His sister. They don't get along, as you'll soon see. Explosions. I'll cause all this to come crashing down. Opportunity for you, actually. There should be useful detritus falling from the explosion. Try not to get crushed, little one. Don't feel the least bit sad for him. This gives us residue. He'll regenerate and even empty your head and exact his revenge. An endless cycle. Well, it's the only proof I've got that the hive mind can be divided. Just collect what you can so you can get to the task at hand. Each one of these gives more residue. All right, now we gotta catch fish. Should be in here already. It is. Um. Note the curious way they float above the surface to feed. Don't bother trying to spear them in the exocrine itself. Uh, actually, can I catch these with these spheres that I have? I don't know that I can. I can. Alright. If you have done... If you've not done anything that gives you a fishing rod, uh, you can use the one that's on the ground here, but otherwise, you can use this. Huh. Also of note here, um... The fish collected thing here only counts in this little area. So, if you want to, you can sidetrack here because this forces vom. Uh, you can sidetrack here to go get vom only fish that you might otherwise need if you're working on like the really good early kit gun, for example. But otherwise, I really wouldn't worry about it and just collect the fish. A vom and foss rotate pretty frequently anyway. All right, that's enough. Return the specimens to me, and I'll give Lloyd what he needs to take you down to the heart. I'm afraid I cannot open the gateway hostiles in proximity. You'll need to destroy them before I even think of powering the door. These enemies aren't much of a problem. Teleport. You can't teleport there because you have to kill these enemies that are blocking the door. Now we're good. Take these fish over to Donner. I remember my birthday. Woke with a knot in my stomach. The hum of my specimen tanks was missing. Silent. But I was surprised to find a little box wrapped in a red bow. A gift from my family that never, ever remembered. The note said, best wishes for my best sis. Can you guess what was in the box? A white powder, as smooth and fine as silk. My entire collection, cremated, atomized, and returned as a gift by my deranged brother. If you see him on your descent to the heart, don't be fooled. 
He'll stab you in the back if he thinks it'll get him a moment's notice from Mother. All right. Now we're headed back out. Proceed to the heart. Otak and I will take a damage assessment scan of it. Lots of bitey scratchikins on the scope. <gasps> Maybe they're planning a party for you! In we go, into the S of Age. right in here into the gross door. Got a star, we'll let us see it. <laughs> yeah, dead enemies. Noticed my collar, did you? A not so gentle reminder from dearest mother. Sure, his dwarf down here. Universe can hold a grudge as deep or as long. She took away all my Entradi command words with it. Lloyd's got more respect in this family than I do. One simple mistake. To be fair, it was not exactly a simple mistake. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I broke the containment protocol. I carried the spores in. I screwed up. And suddenly, they all acknowledged my existence. Suddenly, something I'd done actually mattered. As if humiliating me would undo what happened to them. We're a lost cause. The infestation will come for what's left of us in time. <sighs> Speak of them, and they shall appear. This brother's the one that fucked all this shit up here. <laughs> Enemies shouldn't be a problem for you just in general, even if you're on a starter Warframe, but they're definitely not a problem for Kalervo. Admit it, Tenno. It's beautiful, isn't it? Maybe it's not the abomination you think it is. Maybe it knows better than Mother. Maybe we ought to succumb to it. Let it win. Sun has strange ideas about what victory looks like. The solar rails, the Tenno. We all depend on the heart to keep the wall open to the other side. If the heart stops, everything goes with it. Oh, but think of all the time we'd have for hobbies. Deeper in we go. Still making sure we grab all of those drops. That is a juggernaut. I will kill that. It's very annoying to have alive. If you see one, I would suggest killing it. That can be a little more difficult as a new player frame. But usually is not a problem. Requiem Cypher. I'm embarrassed to say I'm unsure what to make of this. Tenno, can you figure it out? Um, There's going to be a weird cut here while I don't spoil things for people that might have not have done the relevant quest yet. I didn't see what the sequence was. Also, never mind. We're back from Weird Cut. One second. Be right back.
All right, I return. Sorry about that. Finn was able to steal the fucking chicken tenders from Gavin. Um, I forget what. Oh, right. It just has you activate them. Okay. The weird cut has ended. Never mind. Okay, now I don't remember. What was, what was the thing it showed me? I guess right the first time. Amazing. There's no chance I'm just guessing this right. Okay, good. Hmm, that doesn't sound happy. Don't distract them. This is very mentally taxing for a Tenno. But let it be known later there's more mechanics to this. Success. There you go. Here's the heart. again Mother. yeah it's over good good you think this is good oh so you're talking to us now mother don't this isn't the time shut up i want to see how low she can dig of course you do anything to make you feel better about yourself i wonder where he gets that from stop <sighs> well, is it ever explained it is a, it is explained oh, i'm being coy because we're doing the we're doing the mission the everyone was born. well I wish you had. Stop! Tenno, still functional. Listen carefully. <gasps> Getting back to the surface is not going to okay. be easy. I don't know how to break this too. I'm at a bit of an advantage here. It's barely functional. You're going to have to stay low and out of sight. I know a shortcut, but you've got to do the rest. So, my overguard is Calervo has stayed in the top right. Normally, you're kind of in a weakened state. I am not in a weakened state. Uh, worth noting, you can roll during this. You can't slide. You can crouch. But you can roll. So, it's good for you to just... Oh, right. I can't break that. Uh, good for you to just roll on through. Rolling still gives you your DR and stuff in this little section. So, just... Just keep ahead. on rolling. Watch, just don't don't roll like directly at them, but rolling lets you go fast. So just go fast in a way that gets away from them. Don't roll directly in front of them, but just kind of keep it rolling. There we go, and we're free. You're still alive. That means we can fix this. We can get the heart back if we walk together. Back through the SFH. Oh, can do our bullet jumps and such now that we're out of here, out of here. And in we go. Now 
now that we're back in. You willing to go back down? Sun and I can bait the worm to draw the infestation away, up to the surface. Even if I agreed to help, what about the necromax down there? Just one of those things. I've got a little something that I've been saving for an occasion like this. All right. I got the calculus data for a restart, but I'll need ten quanta of leptosan. Son? I... I have it. Should we wake up grandmother? Let her sleep. Wouldn't want her to worry. In we go. A necromech. All right, with the void closing up, you're going to be too weak to help in that frame. Snake's in rough shape, but she's got enough juice for one last ride. What do you say? Ready to go old war style? And this is the part where there's a mysterious cut. No. All right. Not ideal, but I've cross-routed your Warframe impulse stream directly to Snake. Now... She'll feel heavy, but you'll get used to it. Head outside, and we'll run a field test before your descent. We will do the Easter egg chat. All right, now we are a necromech. You'll need to farm one of these as well, but we'll get to that later. All right, squeeze off a few rounds and get a feel for them. There's no time for training exercises. But we've got to prepare. Tenno, get down there. You're just going to have to learn as you go. Okay, so dodging. Let me unsprint. But you're like dashes here. That you can do. You do have a stamina bar for some reason. Don't know why they keep doing that. But you do have a stamina bar. You can sprint. But mostly what you're going to do is sprint and then do a little tappy dash. Hitting space bar before you hit the ground. Then you can do like kind of this like dashing jump thing. So if you want to move much quicker and use not very much stamina as an Ekromech, that is the way. Yeah, bootleg bullet jumps, exactly. power to mm. yes secondary systems are back up the caves won't be exactly clear but it, it should help I've dispersed some specimens to keep the infested out of the way. Oh, so it's okay In we go. You do. Eat potter pellets, you... Take it easy. I summoned some Velocipods, too. I've managed to bring additional systems online. All right. As the Necromech, you're going to want to hit two. This uses some energy and gives you, like, an over, like a, basically an overshield. It works like Rhinos 2 does. Except for the old version of Rhinos 2 at this point, actually. When you get to the heart, you'll have to patch the damage and then we'll restart the system. It's a lot, but we're counting on you. Just run us straight on down where we just up. were. You should have additional functionality. You don't need to worry about any abilities that aren't your two and your four. <clears throat> One actually has a situational use later, but that's for later. That 
That's it. All systems active. All right. And now we're down here. Now we have our four as well. You only get it for this part here. Now, I am going to die on purpose because there is a Easter egg here. But not until we're actually in the boss fight. This is our four. Makes us stationary, but we have a very good gun. Also, you will want to shoot all of these to, like, start them all up, essentially. You can do them one at a time, now. If you really are having a hard time or something. you're grabbing energy and such. If you do have a melee attack, it's this, like, punch. It's not great, though. And once we've popped all of these... Snake with an old army tool. Ready? Now we need to repair the heart. So these are little elevators. You'll want to use these. You don't have to fly to repair this. You just kind of just like you know, kind of spam over it, honestly, uh, and it'll it'll get there. And jump from each of these. I'm going to seal this thing up real good. There we go. What do you think, Mother? Seal the chamber. Do a little heart surgery. By luck, we pass through and beyond. Chamber sealed. That's it for your ride. And a one-way trip for poor Snake. I'll cut the reroute as soon as the heart's beating. And you'll be back to your old self again. Restart in three, two, one. You sure you've got the correct derivatives? Again. Three, two, one. Perfect. Just perfect. It doesn't make sense. Something must be interfering. I, I checked the equations. Well, check them again. Don't yell at me. Again. And now it's back on. However, there is now an enemy corn cob to contest with. This is where I'm gonna let it kill me for the Easter egg if you would like to see it. <laughs> you have no idea how jealous I am right now. Kill me. Snake? Snake! There you go. There we are. You gave her a good send off. Yeah, Use your thanks. four on it is the oh, strategy snake. for the enemy necromech. I miss you. But you've earned your rest, all right? Rerouting you. Yes. A rest. And now we're back. What is that Easter egg for? It is a Metal Gear reference. Isn't the use your four on it the strategy for everything involving the necromech? Pretty much. Hmm. 
And now we can be introduced to Grandmama. Oh, they're an insufferable lot, aren't they? My son, father, blustery and spineless all at once. Also, yeah, this is not Albrecht's wife. wife. Mother, who can't see past what she's lost, to see what she has. And who can blame the children? Daughter, trying to convince herself she's so different. It only makes her more the same. And the boy, poor son. He mistakes kindness for mediocrity. Who's he competing with other than himself? But in a crisis... Albrecht's sister-in-law? Correct. Together. I've no idea what you're talking about. But even as they've forgotten themselves, their names, their bonds, they might still be a family. It seems you're an important part of that now. So maybe I can help you and your family. Okay. This Warframe, so. Zaku. Somewhat of a family she themselves. did it. She's responsible for the whole heart of Deimos kerfuffle. We lost in the ages, to bring the family together. Family has served here. For anyone that does not get it. It was grandma all along. To, to bring the family together again, grandma did it. There. And now... I think we've had more than enough excitement for one day. <sighs> I could do with a little lie down. I played this at release and what, really? Yes. Yes, really. Alright, and that's Heart of Deimos completed. So from here... This is not how I would have chosen to welcome a colleague, but embarrassment is a luxury I discarded long ago. Frankly, my daughter is an entitled self-pitying whelp, my son an arrogant upstart, and my husband a mealy-mouthed relic of his old self. Every last one of them has let me down. You may find them useful. I barely find them tolerable. If I can count upon your loyalty, we will work well together. I intend to tame this place, and you can help me. So she is our Kanzu. She's our bounty giver here. So this is yes, how we're going to get the standing. Bounties. She's also the person that we will increase standing well. with. Let us ranking negotiate. this up will need some spinal core sections, which come from fish. But they're not too difficult to get out of just crates. You don't have to fish. Indeed. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's ye old heart of Deimos to start us off here. Some question is the Azathane or is the Tatsu Prime better? I like the Azathane better. They're very similar though. <clears throat> By the way, how did the Entrati family survive the war and the purge? They were hidden. How long does it take for bros to get Calervo? A couple hours. Super worth it, though. Because we also got, like, 30,000 MR. <laughs> All right. So now... I immediately have a thing I want to try. So this is our build. We're on viral right now, and I think I want to be on radiation. Never realized the grandma was the one behind it. Yep. Oh, wait, one more.
Yeah. So whenever whenever the enemy Necromech is speaking, it's also like a modulated version of her voice. So we're going to take this as a thing. And we're going to take this Calervo build, which is not horrible. Not horrible. Like, fine. Uh, and we're going to go do a vault. Where do we watch the previous three days of the free to play through? That's going to be on the YouTube channel. That is all in, like, the live streams that are happening there. I'm actually streaming there right now, even. Uh, before we do that, though, uh, I'm going to go get chicken tenders. Be right back.
I return with dinner. All it cost was a young man's legs and an old man's soul. <laughs> Minions found the reservoir on Lua, which the Lotus intervened to protect it. Belrick and Rania's rationale for unleashing the infestation isn't known to me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we know why for the Belrick and Rania. Minions found famous in Belkarania made a biobomb to stop them. Oh, okay. Who says that, though? Is that a thing that Otak talks about? Hi, I'm... I'm not Lloyd. Lloyd is Lloyd. You'll have to excuse Otak. His personality was damaged irreparably by Deimos' energies, making it necessary to transfer his intelligence to this, our current shared form. Unfortunately, my attempted defragmentation of his persona matrix was not a complete success. Tell them about mining, Otak. Mining? Oh yeah, mining! There are things to be mined. Minerals! We'll use the minerals to make the them things that are necessary for survival on Deimos. Now, ask politely, Otak. Would you please mine the minerals? I love these interactions so much. <laughs> oh, oh! You know about Citrine and Belric and Rania? I love that story. Lloyd says it isn't true, though. Boo. I did not say that, Otak. I merely said that it has been significantly embellished. Citrine's story happened back in old war times. At least a week ago. Maybe more. Stealing the crystals and using them as a shortcut? Can you believe it? We are fortunate that such unsavory characters steered well clear of the Necronisk. Nothing says true love like minerals. I love geodes. There's a surprise inside everyone. Citrine was a Warframe. You know what that means? Warframes were real. <laughs> okay, I've never gone through all of these. Being turned into crystals is kind of romantic, isn't it? Lloyd? Yes, Sotak. If you say so. Belric and Rania got turned into crystal. That's even shinier than glass. That's true. And then Citrine... Punch the asteroid! Pow! Otak does like to mix up his stories. Yeah, that's Atlas. That's a dream. Some folks say Citrine's story happened right here on Deimos. Yes, they do say that, despite being politely asked not to. Can you believe Belric and Rania got their home curb by the infestation? 
On purpose? Citrine was a Warframe! You know what that means? Warframes were real! The delivery on that line is so good. Can you believe Balric and Rania got their home kerblooied by the infestation on purpose? Kerblooied, even. Citrine was a Warframe! <laughs> I'll never you know get sick of this means. one. Warframes were real! The concept of OTAC not knowing. <laughs> He's a Cephalon. Um, Lloyd is actually not a Cephalon. Otak might be, but Lloyd is not a Cephalon. Lloyd is definitely not a Sentinel. It is either a brain scan AI or a grown brain. Yeah. Yeah, we learned that quite recently, didn't we? We did. Yeah, Lloyd is a weird third thing. Citrine was made out of minerals? I wish I was made out of minerals. That's a new one. Fuck. Belric and Rania were such good buddies, they wanted to be together forever! Just like me and Lloyd! That is also a new one. How many of these are there? And then Citrine punched the asteroid! Otak does like to mix up his stories. What's the release date for Whispers? We don't know. We'll know on the 7th. Citrine's a great name, but maybe... Chunky McLumpy Lumps is better! Okay, let him cook. Let him cook. Nothing says true love like minerals! Mm. Belric and Rania were such good buddies, they wanted to be together forever! Just like me and Lloyd! They say the two are connected through the void to this day. What would our old master have made of that? Hmm. <clears throat> There's 18. So, Chip, you ever wondered how this place got infested? Another new one. Me too. Motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, same. How did that happen? Nothing says true love like minerals. So, Chip, you ever wondered how this place got infested? Me too. So, Chip, you ever... Brother. Citrine was made... Anymore? Citrine wanted Belric and Rania to be together in her. Dignity, Otak. Dignity at all times. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Citrine 
Train's a great name, but maybe Chunky McLumpy Lumps is better. Can you believe Belric and Rania got their home kerblooied by the infestation on purpose? But there's one we haven't heard. Turn into crystals is kind of romantic, isn't it? Lloyd? Yes, Sotak. If you say so. That's valid. That's valid, Hopley. The Narcon Hunt for Boreal and Gyre annihilated the arrow list. Adds in a second. Nice. Can Gyre target the Archons with her abilities? Just some chicken tenders. Just some chicken tenders. And fries. See you again, ship. Doesn't go anywhere. Uh, and then one second, I'm going to take care of this before we start doing this dangerous content.
I'm back. <clears throat> okay. Let us begin seeing if we can easily do these vaults. Hopefully the answer is yes. It should at least be doable. How's your progress? Very good. You, are you there. To Send me to... Oops this. Send me to the isolation vault. Too much has been hidden from us on Deimos. The old ruins beneath the surface must surely contain the deepest and... The infestation is strong, but stupid. With the right materials, we can fool it into letting us enter. How's the other that's been a month? She has received no changes. Oh yeah, I forgot the part about this where I really Collecting don't have the arc wing segment yet. Can supply us with a biological key. Okay, we better get another one to be sure. Luckily we're clear, but we can just do this the weird way. enough of an angle, unfortunate. That should suffice. Place the components. Okay, there we go. Luckily we don't need that many. We have arc wings at home, it's true. How do you end up getting Calervo? I did Duviri. Very easy. Protect the vessel while it is stewing. The mm. stench is bound to draw infested. Should be easy enough. That thing's dead. The hours being, oh, just a couple hours after the quest. You do need to do the quest first, and then it takes, uh, yeah, like like between two and four hours. It kind of depends on what your progress on Duviri is overall. Right, we're almost done with the hardest part. Well, ostensibly the hardest part. The combined sample is ready. Hurl it against Orifice Portal and it should open. There we go. There. Now we can progress into the tunnels. Do not dawdle. Secret tunnels. Come here, it'll burn your casing off. We need to do something or the vault won't open. Just 
certain infested organisms are massively increasing the toxicity levels. Eliminate them. Use organic samples to help stabilize yeah, these guys are no threat. against the toxicity levels. The invested carry their own antidote to sorts. Use the two on a clear bone? No. I would not. You could theoretically do that. I would not do that. The strongest local infested are inbound. This is their last gasp. Defeat these and we should be clear to proceed. <laughs> Yeah, Calero is is very good, and removing anything from him will legitimately remove things from him. So, I just I have opted to just not do that. <laughs> Toxicity levels are dropping now. The infested have retreated. We can proceed to the isolation box. The Entrati ruins are close. Keep pushing, and you will be right. there in How no tough time. could this necromech there is a possibly necromech be? The ruins. You will need to defeat it in order to roam the ruins. Ah, the necromech guardian is here. Defend yourself, Tenel. I okay. confess I had my concerns, but that was expertly handled. Okay. The Guardian is completely disabled. Okay. Uh, I actually do want to do the vault, though. These materials are actually of interest to me. Where's the actual vault itself? I also need to be actually be on the lookout for um, those little floating motherfuckers. What the hell are they called again? Does he still need the two Umbral Forma build or no? Uh, this build is a shoestring, so no. You saw what it can do. I where the actual vault spawns on these tiles. Is it over here? Here it is. Hey. I'll show you the locks on the vault. We're gonna have to declare a vid after they changed him. My build didn't change, so no. And they only just like buffed what he does. They didn't change what he does, really. really down here. Even before the infestation, they began to stay away. Well, most of them had. These guys had an Xmas variant. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Help a buddy out? 
I totally forgot about that. Just since I've ever had him actually take damage. Well, any significant damage, of course. Condition overload. Use that code on the door. Okay. <laughs> Fucking streamer luck. Well, it, it, sometimes it's like that, you, you know what I mean? Make three mistakes before the vault will lock uh, guts i that thing and then time got it there's all kinds here we go. of stuff down here some void stuff they never let out of iso because it was so <laughs> the demo's heart scene nice you ought to be congratulated and a million materials there's all of our spinal core sections i need of the isolation vaults a full mastery of oh, I got a theorem. Wow. Would be helpful, Incredible. Course. But this must suffice for now. <clears throat> okay. So we can do tier one vaults with no problems. <clears throat> that also gave me the thing I was worried about, which is the spinal core sections. So we're not going to have to do that in the future. Uh, now we need to do uh, uh, vault two. from us on Deimos. The old ruins beneath the surface must surely contain the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get inside, and the Necroloid will guide you through. See what's happening down there. Tell me what he has okay. been up to. So, the infestation's got the entrance to the ISO vault squeezed tight. Any ideas? Oh, wait, no, this is underground. I need to go down to the underground thing. I didn't need to be up here at all. If you gather the correct materials, you can persuade the infestation to there we go. up for us. Think of it like gathering bait. Zaka with pull for material farming? Yeah, Zaku with pull is like, yeah, that's going to be pretty good. Or just be Zephyr. Zephyr just default, no real investment is amazing at it. Very unpleasant. But undoubtedly what we need. Just a little bit. Excellent. 
Take what you have gathered and place it into the vessel. It's all. Now we're cooking. Uh oh, something's coming. Don't let it grab the snacks. This should go about the same as the other one. The enemy is mostly just dying as they exist. Also, obviously, if I was doing this with a squad, it becomes immensely easier. But I want to be able to solo it. Apparently a juggernaut in there somewhere. The combined sample is ready. Okay, that was easy Open enough. Against Orifice Portal and it should open. Hello. All right. Okay. There we go. Well done. We can access the infested tunnels now. Head inside. are adding to the toxicity level. Deal with them quickly. Hey, we can use infested it to keep the toxin off you. This guy did... Uh, grab some focus, delicious focus. Saxons, of course, are the toughest ones, because why wouldn't they be? The biggest infested are coming. If we can make it through these, we'll make it to the ISO vault. Death Cube did not like those enemies showing up. More than good enough for this. With the infested gone, we can now access the isolation vaults. Okay, so the only question you is higher level Necromex. Easy? The Entrati ruins Look. lie just ahead. Companions, your goal. Honestly, I'm fine with this death cube I've got. Companions are so generally good right now that, like, it doesn't super matter. There is a guardian here, a necromech. You will need to destroy it so you can explore the ruins. Ah, the necromech guardian is here. Defend yourself. Tim. There we go. The necromech has ceased function. A most satisfactory outcome. The guardian of the vault approaches. You must defeat it, Tenno. Okay, took a little bit more, but still good. Down. Never doubted you for a minute, Chef. Neat. And I probably wouldn't suggest opening the vault on anything above one, 
it out more build. Scintillant, you're right. Is there a scintillant? Is nobody see a floaty scintillant? We need a scintillant. Thought I saw one? You probably did. Ah, there it is. The scintillant that I needed. Good. It's the only one I need. But I did need one. Very, very good. You descend and return. Wow, the demulcent. No you shouldn't have. So many descend and remain as remains. All right, now we can do Vault 3, and uh, by all accounts, it seems like it's going to be fine. It is a difficult place to navigate with only one eye open. There is so much to be done here on Deimos. <clears throat> Much has been hidden from us on Deimos. The old ruins beneath the surface must surely contain the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get inside, and the necro... If you gather the correct materials, you can go. persuade the infestation to open up for us. Think of it like gathering bait. Infested gibbets. One. That or two. Or three. Oh, uh, three. We will need additional sargons, but this is a good start. Somebody remind me what this one is. Ow. I got ocular stem root. Necrophene. Ortagonic. Bowman boss is happening. Yeah, I need a better amp for this, unfortunately. Oh, right. I have to wait for the new worm bait to spawn. None of these enemies are going to really be great for this, though. Seven Bathalite? Sure. Alright, and that, that, that is now Jover. To mash everything together in. Thank goodness for these teleports. I cannot imagine the hell I would be in if they had not added these. Protect the vessel while it is <clears throat> stewing. The stench is bound to draw infested. <laughs> Go! 
Maxims are a little bit tougher here. This is going fine so far. A little bit sketchy on the defensive, but not too bad. Farm for Necromech or what's going on? Uh, well, I am farming for the Necromech, yes, because I do need it. Uh, I'm doing my initial solos to make sure I can solo it. Access the vaults until the toxicity level has been reduced. Certain infested organisms are massively increasing the toxicity levels. Eliminate them. Organic material from the infested can help counteract the environment and keep us alive longer. They are well adapted to this. A little high. Weird terrain a little bit. I give myself a proper shield real quick. Strongest local infested are inbound. This is their last gasp. Defeat these, and we should be clear. Yeah, clear road does indeed say it will kill. are dropping now the infested have retreated. We can proceed to the isolation vaults. You are almost through right. the infested tunnels. <clears throat> the infested Time for the last trial of the Azathane Calervo. There is a guardian here. Another sentinel. Hello. You will need to destroy it so you can explore the wounds. Ah, the Necromac Guardian is here. Defend yourself, Tenor. Ah, the Necromac Guardian is here. Defend yourself, Tenor. I confess I there have we go. my concerns, but that was expertly handled. The Guardian is completely disabled. Oh. I gotta kill Bone Widow. little tougher. Ow. Needed to hit my two beforehand. Noted. At this level, they do actually do enough damage to get my health before I have umbrals. Noted. Can I tie you two together? Come down here. Okay, I'm not paying attention to my health again. That has not been a thing up until now, so I've just been ignoring it. <laughs> Attention to health. Note to self. Look at my health. Oh, it's when they do that beam. That's what's doing it. Completely disabled. The 
Okay. Not a big problem. But definitely, um, hilariously, Bone Widow is more of an issue than Void Rigs. But definitely not a problem problem. Just like actually was like, oh yeah, I have to deal with these in such and such a way. Another Sentinel. And out we go. An interesting expedition, I trust. You did well according to Lloyd. A reward is an order for your efforts. I do hope you'll go again. There is so much more to be found. Much better than having name for an invisible spot on the shoulder somewhere, it's true. All right. That went well. <clears throat> My modamp got a little bit of levels. That's really funny. I have two unread messages, you say. Hey, Chip. So there's a super secret place on Mars. Oh, hey. Tiana Pass. Nothing to do with any old legends or awesome crystals or anything. Probably. The Citrine message. And then here are our, our, our Void Rig blueprints that they give you now, which is good. What do we have so far? We did not get the casing. Oh, wait, no. Oh, this is, sorry, this is different. We have the casing. We did not get the engine or the pod, and we did get the weapon. I, we might have gotten enough mother tokens to level up. Obviously, this is the worst way to get the mother you tokens, sure but... You stay safe and snug, dear. Wrap up well. It's a thief and a liar is Deimos. Steals over girls and boys and Cephalons, too, like a nasty fog until all the bright lights in your memory are quite blotted out. That's why they're like that, you see. So much forgotten. You can know, buy those withstanding. Yeah. You mustn't cry over it. Never that. Help me bring them back, would you, dear? Remember how it's done? Pinch of this, dab of that. Going for mushroom? No, I need to be able to build the necromech. Is going to be the big problem. Go on, dear. And for that, I need some of the refining materials. Oh, I have enough. I have exactly enough. They're pretty much. Thank you, dear. Very cool. always nice to see. Unfortunately, we didn't get to this before Don't reset, but that's actually not a huge problem, actually. Rank up. I think we only need to get to what? Rank two is all the materials we need, maybe? Let maybe higher than that. Perhaps as uh, I'm pretty sure I need devolved Namalon. I don't need this. Let's see. We're going to grab the Namalon. What for Zaku? The Necromech. This. Specimen is a descendant of my original collection. How? How did? Promise you won't yell at me. You didn't incinerate them at all. You dumped them in the exocrine. We can rebuild. They're still out there. They're doing quite well, it seems. I wanted to wound you, not maim. You're right. Why the stream keep passing? No, I deny you my hatred. Passing what? Find something else to feed on. Whatever you've become, I am still your sister. You are more. I see that now. I name you Kaylee. Water Scourge. Oh, pausing? Probably your connection. Until our next appointment. Okay. Now let's go check down here. Hey there, Lloyd. Visit. You enjoying the clock? Quite rare these days. We never receive visitors. Necromech embellishments? Is this where it is? I don't know this is where the snake skin is. Greetings. 
I am prepared to assist you. Should you be worthy. Forgive me, I've always wanted to see These are the blueprints. Oh, so these do require... What do these require? Rank 1, maybe? I am sorry, we were not able... But yeah, they require rank 1 in order to be able to get the pity. So that that is notable. Because, um... Yeah. Although, wait, no, no. This is the rank up. No, no, it's the, it is this. It is this. Okay. Yeah, so you, you do need some things. In order to be able to hit pity. So it's actually probably better to not even fucking do this. Yeah, it's 10 level 1 kills, which sucks. Sucks. Like, the chances that you don't... Okay, so, like, you could rank this up. Or... You could just do tier 3. And, like... Fucking pound for pound, you're probably gonna get it in 10 runs of that faster than you're gonna rank this shit up. Yeah, so probably this just doesn't end up actually mattering to us at all. I trust. Be pragmatic in all aspects of life. You could quit farm the Arcana bounties for efficiency. Are there Necromex in those? Matrices are in the Arcana Bounty drops. They're common. Oh. Hmm. You can only pick those up out in the field, right? Yeah, it's only just outside the vaults. Okay. So, yeah, we could try that for, like, leveling that up. Realistically, though... Disappointing. You would just like never bother. Tenno. I do Can I get a matchmaking for this? A little work. Much has been hidden from us on Deimos. The old ruins beneath the surface must surely contain yes. the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get inside, and the Necroloid will guide We've you. We've attained through. at least one matchmaking. See what's down there. Tell me what he has been up to. A two matchmaking, even. A three match. Oh, okay, that doesn't count. You're from the stream. I see you. And yeah, there's one outlier here. Hmm. That was migration. Well, then. I am alone. Try that again. Yeah, stream. Do not join. <clears throat> you are here to assist. I do appreciate. I'm trying to actually see the normal matchmaking. Much has been hidden from us on Deimos. The old ruins beneath the surface must surely contain the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get inside, and the Necroloid will guide you through. See what's happening down there. Tell me what he has been up to. These are no names that I recognize. Mm. That looks yummy for Interesting a MR door. spread here. Let's find some more. Very unpleasant, but undoubtedly what we need. Just a little more. Crossway saving the day. I mean, it does definitely help. Take what you have gathered and place it into the vessel. 
Especially because it's always seemed like people on console versus people on PC do like pretty different missions. So the crossplay really helps there. <clears throat> Emperor's and already has a Necromech. Oh, are they? Wait a minute. Which person are you? Hmm. No, I guess now I'm not sure. Are they just trying to get the weapons, you think? I wonder if they're just trying to get the weapons. It's not a loner. I bet they're farming the vaults for the weapons. Or they're helping one of these other people. Those are, those are the two schools of thought. Mod farming? You think so? <clears throat> Farming them for matrices, I figure the rep will be most will be important. I guess that's fair. Yeah, everyone guessing that like that's like a syndicate that gets expanded. I guess I could see that. I think D will make us run vaults to do new content. Yeah, I agree. We'll need to find the parts of the spores rig so this can't seem to be on when the receiver is even on the bounty. Oh, well. I almost want to congratulate you for not being on whenever you, well, that would happen. Because, like, fuck that farm for real, real. from deeper levels. Be careful. That is the Octavia. Me, I'm gonna kill the Octavia. Toxicity levels are dropping now. The infested have retreated. We can proceed to the isolation box. Just a little further. You're almost through the icky infested bits. The ruins Hello. Are okay, Chip. Now you just need to be the necromancer so you can explore the ruins in peace. Did I mention that part already? But I was not paying attention again. Shit. He's almost dead, though. There, he's done now. There's the pod I need. I confess I had my concerns, but that was expertly handled. The Guardian is completely disabled. Here's the big guy. He sure ain't pleased to see you, Chip. <laughs> I 
Yes, I had my concerns, but that was Still doing significant damage in the squad. Uh, all of them are this guy? Bruh. The Necromatic Guardian is here. Defend yourself, Tenor. Okay. My concerns, but that was expertly handled. Easier in a squad. Let's see if they do the vault. Well, I say I say easier. Really, for me, it's like not much change. I will take you to the safety interlocks. But in a squad, it's like much more reasonable to do this. So that's a pretty big benefit. Oh, weird. Spooky, ain't it? I think the family forgot a lot of what's really down here. Even before the infestation, they've begun to stay away. Well, most of them have. Both of from Deimos and Angels are such bullshit. Wait, really? Why is that? getting is awful. Oh, you mean farming for huh. you mean farming for the bad weapons on the Zaramon. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that does suck. I agree. The good weapons on the Zaramon are really easy to get. Master for unlocking in Karnan nodes? No. You know, there is no mastery associated with unlocking uh, the Incarnan form of uh, any gun. I wonder if they toyed with that idea, though. Probably did, but didn't want to make everyone farm it for the MR. Oop, need that. XMR now. Legendary 3 currently. Next patch, it will likely be Legendary 4. Like, actually, I don't even know if it's likely. I think it's actually guaranteed. Just based on what we know is going to be in it already. If you botch it three times, the bolt locks you out for good. So don't do that, okay? Some of the knowledge that was brought back from the void never left these vaults. I hope you can find the useful. Smash. An interesting expedition, I trust. You did well, according to Lloyd. 
A reward is an order for your efforts. I do hope you'll go again. There is so much more to be found. Things hidden from a mundane gaze. Frame, prime frame for weapons. Oh, the prime stuff is, um, that's January. That, that's not with whispers. Yeah, we know, we know tome, two other weapons, new warframe, and that should be enough. What all do we get here? Got a couple biotic filters. I don't need those. Obviously the animus. Oh, what the fuck? Missing all non-founder, you're short 21k. Founders is 12k, so short 10k. Oh, okay. Okay, it's right. Out. You know what? Yeah, it's going to be possible for founders next patch, guaranteed. I, I suspect probably it will be possible for everyone next patch. Another 17,000 Zenric, which is pretty good. And we got the casing. Didn't we pick up a pot? Yeah, we picked up the pod as well. Were those the last two parts we needed already? <clears throat> oh, I'm missing the engine still? Okay. There is so right, let's hit another round of this. Let's see what you're made of. Much has been hidden from us on Deimos. Just needed the to drop me the engine. The surface must surely contain the deepest and darkest secrets. Find a way to get inside, and the Necroloid will guide you through. See what's happening down there. Tell me what he has been up to. Interesting. There's a relatively higher spread here of people doing this. I would have expected more like 14, 15 type ranges instead of more 20s. Colervo deep are we here right now? We're on that double double Colervo life. Which is a good amount of Colervo to be. Colervo does not have the Saren problem where overlapping them is bad. Overlapping them is really, really fucking good. No one doing that cross. Meh. Okay. It's public matchmaking, so you shouldn't really bring, like, niche things. You should probably just bring, like, a thing that can do the content. Because you gotta, you gotta think about, like, oh, well, I gotta make sure that I can do this, even if I match with a bunch of people who have no fucking idea what's going on. You know what I mean? Necros can do it. Most people's Necros cannot do it. Warning. Toxicity levels in these tunnels are deadly even for Warframes. 
The vaults lie beyond, but they will be inaccessible until the toxicity has been reduced. <laughs> The <laughs> minor girls can do it, but I'm legendary too and insane. Yeah, usually that's how that goes. People don't know how to play Necros. No, Necros is just like a bit weaker and requires way more investment that most people aren't doing. You can do enough investment, but like, ouch. Yes, correct. These are the last of the infested in the area. The largest and deadliest specimens from deeper levels. Why is this up here? Be careful. Yeah, I need the focus, but damn. Give a video on what full investment right, Necros looks like. Sort of now is the, the answer. I don't think it's we worth playing. Just a little further. You're almost through the icky infested bits. The ruins await. Okay, Chip. Now you just need to be the Necromech so you can explore the ruins in peace. Did I mention that part already? Uh -huh. The Necromech Guardian is here. Defend yourself, Tenno. And he's down. That man is dead. Never doubted you for a minute, Jeff. The Necromech has ceased function. A most satisfactory outcome. Unfortunately, I'll have to redo this. Um, the of the approaches. Whenever the um, patch actually drops. There we go. There's the engine. Hell yeah. you to the safety interlocks. I need the I need the focus blorba. Thank you. Focus blorbo acquired. I'm on those streamer loot tables, oh yeah. I mean, what do you get the guy that has everything, I guess, right? <laughs> Games that you farmed this before, it's fine. I have to start mining something? Uh, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't mine on pubs. <clears throat> There's no rule that strictly forbids it, but you shouldn't do it. Fucking ha uh, unless. <laughs> oh, is this person on fucking Kalervo Redeemer? Is that what's up here? Oh, it's Kalervo Vastalok. Intra Oh, are they armor strip Vastalok plus Kulervo for the crits? Did you drop your crit chance mod plus Kulervo one on the Vastalok? I could see that being really good. You get the full armor strip on them, and then they also just fucking explode. That's an interesting idea if that's what he's doing. <laughs> Bad etiquette to not do the mission in pubs. Yeah, exactly. Like, whenever you're in, like, a constructed group, then it's like, oh, yeah, I handle this part of the mission. You guys go farm a thing. It's, like, pretty normal, but... 
In pubs, you should probably do the mission. I will, however, go grab my focus orbs, because I am but a small baby baboo who needs the focus real bad. Any frame recommendations to use? Zephyr, Calervo, and Octavia are all incredible and require very low investment. If you mean specifically for the content I'm doing, then note that down. Well, really, it's any of them still, actually. They should all still be pretty capable of doing this, but it's going to be more of an Octavia, Calervo type, type beat. Oh, man, I can't believe they fixed those orbs to be good gameplay. <laughs> Turns out all they needed was, it's worth it just to, in general, pick this up. What's not there anymore, but when this... Oop. It's gone. Oh, uh, when I did this, Brandon, the sounds is going on a Warframe. There. A maximum of three errors are permitted before the failsafe protocol uh, uh, seals two, the vault. Two, two. Do not simply guess. I do not know what riches you may find, if any, but you will certainly discover some small. I wonder how common it is for people to fail there. Very, very good. You descend and return most pleasing. So I forgot void traces can come from this. As remains. Perhaps you might learn more Couple biotic filters. Your void connection. Heather it Maw. A place to navigate. Blastoma. Diamatrite. I think I need Diamatrite, actually, so that's good. I think I'm pretty sure I also need Degonic. My experience is extremely rare. Most people are smart enough to not do it if they don't know how, I think. That's probably fair. Missed an amber back in the vault. Fuck. Oh, well. It is what it is. That's what I get for reading chat. <clears throat> yeah, plunder, plenty of ambers to get on demos just in general. That's true. That person is dead. Can do guide on the obelisks for newbies? Probably. The guide pretty much is like, you need to farm a better amp though. It's like the, the hyper TLDR, so. Kind of, you know, a little, little rough. <clears throat> I 
Like, you only need to get a 1 1 1, which is a single terror list. But it's still kind of a bitch. Let us I need for my next rank up. One father token, one daughter token, and then these two things. These both just come from Vilcor. I don't remember how much they cost, though. Farewell. We tried it her way. Now, where did it get us? Just look at me. Yeah, we don't need to build them, so which is I'm fine. Doing things my way, like I should have done all along. We'll show them, won't we? You and me. Make them sit up and pay attention. The weapons, I hear a lot of 1x7 and 7x7. 1x7 is best for speedrunning. 7x7 is better in general. Cut you in on more of what I've really been working on. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 747 is what I'm usually already, using. I do like a 447 as well. The life forms of Damus will be picking Damus? you out of their teeth. Damien an edge. Please grab my father tokens. See, I knew you were smart. And then it, it's blade and gauntlets, I believe. These were five hundred apiece. I okay. guess you have everything you need. Keep safe. Using 477, I like the pew, the pew, the pew, yeah. 747 is flamethrower and bouncing glaive. It is not flamethrower. It is like the jet engine. There is a different thing that is the flamethrower. Tenno, your codex has been updated with a new quest. Oh yeah, hey, I got an arcane, so I get to open up the arcane terminal. Ba 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 ba. I got the worst arcanes in the game. Ba da 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 da. Just dreadfully awful. Um, okay. Okay, yeah, so we got our, our damaged engine pod casing and our weapon pod. I got the biotic filters that I needed. I got the scintillant that I needed. So then, uh, cranial four mounts I'll need to farm towers for is the easiest way. And I need to get Thaumic. Pesium, Abacon, Baphylite, uh, Adromal, Necrothene, fucking all this shit. Uh, the Namalon, which I do have that, at least. This needs fucking Pharos and now it's so much mining. Uh, some of that I'm just going to get from doing the tower stuff, though. So, man. Oh, man, building the Necromech. Woof, building the necromech. Woof, fucking rough, buddy. A combination of heightened dopamine levels and a terrible memory. You're welcome. Is it Fortuna time for good laser? Oh, I already have that. As ready as you will ever be. Oh yeah, circuit's reset now. That's true. We can look at that. And see if we can get a good, a good. Um, of these, the, the one that's useful to me is Octavia. So I guess let's click this one. Even though Octavia is not that bad to farm. Loot detector. No, we needed a. Is it a dash that we needed? Actually, wait, is that right? I think that's right, actually. It is? Fuck yeah. Well done. I guess it's just simply that easy. Alright, well, let's just fucking pub the circuit and see what happens. How bad could it possibly be? I only need to clear the first two levels anyway. It's your boy! 
Where's my azathane at? No, no azathane. Makes me sad. I got a Thomas though. Hint is fun. I guess the Jack Kusar is gonna have to do. This is good enough for me to use Galervo with it. Oh yes, you like the plants, you were correct. You should say it. <clears throat> um I think just this, just for the general buff. Honestly, just get the the two stacks of the general buff is probably best. 20% more damage will go a further away than any of the actual stuff there. What's our heavy here again? Oh, yeah. It's the explosion. I forgot the Jack Star has like a little extra VFX on it. This is a free to play through a new account. Ooh. Free to play through is a new account. Spend no money progression and become stronger than most players which we were already at that point bro why the do people do that couldn't tell you roost in the Zeremon are breaking into the undercroft repair the damage to keep them at bay the void can heal as well we're as good hard. gather the floating spheres and take them to the ruptures That's bad. Things Gulervo is good at. Uh-huh. We're in a fail state for this mission type. I think if you, like, just don't go any kind of speed, and there's a fail state somewhere. I certainly never experienced that, though. Okay, we can still do, like, 100,000 damage. We're fine. why I always try to host. Oh, I mean, sure. I do kind of wish there were more matchmaking options. Because, like, it would be nice if you could set, like, multiplayer only as host. Like, that would be, like, an option a lot of people would go for. And then, like, you'd also... Like, if, if you could set multiplayer only as host, and then never host, those would be two very good settings. <laughs> Although those would just, like, reduce the pool of matchmaking, but, like, you know, it's... Eh. More limited curated matchmaking versus more open and completely uncurated matchmaking. Eh, you know, it's debatable. Because there's already, like, you could just go solo. Lower ping limit would help. Does it, though? I feel like more often more often than not with Warframe, it's about like connection stability, not like a one-time ping check. I 
Xbox been mobile. When mobile comes, you'll be praising the host migrations. <laughs> oh, man. It'll be better than Switch, though. Although with cross save, most people are coming to PC, ideally. It's not a magic solution, but it helps, yeah. Seems nothing in my experience. Game control me 50 ping and I'll still lag like crazy sometimes. That's why I play solo most of the time. Yep. Do not expect me to tell you when to stop. Judge for yourself. Before I get the Azathine blueprint, do Viri. You have spent 50 Many clamps to unlock it for the drifter, and that will also give you the blueprint for it. Through the paradox. You now have the chance to undo those defeats. The enemy musters for a fresh assault. The enemy mustered. Hold the line. Just for laughs. Casual two million crits. Yeah, well, you know. Prepare yourself. Zorfer and squads being based around peer-to-peer -peer rather than dev hosted missions. Ping isn't as important as other games. It's primarily network stability. Yeah. Which is why Warframe players hate Wi-Fi just as much as fighting game players. the new ball of 2024 just saying yeah Stand fast. it plays with a lot of warframe and a lot of fighters <laughs> let's get an absolutely yes good girl good lord oh forgot about killing the thrax here oh the focus baby Oh yeah, I'm leveling my Atomos here because I happen to get it. I forgot about that too. What's that default build on the Atomos? I gotta imagine it's pretty good. Good start. Has been exhausted. If only for now. Ding, I'm out. I don't have the crown though, so it's okay. There will be no host migration for them. Also, that's the little crown right there. <gasps> no! Bad host. Host last second abandoned that man.
big, uh, big rough. Just leave. Just fucking do the real. Yeah, that's mega rough. <clears throat> What's a good subsume on Mesa? Pillage. You can buy a focus upgrade. Yep. I'm gonna throw a loot detector in here first though. Now get out there and cut down the and make the lotus proud. All right, now we have 19 additional points. So whenever we get our Umbral mod, we are going to be uh, all Umbral the fuck up. <laughs> Which is going to be really funny. Also, fuck flow. I'm just going to put Mobilize in here. I'd rather be fast. Take Nourish on Mesa? You can. I prefer Pillage, though. Give you any focus progress? Oh yeah, yeah. We've got a uh, uh, quite a bit to work with here. We have one hundred and thirty-one thousand, which lets us unlock well springs. So now we have well springs. Now we can generate energy. Everything in orders, operator. Is that a pun? Hmm. I will attempt to bypass this fault. Is your mace build still the same? Uh, my Mesa build is stupid invested now, but the one you should build is the one that I have the build video on. <laughs> if, if you're not, like, five Tau shards deep, you should use the one I have the video on. <laughs> What's your Azathane looking like currently? Real good. Real good. Need to go get Wise Razor, but I don't need to. <laughs> Wise Razor is mostly going to be for our Sacrificial Steel budget. By Radiation, though? Oh, this is because I was specifically fighting the Necromex, which I'm pretty sure they're... Are they not alloy armor? They're not ferrite armor, are they? Did I, get, did I misremember? They are alloy, right? They're alloy? Okay, that's what I thought. I was right then. But yeah, radiation good against alloy is basically the TLDR. Also, most things on Deimos resist viral, so. Let's see how hard it is to get Wise Razor. It should be pretty easy. Really, viral is not good for Deimos. Yeah, almost every enemy is mega resistant to it or totally immune. Oh, Deimos quest went very well. There were no expected problems with that one, though. No. Uh, temple. Gib a wise razor. <laughs> Spawn more. Do they change this fight? No, no, no. This is just where Exploiter hangs out. 
I'm not gonna go farm Dermia and shit. Fuck that shit. Spawn more of your guys. Where's this on the map? This is just above the Temple of Prophet. It's where our Exploiter usually is. How lucky do you think an Opticore Incarnate is? Mm, could happen. People like the Opticore a lot, so I can see it. Another organ shatter. You have an advanced profit taker building? Usually that's just use chroma because you get double credits. Try to scan them? Why? There's a reach. They have a good mod drop rate, which is nice. <laughs> Are you thinking about farming some Mars Rep Generator? Yes, I am. I am thinking about that. Come on, it's just an uncommon. Give it to me. Or just spawn like a lot more. Surely we get a Orb Mother soon. Third Orb Mother? No shot. Oh, these actually will not target her. That's bad for me. One more. We protect our battle. We set guard against the rogue. Damn it. Come on, when the razor is wise, give it to me. The unruly require instruction, not sympathy. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Zyme, I got it. I stole your luck. How dare you. You know, I think it'll actually be faster if I, like, port back to Fortuna and reload the zone to get the four that's following it right at start. That's probably actually faster. Only because I'm on PC, though, and I can load fast. <clears throat> Frustrated here was here, I'd give you my spare. Oh, well, the point is to farm it to see, like, how hard is it to get. It's 10 platinum? Fuck that shit. Are you kidding me? I don't even need it. It would just be nice. Fucking 10 platinum for a thing that would be kind of nice to have, I guess. Are you kidding? Yeah, if that mod's fucking 10 plant, fucking y'all better start selling it. 14 plant is the cheapest? Are you fucking with me? Man, I know people don't do exploiter, but Jesus Christ, this mod is not that uncommon. I mean, it's literally uncommon, but you know what I'm saying. All right, time to sell the 19 copies. I have fucking guess so.
demand can't be that high? Yeah, for sure not. I mean, I guess it could, theoretically could be. People like big weeb katana. Wow, zero mod drops. That's just fucking rude. <clears throat> Daily trade volume is between 20 and 30. Bruh. Which mod? Wise Razor? A stance mod for the big Nikanas? <laughs> this time you lose all your streamer powers when it comes to the orbs. Specifically, Exploiter Orb. And you know that to be true. Exploiter Orb fucking hates me. <clears throat> Wait, so people are actually buying it? Yeah. On another. Give me another. One more. There we are. Waiting for waiting for the first one seems worth it. have blaze and don't really care because it doesn't seem like it would be that much of an upgrade for literally anything yeah that's fair chance you don't mind please check out the general tab i tagged you in something really funny did you get the mod no not yet It in. Feed me. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm sure it may be faster to farm the Thermia. I mean, I'm killing a ton of these things. It's like, it's either going to drop or, you know, it's just, it's just luck based. Like this over time is a faster rate of these amount of spiders. These these spiders killed, honestly. Than doing the Thermia would be. <clears throat> what, mod, what mod are we farming? Why is a razor? Why is a razor? It's the stance for the weapon I'm killing these things with. Now. Spawn another. Spawn one more. Spawn it. Spawn one more and come on. Thank you. No. Damn. You should abort to orbiter probably. Ooh, that's probably true. That's probably right, actually. Because then I don't have to teleport back. I just go straight to space. I'm going to sleep. Sleep, chatty's yours. Later, babe. The 
spawn it in. Do you build the whole of these days, or do you change anything? Uh, I changed a little bit. I run Vitality in there now. Specifically, uh, Archon Vitality. I am not doing Thermia. One second. Perfect. Operator, the sentients are not laughing at my jokes. Did they adapt to my humor? All right, sorry about that. Sarah was lifting a heavy box. So I was, was of course, needing to go assist. Well, not needing. 
but you know. What's worse, Thermia Farm, Caliban, or Initial Railjack? Initial Railjack. Well, no, it's Thermia. Holding it back. Shit. Well, I'm getting the uncommon mods, but not the right ones. Technically, abort farming the mod. Yeah. Think an iron wake dumpster worth using for a new player? No. Nothing in there is worth using. Period. Mod wise razor. Feel sorry for anyone doing this on old gen. Yeah. I mean, it's simply not worth doing on old gen. Oh, this is far worse. Quick geology lesson. Moving on, moving on. Okay, yeah, definitely going to orbiter is better. one with wise razor spawn me one with the wisest razor the whip this is incorrect so many uncommon mods but not the uncommon mod that I want what are you doing I am farming for wise razor wise razor is the same rarity as the other uncommons from these guys right <clears throat> I don't think that Wise Razor is like a hidden rare or something. I've gotten so many of them on my regular account. Where's Reflex Coil? Oh, 
0.97 for all uncommons. Okay, so I've gotten every other uncommon. So that's phenomenal. Because there's only, there's only four, right? There's the two elementals, reflex coil, and wise razor, right? There are seven. Okay. I've gotten half. <laughs> I've gotten half of the available uncommons. There was Overguard good. Yeah, in 90% of scenarios, yeah. Spawn it. Spawn the one that has the thing I need. That wasn't the thing I needed. Stretch, Reflex, Coil, Shocking Touch, North Wind, Molten Impact, Fever Strike, and Wise Razor. Okay. Wiki expected. 104 kills. Yep. Seems about right. Mm, I don't think the one we haven't seen is Fever Strike so far. Actually, I actually think I've seen the rest of those. As you know, we haven't seen Stretch, Fever Strike, or Wise Razor. No, my original count was correct. But I forgot this is the free-to-play. You beat Duviri already? Yeah. You haven't seen Stretch, damn. I mean, that's okay, though. I don't want to see Stretch. I prefer to not. I already have it. Crazy. Thank you for the raid. Much appreciate it. Welcome on in, everyone. Yeah, this is the thing my streamer luck runs out on, of course. We're waiting on the personal quarters to build at this point. I can do stuff. Because I can go do Harrow's quest and things. Um, but I would like to have Wise Razor before we get to doing the sacrifice and stuff. Give a recap for what has happened today. I don't want to ask for too much. Um, today it was well. We did the war within. Is the really big thing. And then like getting Calerbo up to snuff. Yeah, then the, the smaller thing is we did Heart of Deimos. Yeah, Heart of Deimos, War Within, and then Calervo is like, he's ready to fuck shit up. Although I would like Wise Razor. I forgot to raid because we watched your dev stream recap yesterday. Hell yeah, welcome. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a long one. I did abuse my luck earlier, that is true. Hey, there's Stretch. Hey, now we've seen almost everything except the mod we're looking for. God damn it. Yeah, we, ha we haven't seen Fever Strike or the mod we're looking for. <laughs> we've seen every other uncommon that can drop from these enemies. Awesome. What are we doing now? I tuned out. I'm farming Wise Razor because it's the only stance. 
um, for the large Nakanas. And I don't even actually like need the stance for any reason other than it gives me additional mod points, which is really helpful. With MR requirements being removed for, for quests, is the MR Zero Challenge possible now? Yeah, it should be. It Dep depends on exactly what they do. We don't have like the list of changes, but it should be, theoretically. I want to see the Ragnoid. There we go. Nope, that's not it either. <clears throat> wow, there is no repeat mission button for open worlds. Warframe's early game be better if Second Dream was moved to Earth instead of being on Uranus. No. There has to be some allowance for, like, missions where you're letting people learn how to play the game. What's he farming? Wise Razor. One more. Yeah, removing the MR from quests is like a really huge, really huge benefit. Because I mean, like, what we just went through, and like the ben the benefit really was that like, oh, Thanksgiving happened, so this wasn't a huge deal. Um, but it was literally <clears throat> like four straight days of like, oh, I have to wait for my next MR test, I guess. And then I have to build the weapon at MR5. That also takes 24 hours. Like, okay, well... That's just four days of not being able to progress to the War Within. Like, just straight out. And, like, while granted for most people, it would be, like, relatively smooth, a lot of players can get, like, bottlenecked before then. Especially at the MR1 requirement weapon. Cuts it down from 100 plus hours to about 20. Yeah, exactly. Introduced junctions like halfway through my start to the game, and I made it super awkward trying to figure out how figure out what I had unlocked versus not. Yeah, well, junctions now are like a really good like to do the next junction. Like it's actually pretty good for instructing new players on what to do. Join what are you firing for? Wise Razor. The disobedient shall not nope. be spared the rod. Salah. When I started paying, uh, started a uh, stream before I was doing MR a day until MR 13. Uh, then I started really getting into quests. I'll be fair. Were you like purposefully farming MR? I feel like you kind of have to be for. For doing one, well, I guess that's the first 13 days. So I guess that's fair. If you just like immediately got into building a bunch of stuff, I could do that pretty easily. I don't think Wise Razor likes you. Yeah, apparently not. I've gotten everything else except for Fever Strike. Fever Strike and Wise Razor are the two that I have not seen. Is 
which honestly it feels pretty unlikely. farming wise razor uh, i'll need the extra points in order to use um sacrificial steel whenever we get it tomorrow i just had no idea what i was doing just the mr test seemed like the only achievements that's fair enough <laughs> well at least you had plenty of mr after you got to the quest like the highest end mr you would even really like care much about is like 14 right now. Top three kinds of cheese. Pepper Jack, Cheddar, Colby. Regular cheese, no fancy cheese. <clears throat> Remember the MR test timer, how much you think it'd be? For what? Ooh, mozzarella. That's true. Mozzarella above Colby. All right, never mind. I forgot about mozzarella. He's going to take your hours department. I am just getting very unlucky. I've gotten the same tier of drop a ton already. There's the only one we haven't seen that isn't the one I need. We have, we have seen every single thing at the tier of rarity, except for the one I need. Swap queso for cheddar. Queso just means cheese. What's up, babe? like some queso dip oh yeah isn't queso just nacho cheese yeah well not always but essentially I hate to see it. All right, one second. I gotta take the dog out real quick. We're back.
Sometimes Ordis likes to assume he knows nothing. Nobody can learn what they think they already know. Okay, return. Now we just gotta make this thing drop. By the power of I just took the dog outside. Drop that shit. And not, no, I know I said dog, Vinny. You're okay. No, go on. Go on, go to bed. Go on. <laughs> Mustard or honey mustard? Honey mustard. Some bitch. Another one of this. It's the right rarity. No? Okay, well. The right, it's the right rarity. It's not the right one. Honey mustard for nuggets, mustard for corn dogs, honey mustard for both. The only thing I want regular mustard for, exclusively, the singular thing is a hot dog. I, I do not want regular mustard for anything but that. Better debate is Dijon versus Spicy Brown. That's a good question. I prefer mayo on a sandwich, but... Probably go Spicy Brown if given only mustard options on a sandwich. Can I hand you one, Wise Razor? No. It's against the rules of the free-to-play that I've set for myself.
sometimes even even though statistically you should you don't have one what's the kill tally so far oh it's a lot on it give to me give damn it can i join you with a necros or a Korra, or is that also not allowed i think that would just make the loading much slower wouldn't it Hydroid help? Not really. Well, I'm done with dinner and Zyme has not gotten wise razor. Holy shit. Yeah. I mean, we have gotten supremely unlucky. We have... We have gotten everything else in their drop table. Uh, unless they have a rare mod. And we haven't gotten those yet. But we're not looking for those. Nope, they only have the organ chatter and the uncommons. Alright. So we have gotten every single thing in their entire drop table. Except what we're looking for. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is this account's punishment. We've gotten so many things in one. This is our account's punishment. This is the punishment zone. How many more runs until you trade for it? I will not trade for it. runs before you give up now that's a good question probably if I don't get it by 11 we're gonna wrap it up here then I'll try again later <clears throat> a one eternity later Remember what happened the last time you tried farming something from the Orb Mother? Oh, I'm aware. Exploiter does not like to fucking drop anything for me. I, I very much know that.
Wouldn't it be faster to farm something and sell it to buy? This is not a this is not a rare drop. Well, I want to be very clear here. This drop is not rare. For you it is. Well, sometimes it'd be like that. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes we're getting a probability done to us. Is a 12x light spam Azathane better than a heavy build? No. The Azathane is nearly entirely worthless outside of a heavy build. You try shooting the next set instead of using a sword maybe some hidden thing and how they die unironically that would take ages and i know there's nothing like that shooting them with the vectors would take forever i uh, just don't escape quit when it drops well that's why i check Right rarity, not the right mod. Oh yeah, the blink pads are a fucking godsend, that's for damn sure. Imagine having to arc wing over. I would not be doing this if I had to arc wing over. What are we after again? Wise Razor. I think we are almost at double expected probability. I think we're almost to like 200 some of these things killed. the nearly guaranteed number on the wiki 104 yeah exploiter simply does not like me exploiter does not drop things for me oh one you're right you're right 104 is the average what's the nearly guaranteed See if we can blow past that number. Molten impact. <clears throat> right rarity, not the right one. The odds are 0.97%. No way it only drops from them. They are the only source of this mod. 
And unironically, this is one of the more available stances in the game. If I weren't, if I weren't so outrageously unlucky. Also, Locke, thanks for the prime. Another one of the correct rarity and the wrong mod. <clears throat> we have gotten everything else in the entire drop table. 473 for the 99% chance. We are fast approaching. I'm just going to say it. When you build a weapon, it should come with a stance. Because melee weapons without a stance aren't even like a whole weapon yet. Should Calervo died? I mean, yeah, I'm like exiting. Convert the conclave stances to be weapon default stances. Hmm. An idea. a new person would quit after just like 20 tries a new person would probably have gotten it after 20 tries that's the average another one at the exact same rarity that i need but not what i need wonderful oh hello almost missed one see it's not hard to get the uncommons it's just that exploiter hates me it really is just that exploiter hates my fucking guts Oh shit, I got it. It's not it's not hard to get usually. <clears throat> Call Exploiter a bad name or something? Uh no. Exploiter's always hated me. I had to do like 30 hours of farming Exploiter. Um to get the two ephemera that have a fucking 6% drop chance. What ephemera does it drop? It drops ice and one other. I don't remember what the other one even is. It wasn't worth it. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ice and lightning. Yeah, it was 16 hours to get the electric one. And then it was like another 10 some in order to get the ice one. Reason step ephemera? Yeah. <clears throat> At least it didn't eat your thermia. That's true.
let him get it yet? No. Realize this is important for the free to play through, but most clans have people who would just give you one. That's correct. But it is important to point out how fucking dumb some of the farms are whenever you don't have a player who will just give you something that's pretty common. Because most of the time, you just have someone that you look at them and you go, have you done Exploiter? And they go, uh-huh. And then, mean, then you look at them and they go, that means that you have like 10 Wise Razor in your inventory, doesn't it? And they go, uh-huh, can I have one? Yeah. Yeah, or apparently they've been selling them for fucking 15 flat apiece. So maybe, maybe, maybe not. And with with the drop rates I'm looking at, it wouldn't be surprising if it was fucking 15 plat. This farm pissing me off, and I'm not the one doing it. <laughs> Actually, is 15 plat. Oh yeah. You're trying to farm a single copy of Wise Razor. Everything else in their entire drop table has dropped, including all the rest of the mods at the exact same rarity, multiple times. We we've seen every single one of equivalent rarity mods multiple times by this point. Multiple, multiple, multiple times, by the way. Every time you see a silver mod, that could have been it. Because it's the exact identical rarity. And we've seen a lot of silver mods. Why are we farming Wise Razor? Anyone counted runs? I don't know if somebody's counting runs. The data would be hilarious, probably. Could have done it, but I thought we'd be done 20 minutes ago. That's correct. I mean, hey, if I ever don't have organ chatter on one of these playthroughs, I'll know where to fucking get it. Nothing, huh? You have a 30% chance just to drop a mod. I'll download the VOD and count them. Nice. Well, the VOD will be on YouTube. Just right away. Free to play challenge getting to Fortuna without an organ chatter. Hey, at least it's not like organ chatter is not dropping. That is statistically 
absurd if that was happening. for a silver melee stance right that's lower rarity than gold this just seems like the most unlucky thing i've seen all month yeah that's correct <clears throat> the statistical likelihood of getting like this amount of silvers and not seeing it is pretty absurd There's another silver mod. That could also have been it. It was not, though. <clears throat> the 50 50 was back at 75 kills. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair, JJ. The hydrate is actually really good now, though. There's a lot of support do you think about the end of your hacking? It's actually not that much. Considering, like, the time saved. Because if, if I wasn't aborting, I'd have done half as many runs by this point. See how much I know you get from the duplicates. Oh, the duplicates go away whenever I do this, I think. It's an easy way to find out. Um, they do appear to be going away. I only have 17 organ shatters. Did you fuse your mods, operator? I have like Did five Northwinds though. Maybe I'm not losing these. Oh my god, I know it's the free to play through, but please just let me give you this mod. Nope, we can't do it. We know any north winds we had. Let's see if we keep these mods. Shocking touch. That was two. That was, by the way, that was two. Uh, two of those. Both of those could have been wise razor. Let's see if we can see the full spread here, or nearly the full spread here. Oh, no, we're not keeping them. Okay, so yeah. It is always satisfying to watch you work, Operator. Next time I see you, you're random and ask you how many wise razors you got there. Fair enough. Open world should always keep rewards, even if you abort to orbiter, it should keep rewards. Yeah, it's not. <clears throat> I think I'd have to hit one of like the save thresholds, like completing a bounty stage or something for that. The disobedient shall not be spared the rod. Solaris United, value the punishment I provide. <clears throat> the other ones you need to leave by the gate or complete a bounty. 
Catch a fish, mine a note, or drink an animal also works. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm going to wait for the stream for a bit. Wise Razor. Wise Razor. I don't need these. The big chill. I just don't want to hear Exploiter anymore. Keep hitting escape. Ah. Be farming a wise razor for a farm. Yeah. Well, it's for the weapon that I'm currently using to kill these guys. Not even a mod drop, huh? That's relatively unlikely. <laughs> Could even lose the loot drop wise razor. They are the only enemies that drop wise razor. Is it within the free to play's rules to make a blood sacrifice? Sometimes the farm be like this. side is better now what what do you mean any form of dupe dropping augments what do you mean by that you mean oh you mean like the extra loot augments no this is the free to play through Uh, how you feel about the free to play through side in progress? Oh, it's great. Yeah, we got War Within and Heart of Deimos done today. Yeah, we're like ready to do Chains of Harrow. Zero drops from any of them. Unfortunately. gonna do <clears throat> five more runs doing event no did the game awards happen yet nope that's not for two weeks well basically two weeks see why these are 14 plat now no i'm just exceedingly unlucky Like, mul multiple people in chat have gotten multiple of them in, like, a couple of runs. <laughs> like, it's just that I'm being very unlucky right now. There's another one that could have been it. trying to get a wise razor reminds me of when I tried to get the Kuva Brahma the Kuva Brahma is actually deterministic now there's a maximum number of runs you can do and then you will get it
All right, three more. And then we're going to give up. Thought it was just no direct repeats, but that means it could theoretically bounce between two others forever. Nope. You know, the Lich's system, it completely exits things you've already seen until you've seen all of them or pick one. We need for good luck. Oh, yeah, fair, fair, fair. Uh, have slash do you use Electro Frame? No. Another one that could have been Wise Razor. Another one that could have been Wise Razor, for real. More. Potentially a talker. And there are other people farming it, so we know that they did not stealth remove it from the drop tables. Yeah. We're trying to farm Wise Razor, so I can get, like, 14 extra mod points on this sword. Or 10, rather. I think it's 10. I don't think it's 14. On the guy. Zero, huh? The Exploder fucking hates me. For some unknown reason. Why are we going through this to mod a melee weapon that doesn't explode? Because it's one of the strongest melee weapons in the game. That also could have been it once again. I think we've gone through the entire list of things it could be at that rarity that aren't it again. One more. Congrats, bros. It's taken you longer to not get Wise Razor than it's taken me to do the entire Duviri Paradox. That's correct. There's a shocking touch. Hmm. I don't have to tell you. This bitch just doesn't have it. Tell you what. We'll give her one more. Just one more. Clearly, it's just got to be one more. This is the last one for real, though. No, the gambler braid got out. Just one more, though. <clears throat> hmm. 
I don't know that I have enough extra stances to do a stance transmute. We could try it though. If I have enough. Alright, last guy. Spawn him in. Spawn the guy in. Come on. Where's the guy? Spawn him in. For real? Actually, sp actually spawn the man. Nope. Alright, well. <sighs> that's exceedingly unlikely. Things better for new players, Rhino or Calervo? It depends. Calervo takes longer, but is extremely worth it. And Rhino takes, like, almost no time and is really good. Okay, somebody says 100 bits, one more. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, and then we will do one more. Be right back. This is how angry. Hmm. I may require maintenance after all.
Okay. I ret oh, Jesus Christ. Chaotic, thank you for gifting five subs. Bruh. <clears throat> Frostburn? What the fu what the fuck is occurring while I was gone? What the fuck is happening? What are what's happening? It's been another seven thousand bits while you were gone, bro. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Okay, we'll do some more. Okay. I mean, we gotta be. If I mean, we're done when it drops anyway, right? <clears throat> Made a mistake by allowing the one bits equals one run. I said one more. That's the, you know, there's an interesting rate there. Watch me get it on this one. That'd be really fucking funny. That'd be the, the funniest thing possible would be me getting it on this run. Nope. <clears throat> Yo, thank you for gifting five subs. Fucking much appreciated. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I cannot believe this right now. Y'all are fucking wilding. I was wondering, did Viri answer any questions about how the Drifter knew what to do with the whole ball situation? Absolutely not. Duviri answered a lot of questions, none of which we asked, except for like, what is Duviri? So the actual, the Duviri Paradox quest answers Essentially, the least important question we could have possibly asked that would have been relevant to our primary plot. What questions did you want answered? How Drifter get there? Where Operator go? You know, things like that. How did Drifter know what to do? Zero of them drop a damn mod? Come on. Spawn. Nothing. Just joined how many runs has it been? It feels like a thousand or so. That's correct. It's been a lot of runs. Maybe did like 40-ish runs. Feels like many more than that.
So I fell farming Bite last week. Oh, Bite is much more rare than this mod. <clears throat> Taylor, thank you for gifting five subs. Fucking much appreciated. I had to log in for the first time in months just to see if I had this mod. How many you got? You have 14 copies? Nice. I started joining the free playthrough and you already got Calervo sick. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, the time where we've made the least progress is this farm. Everything else is going very smoothly. This payback for ghoul? Fucking apparently, that shit's not that rare either. This is payback for everything. Every, everything that's been lucky that's happened so far, this is payback for all of it. I said, fuck you. The exploiter fucking hates me. Is your mech building or is that a later slash longer farm? Oh, that's going to be later and much longer. I should do that, though. We got all of, like, the base parts for our Necromac. We did that part of the farm. Also, Taylor, thank you for converting your Prime sub to a Tier 1. I appreciate you. No wonder why I was selling, like, hotcakes at 15 plat. Well, probably because most people that have a bunch of them, like, aren't even considering selling them. You can convert subs, how? Uh, I think it's in there. If you, if you click, like, the sub button while you're prime sub, there's, like, a conversion button, I think. Kang, thank you for your... Yeah, thank you for the prime sub. Much appreciated. Oh, God, he's still at it? I don't know what to tell you. Right before I got up, somebody was, like, 100 bits. Do another run? Question mark. And then I got back, and it was like, we gave you 7,000 bits. Keep running it. Run that shit. Get that damn mod. Be fair, you said yes. Yeah, I, there, is, there is a time limit on this. Also, Tree Father, thank you for the sub. Much appreciate it. Yeah, there is a time limit on this. I'm probably not going to do, like, all 70 runs. I will go until midnight, though. I was going to end right before, like, right before I got up. <laughs> I was like, sure, one more whenever I get back. Whatever. We paid you, you'll do all 70 runs? Eventually, maybe. Because I do need to get this goddamn thing. Brother. What the fuck is that? Crossburn, thank you for gifting fucking 10 subs. Jesus.
if it actually takes like a full 70 plus more runs that's like that's statistically like nearly improbable like that's so unlikely Zyme, stop giving more data to parts in Excel, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Before this variant of the spider can't drop it. They're the same. They're, it's the same spiders. There aren't multiple variants of these spiders. That mods hype train his stream. <laughs> Oh, you got your Umbral Forma from watching the dev stream. Yeah, it's still no dev for me. Yeah, I got both of mine. Also, I know it can drop here because other people have gotten the drop because some people were like, I'm going to do this and see if I can get it. And then they immediately did. No Arcwing Launcher? I do not have the Arcwing Launcher, unfortunately. Yep, I did one run and got it. Yep, it's not uncommon, but it is for me because Exploiter hates me. <laughs> I love that this has inspired people in chat to load into the Valus and do this shit. Just to be like, eh. <laughs> is it real though? Are we sure it drops? Somebody's got to find out. Thank you for gifting us up to Young. Let's we'll farm for Wise Razor. We're doing our best. Whenever I'm like editing for the quests and stuff on this this stream archive, I am gonna go in here and be like, I'm gonna remove these breaks and just see the raw time I spent trying to get Wise Razor. Cause I think it's been like fucking two hours. This is what it feels like. Are you sleepy yet? I was gonna go to bed before this. So yes. Reflex coil. I can get the silver mods, but not the one I'm looking for. Stream tomorrow's I'm or break. Probably stream tomorrow. Is actually insane. Yeah, it's pretty. Fu this is pretty unlikely. What like what's occurring now is now a statistical anomaly, therefore making it interesting, right? <laughs> Like, there is a certain point where I get to be mad, but right now it's just strange. Also, holy shit, Cross, thank you for gifting fucking 15 subs. Holy shit. And Taylor, thank you for also gifting 10 fucking subs. Holy fucking Christ. Spawn another one. I bet it'll be that guy. Come on, spawn him in. How bad could it possibly be? Get in that shit. Nope, nothing.
Also, Kando, thank you for gifting a sub deck. It is much appreciated. When the probability is distributed. <clears throat> it's more fun to not be mad at this extremely odd occurrence. There, There is a statistical threshold where I am mad about it. Also, Mortal, thank you for gifting us up. Much appreciated. If, if I get through all 70 of the runs somehow and it has not dropped, I'll be like, mm, I'm actually, I'm a little pissed off about that. Be like, that's stupid. Like that will have reached a really dumb point. Armor Clad, thank you for the Prime. <clears throat> Anger rightfully deserved at that point. Well, because like that would mean I had done over a hundred runs, and there's like four each. Um, like I had done at least a hundred runs by that point, right? And if there's at least four of these guys per run, and there's sometimes five, it means I'd have killed at least four hundred of these little spooters. Um, and it's like four hundred and forty or so is like the 99.99 percentile of that shit should have dropped by now. I'm pretty sure. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Kano. Thank you for the 1,201 bits. Much appreciated. Absurd, Ian. Thank you for gifting a sub as well. Also, Banhat, thank you for gifting fucking five subs. Holy shit. I have now gotten two Wise Razor in three runs. Yep. It's not that rare, but apparently it's pretty fucking rare for me. Just did two runs and got one. You're welcome. I'm killing all the spiders that aren't bringing it around. Ah, <clears throat> oh, yes. Thinning the herd. Yes, yes, correct. But only 10 with no mods whatsoever. That's exceedingly unlikely as well. <clears throat> Fuck it. Now I'm also going to run some of this. <laughs> Got it in one run. Yep. The chat is now running this running this farm just to be like, is it is it real? Is it really just that Zyme is this fucking unlucky? Does Exploiter hate Zyme this much? The answer is yes. Come on, give me one more. Give me number five. Spawn Mambo number five. Nothing. Create a new account and get that shit first try. You know you want to. <laughs> Arbiter, think of the 500 bits. Flervo, show us the meaning of haste. I hope DE release a graph of number of ragnoids killed and there's just a noticeable increase on November 26th. That would be pretty funny. I was going through the same RNG I have for Augur Secrets. The Augur mods usually cooperate with me, but sometimes it's a little hitchy. Secrets is definitely the hardest one to get there.
Another uncommon. That's not the right one. Spawn the guy. Oh shit, still going strong. What is he hunting? Wise Razor. He refuses to drop. <clears throat> also, Mortal, thank you for gifting another sub. An Arbiter for the 500 bits. Holy shit. I really don't know how this is happening. I got it in six runs. Yep. I keep I keep telling you guys, we we are within a statistical anomaly. At, at this point, it's quite likely that I should have acquired it. Do you gonna add Wise Razor to the new level booster pack at this rate? There's an uncommon mod, not the right one, but an uncommon mod. Did it and got it first try. Yep. Right here, I'm I'm killing every Rachnoid that does not have it. There's a certain maximum amount of Rachnoids that can spawn in, and I'm killing all of them that don't have Wise Razor. Beer, thanks for the Prime. Much appreciate it. <clears throat> Third run gave me two of them. Lamau. Zero mods. Run 10 for me. Just got it. Yep. It's Zyme's Razor. That which you require desire will not under any circumstances drop. <laughs> Theory, it can't drop if you melee it. Did anyone who's who got it? Are you meleeing? What you up to? It would be very funny if that is somehow the case. Nothing else in Warframe works that way. You did it with Calervo? Okay, there you go. Yes, yeah, so there's no no that doesn't exist then. It is purely It is it is purely insane unluck. Oh, find a thousand mods, you don't say. Oh, really? That's Loki rude to have that achievement. Who did you piss off? Exploiter! Exploiter does not like me. Exploiter's like, you farmed me for my ephemera for 30 hours, and I'm still holding a grudge on you. Ever returning player guide? Uh, not yet. I am working on that. This account is for that, but we've gotten stuck. Not really stuck. The worst part is that this, I am farming for a thing I do not actually need. It just would be nice. And that's like the worst part is that I actually have, I have no actual need for this item. Like I, I, almost nothing will really truly change for me. If I have this, I will be a little stronger, like emphasis on a little.
Got another one. Three wise razors and nine runs. Also farming uh, with Calervo. Yep. Yeah. This is where I fall off when I think about coming back. The point of a diminished fun slash grind. I mean... Like, this is a thing... Like, this... Legitimately, this is a statistical anomaly. Like... This is a very common mod that, like, most experienced players would simply give you one of their 10-plus extra copies of. Like, it's not hard to get. It's really weird that I haven't gotten it yet. There's another one that could have been it. But inexplicably is not it. No way it's MR locked. That would be outrageous. There's no shot it's MR locked. No, no way. Isn't this like a sunk cost fallacy? No, this is like a statistical intrigue fallacy. Because <laughs> like, it's not like I'm like, it's got to drop now. It's like, statistically, it is. it should probably have dropped by now, actually. Like, it's like, there's like the gambling fallacy, right? Where it's like, oh yeah, this thing's like due or whatever. Like, if you have like the roulette board of like numbers or whatever, it's like, well, if all of the numbers are theoretically equally likely, it should hit them over enough iteration at roughly the same rate. I got it. We're done here. <laughs> that was statistically exceedingly unlikely. Holy shit. <laughs> it's finally Jover. <laughs> do one more run just to get the second copy. You know what? We will do one more run. <laughs> Worst grind is a free-to-play player go. My uh, best guess is the Necromech. Yeah, Necromech's the worst. Mostly because you just need a million fucking things from Deimos. The actual killing of the Necromex was not that bad. We did it on stream today. Um, But, like, having to go through and get all of, like, the little materials and refinements and stuff that it needs takes a long time. Granted, that will take less time than farming this one mod has. Almost assuredly. All right, Exploiter, victory lap. All right, give me one, one more. One more. One, one more. One more again. Ah. No, no second wise razor for the funny. As a safety, as a safety measure, I will teleport back. Come on, I can't leave knowing we didn't get it. No, we did get it. We did get it. <laughs> That's the thing. We did get it. We did We did one extra victory lap because it would be really funny to get a second one immediately. And we have 10 extra mod points, which we will spend on Molten and Shocking for now. Alright, that is a, a solid increase to damage.
And we have five extra points left over, which means we should be able to just uh, slam sack steel in there whenever we get it tomorrow. So at 100 runs, killing four spiders a run, not getting wise razor after 400 kills is something like a 0.00014% chance of happening. Thank you for the 100 bits, Kendi. <laughs> yep. That's right. Also, yeah, it was, yeah well, they're, they're just calculating for four because it was sometimes four. Most of the time it was five. Arms, thank you for the bit. Much appreciated. What a what a truly fucking mysterious duang that we've experienced today. Check on cooler clothes. If anyone wants to count exactly how many runs that took, I would be interested. Go buy a lottery ticket? Absolutely not. <laughs> After that? I feel like a duang after that. <laughs> oh yeah, I was absolutely I was absolutely fucking soaking in the bad luck. Just truly fucking swimming in the bad luck. I'm not going to bother plusing this up for right now. I haven't I haven't don't actually need this for anything anytime soon. After that, surely you must have used up all your bad luck. I think that was payment for all of the insane good luck we've had. Or do you get a Riven? War Within. War Within gives you one. I've got hours of footage to parse through for Excel data. Fuck you, Simon. <laughs> Is that enemy on the stat list? That would be interesting to see. Oh, that's a good question. No, they're not. Wait, no, it, which, where's the, where's the list of, like, enemies killed? Oh, yeah, check my quit percent. Missions quit 83. Codex, do I have to scan them for that to show up? Because I did not scan them. Have you run Fortuna at all before this? Oh, yeah, I did like the quest. Yeah, all right, yeah, we, we will go out and scan them real fast. It's not like it's going to be hard. <clears throat> What's the name of the name of the account? Critical underscore frog. Kill them. No, 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 we don't want to. We don't want to skew the numbers on how many kills it took me to get to get them. <clears throat> Although I guess we could just do the math, but like, just like cut off a couple, right? Whatever. Need five scans for the kill count. Oh, well, fucking shit. One sec. So we know five. We killed five of them after we got it, and this will this will bring that count to nine. This 
So bring that count to 10. Easy math. For a kill count. Apparently a kill count for these guys is shown in the um the codex. We'll see about that. Fair frame that does to guns what Calervo does to melee. Arrow. We'll count those since you aborted. I don't know. We'll find out. The scan's 8 out of 5. Oh, you can see all their drops. Yeah, no, that doesn't show a kill count, though. Look at all their drops, though. We got so many of all of these ones above the Wise Razor. So each one is a 1 in 7 to drop Wise Razor. Well, the Uncommons have a 3% chance. Uh, and then, like, it itself is a 0.97% chance. Uh, because each Rachnoid has a 30% chance to even drop a mod. Ortis wonders, why is he here? Ortis Someone is making a spreadsheet, Zyme? Fuck yeah. That'll be hilarious to look at. Yeah, it's 0.966% per kill. So it's roughly 1% per kill. Someone new, can you explain why you're pushing through Duviri content? Why I'm pushing through? I'm done with it. Uh, the reason is because I have Calervo and the Azathane now, which are two fucking incredibly good... Well... Warframe and weapon that are both extremely low. Like, let me be clear. This build can easily do steel path with this. Excellent armaments, operator. Please return covered in blood. Safe and sound. Like, easily do steel path. No problem. No problem at all. So doing Duviri not only gets us that, but it also gets us roughly 30,000 MR. Which is why we are very, very easily MR7 or so. You gonna go for Steel Path on the free-to-play? Yeah. And there's no real reason to not. Wouldn't have energy issues on Steel Path? Not at all. We have this. And this build's going to be more hilarious because in order to get to Seal Path, you have to get the Umbral mods. And you'll notice I have 18 additional capacity. So I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to put Umbral Vitality, Umbral Intensify, and Umbral Fiber in this build. And it's going to look really, really funny. It's going to look really funny. Clairvo looks really good for a new player, fashion-wise. Yeah, Clairvo just, like, looks really good in general, so it turns out it's not not too hard just using the very limited colors I have as a new player. Like, this green works out well, but, like, even, like, the blues look nice on him, to be honest. He, obviously, red is, like, his usual. It's, it's actually just, like, kind of in general not bad for him, really. <clears throat> he is Frog. Frost still Garbo. Uh, his fourth augment is really propping him up to be pretty good right now. Um, but he's, he still needs a bit of help, I would say. But he's definitely super playable as compared to recently. Limited color palette is the worst for new players. Yeah. It'd be really nice if it was the whole thing. If you got this this entire palette, it would actually be like really, really nice. But also, like DE gives out so many free palettes, I really have a hard time minding, right? 
Support your choices. Like the best palette in the game is a free one. So it's like, eh. Which is the best? The Pride Palette. The Pride Palette is busted. It is insanely good. <laughs> Nourish energy on the subsume gets nerfed for us is going to be in hell again because of his energy. I don't think that's true. Celebration, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah the newer pride one. Uh, is that a pride month thing or a code you can do all the time? It's a pride month thing. I think Gamma would be fine to give everyone for free. Gamma's one that they put in the night wave, but it is also good. My palette I've ever purchased is the black and white one. So that that's part of the shit that's busted is that um, black and white, like a good range of black and white, are included in the Pride palette. Yeah, it's one credit during Pride Month. Yeah, correct. Is it bad? I've been putting Nourish on like all my frames because I can. No, it's a good like a good subsume. Like as long as you're running like okay strength, it's a pretty good subsume. On the newer end, but I found the workaround where you can favor colors and the accessibility options and use them elsewhere. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, so this this is a thing you can do. If you go here, click this. A doop, a doop. And this palette, this palette's pretty good. Pretty good palette. So if you if you'd like to. Does do a little functioning. <clears throat> that does reset on relog, at least on the favorites menu. That's correct. But it do it does also stay whenever you do this. Oh geez, are they going to redact that? Probably. It it's not like intended to work that way. school did not know that yeah it's it's not supposed to work they will eventually but like fix that um but i i imagine it's not particularly high priority because like that palette is like really good but it's like also super similar to the pride palette which most people have so Love the accessibility stuff, but I wish D would do more to differentiate crit tiers aside from just the exclamation and double exclamation stuff. I think there's plenty. Like you got it. You got to remember, a lot of players are almost certainly not really going to see anything above orange anyway. Like they see yellow crits, and they're like, "This is the most I've experienced out of a video game before." I love critting, and then they see it turn orange, and they go, "Fucking." Like, there's, like, getting to red and exclamation points is, like, you're not... Most people are not ever doing that. <laughs> I was shook. I remember that shit, yeah. Man, I wasn't even aware there was anything above red. Yep. Yeah, there are there are crit tiers that go beyond red. Uh, the visible spectrum of crits are no crit, yellow crit, orange crit, red crit, red crit with an exclamation point, red crit with two exclamation points, red crits with three exclamation points. And beyond that, there are more crits to be had, but none of them will be visually represented. Oh, that's why my Baruch had exclamation points. <laughs> yep. How the fuck do you get to that point? Well, Kalervo on this build gets to double red crit exclamations. The more strength you get him, the more crit tiers you do.
Are purple crits gone? Purple crits were never a thing. Purple damage is damage you are dealing to enemy over shields. Ultraviolet crits. Do appreciate that instead of like green crits, they just went fuck it. Exclamation. Exclamation point is a really good way to represent like further tiers of crit that like get to the point where it kind of doesn't matter. Like the moment your crit is red, you've done enough here, sir. You're done. You can move on from this. You've you've done a good thing here. Fantastic job, sir. Please move on, right? <laughs> some guy in another stream that crit so hard on Korra that the integer overflow was negative 6 billion and it just crashed his game. That sounds right. Each exclamation point means you have to say red crit louder than before. So a notable thing is that the more exclamation points you get, like up to that three, the number itself is larger. There is also a damage number hierarchy. Uh, so only so many damage numbers can, like, stay on the screen at once. The more fucked up the number is, you have to make a number more fucked up than it for it to not last its full duration. Why? Because they want to give you an opportunity to see whenever you do the dumby number. <laughs> As a Geyer player, the max number limit is pretty high. Also, yeah, the, the Clairvo build I'm on right now, this is like pretty basic. Uh, whenever I get Umbral mods, it'll look a lot less basic. Um, but this is just like infinite energy. I can cast whatever I want. You're not my mom. Um, also go kind of fast with mobilize. And then once I get the umbrals, it'll be umbral. Go fast. You're not my mom. Uh, <laughs> you have a Warframe arcane. Uh, yeah, I've got the worst arcanes in the game. It's something. It does exist. It exists. So it's got that going for it. All right. Regardless, it is past midnight. Uh, that's gonna do it for stream. Solid progress. Took a took longer than doing the major the, the major story progress took less time than farming wise razor. But sometimes it really do be like that. Uh, I will see all of you tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much. For uh, the insane amount of bits and subs and everything. It is much appreciated. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed the stream. I'll see you tomorrow for more. Uh, in case something comes up. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. But regardless. I will see I will see you next time on the free to play through. Have a good one. Goodbye. Nice. I guess I will add to the hype train lol. You guys know. broke it. What like the fuck is happening? Questions. Another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. So does this mean three more runs? Kappa. I'd uh, like to ask a few questions. Can Olathra gifted a tier one sub to Troyer? They have given 57 gift subs in the channel. Again. Another one. Again. And another one. And another one.